Okay, three guesses of what Jordan surprise for us would be. Um, I want to be serious though. Okay. Three guesses. What be serious. So Jordan has a we. I get. We know of one. Mm -hmm. There's two surprises. Uh, we know of one, and then uh, he has this other one that he says we'll never guess what it is. Fuck. Do you think he's gonna be on someone's podcast? Oh, that's a good guess. Right. Uh. Dude, I'm stumped. He's going to Coachella. He already went. What if he's meeting somebody? Will, what if he meets Will Ferrell? <laughs> That's very specific. Yeah, because he loves Will Ferrell. Oh, okay. I'm like, look, I'm like context clues, you know what? Yeah. yeah. That's two. All right, I'm going to start. Speaking, talking, speaking, talking, talking, speaking. Talking and speaking at the same time. Taking banter, Taking banter, 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 banter. Taking babies and kissing names. Kissing, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 61 of Slav in the Pod. I'm very excited Probably because 69. today is... Uh, uh, wait, what did I say? 61? Okay, we're not there yet. Okay, cool. Oh. 61. Uh, I'm very excited. I have Jair Delgadillo. Hello, everybody. And Eric Castaños. Hola. I didn't want to fuck with you guys' name because I was very disrespectful and I feel bad. Because a lot watch, of people... Did you rewatch the episode that you had us on? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, dude, you're a piece of shit. Like, you, like how dare you... Oh, hold on. A lot of people thought it, huh? I know why. Fuck, I forgot mine. Dude, you have an extra pair for me? Do you have an extra pair for me? Uh, yeah. You know what? I was gonna, I was gonna, I was there's such a pair in a right there. I was gonna, I was in a rush to get here and I was late. I was an hour late. Keeks, there's a yeah. pair on top of my desk right there. Should be. I was an hour late. I'll get those for Jerry. Somewhere back there. As you're looking, I was an hour late yeah. today. And. Solid. These. Oh, hold these. No, have, those no, those have your name all over Really? It. You guys yeah. Know, they're a little scratchy greener. scratch. Put them on, dude. Bro. Look at that. Okay, well, I'm the odd one out now. Damn. Is Revolution coming back into town? Nice. Yeah, that or Tribal Seeds. Tribal dude. Seeds, Or yeah. Bob Marley's getting coming back from Cuba. Soldier. With Tupac and Michael Jackson and, and Paul Walker. they're all in Cuba? That's what I heard. They're, have you seen pictures of, like, dead people, but they're, like, still alive? <laughs> hey, like, pictures no. of Tupac? No, not really. Walking around like in Tupac? New York? They look like you Tupac? don't think it's like just people that look like them. Well, Tupac died like years ago. Okay, so now if they're still alive yeah. now, they'd be a little different than they looked when they died. <gasps> That's what they say about Obi Wan in the new show. He looked sorry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what's o what's an Obi Wan? I don't watch basketball. So. <laughs> 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 R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Obi Kobe. No to one. Okay. How sorry. you guys been? Good, bro. You're not starting it like that. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Cheers to new beginnings. New be Wait. Yes, sir. Fair enough. Are you going to... So you I, gonna have a I have a huge announcement. Okay, we're going right into it. The, yeah, Let's I go. have to from the beginning. Thank Fucking God, it, because you were... I'm over here with palm sweating. Mom because spaghetti, let's yeah, 100%. go. 100%. I'm nervous. I, I, I'm, you know what? Before you even say your thing, yeah. thank you for not rallying Ride. up my anxiety. What were you going to say? Writing it on. Like, Writing like, it on. <laughs> Riding it on. Yeah, thanks I, for not. I know, huh? Yeah, thanks for not riding it on. It's like when you buy a Christmas gift, like in November, and you're hiding it and you're trying to give it to someone, <laughs> but you just want to give it to them already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so, why. So that's Thanksgiving why I, comes around and you give it to them then. Yeah, it, like the November twenty sixth. I won't wait with gifts. If I buy it for you, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Yeah, when I have oh kids, I hope they find the gifts. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide them in if the most obvious it, spot. Can, if you find it, you can keep it. Yeah, you, like, you leave oh. it in the kitchen counter. <laughs> You don't even try to hide. That was an easy one. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, like I make this it. announcement, Jer. Can you pour us some shots? Yeah, let's please. Oh, fucking a, dude. I don't know how much is in that bottle, so we'll see. see if this we have is why I was gonna I bring think the near beer. Full. It, it's one. It's one shot. It's just one shot yeah. for this. This is a big moment. This is how it Nothing always crazy. goes. This is the first big moment. The oh, second one will come later. I hope you're telling me you're having a kid right now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Okay, by the way, I left that last episode, and I was kind of worried. I was wondering where that was, but you know what? It belongs here. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't touched it or nothing. I just kept moving it around. Really? At one point, I was like, where is it at? Thank uh, you, sir. That bottle is a perfect example of how you get swindled in Ensenada. It looks very fancy, by the way. That's what I like. I like a good bottle that has, like, like they put effort, just not into the alcohol, but as Gosh. well as, like, the, the, the way that it looks. Bro, I'll go straight up off of bottles. Like, if it looks cool, I'll buy it. Same. Like, I don't like Miller Lite, but you see J Balvin has his, like, Miller Lite, uh, uh, like, collab. Yeah. It looks dope. It says light, and, like, it, like if you get, like, a 24-ounce can, it'll say light, and then where the eye is, it's, like, a lightning bolt. Is it and it's, colorful? like, funky colors. Yeah. I almost want to buy it, but I don't even drink Miller Lite. Just so I'm buy like, one. Eh. Just buy Ari one. Ariana just bought a J Balvin shirt. 
Did you? From, from Zoomies? You from Zoomies, Zoomies, yeah. yeah. Hi, Boner. Oh, it's because we, we went to see him a, in Vegas, and then uh, they had, like, the shop where, you know, where you could buy the T-shirts and the oh, hoodies yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit. Merchandise. And we're like, you know what? As we walk out, we'll pick up some merch, right? Yeah. Seems seems reasonable, right, that as, as people are leaving, they're still selling some of the merch? Well, they were gone, long gone. And we left just, like, a few minutes early. Yeah, how'd you guys not think that, though? Well, I figured they would be there after the show. Like figured they would, wrong, but they would overload. No, people buy like five they're shirts. Never they there after. People they're buy. Never stop, there. bro. No, every EDC, bro. They're there like they're, way after. They're there, but the merch, not a lot of shit is left over. Like the merch Coachella, people. The merch yeah, the people. merch people. Yeah, like Coachella, the, the merch like tent. It's full of shit. You can go in the end, but everything that's left over is like Coachella merchandise. But like Billie Eilish, Big Sean, all that stuff is all gone. Everyone all takes cool that shit. shit. Yeah, all the stuff that you can buy for like seventy five bucks that they're gonna resell for like four hundred because oh. you can only get them at Coachella. Fair. Yeah. So, so this was also went into the account. <laughs> so sorry. Oops. Oops. <laughs> this also went to account. <laughs> this was day one of three. So I felt like there were gonna be more opportunities. After that, we never saw them again, right? So we learned that the hard way. The first time we went to Coachella, we waited till the very end. So that way, it's like it's like when you go to Disneyland and you get all your things at the end, so you don't have to carry them around with right. you. We tried that, and then we found out. So this year when we went, we that's the first thing we did. Got the got, got some the good stuff, and then yeah, and you and you don't have to like go all crazy and like buy like all this shit. You just yeah. get what you need, and then you're good to go. I, I have a question. Yeah, how, I have an answer. How often is it like reasonable to? <laughs> how often is it reasonable to wear a concert shirt? Every day. You can wear it every day. Absolutely. Okay, so if you're if you're wearing it out in public, like back home or something, I just, right. I every need, day. That was a knee jerk. Let me ask me again. Do, do it again. How often Rewind. can you? Good, good, good. How, how often can you wear a concert shirt? Three days a week. Three days a week. Yeah, but can how f- tacky is it if you go to that concert and you wear that shirt? That's gay. Yeah, right. Because it kind of ruins it. Because you have a good outfit plan. Like if you go to J Balvin, you got you want to get all dressed up, kind of in a way. Right. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday is when you're supposed to wear them. Monday oh, but you're week. saying you're saying don't get the concert shirt and wear it at the concert. No, no, I'm saying like say this year you guys like for instance you guys fucked up and got some oh, don't wear extra last smalls years. at the end of the concert. Next time you go to that concert, probably don't wear those. Got don't you. wear last year's model. Yeah, I like that. Oh, but you okay. can wear it throughout the year. Like I still wear my Ariana Grande one. See, low yeah. key, I would assume or I would think like first thought would be it'd be kind of cool if you wore last tour. Because it shows like you're like a super fan, you know. You went to last tour and you came to this. Okay, tour. off of your thought, I feel like there's an appropriate time gap to wear an old concert shirt to that concert. At least five years. That's fair. That makes sense. I was That's here fair. five years ago too. It's like, yeah, pal, I went to the first tour. So and so you're you're yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. that in a in a crowd of like fifteen hundred, no, fifty thousand people. Because you wore that, they're going to see you, and they're going to be like, oh, my God, they were at my last tour. I remember that. The older, guy. the better. That's what I no. think. Because say you're at a – no? No, no, no. no. I was responding to Jordan still. So oh, I, yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I, so I don't think they're going to see you, right? No, they're going to see you. I feel like the older the shirt is, like say you wore – say you wore like a legit – old Britney Spears shirt to Coachella and she was like performing. Yeah. You're like, dude, that's sick. I like this was my this was my mom's. Oh yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. Dope. That's yeah, cool. that's cool. Yeah, yeah. See that's cool. But don't we wear don't wear last year's model. Don't wear last year's that's model. That's what I'm saying. Keep that All at right. home. Wear that on Saturday at home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Sunday. Because no Wear to really the Crest. Wear to the Crest. Wear to the Crest. Cress. You could wear to the Crest. What if Crest made T shirts at the end of the night you could go buy Crest Every merchandise? Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it had dates on it too. That would they be should cool. make them. Whoever the DJ was and shit, like New Year's shirts or Christmas ones or whatever. 18, the golden years. <laughs> yeah. the real golden 18, 19, actually. St. Patty's Day. All right, so oh. I have a big announcement. I got to say go. it now. Let's hear Because I'm go. getting so antsy. And Let's, and are we going to take the shot this. first or announcement first? I'm going to announce it and then we'll take the shot. Perfect. Okay, hit it. Or should we take the shot and then I announce? No, no, no. You shot. Uh, announcement announce first. first. Announce okay. shot. Okay. So the reason I wanted you guys on here, and you guys know this, and everyone else doesn't know this yet, but. This will be the very last Lob on the Pod episode. Pause. In this studio. Uh, I am making, I am moving from this house, so we will no longer have this place. Uh, I can't afford it anymore. You know, <laughs> I'm tired of deciding between whether my dog should eat or if we should live in the house, you know. So it's very tough. Um, so. <laughs> So, yeah, we're, we're moving houses, so this will no longer be the studio. Whatever you guys see back here will be long gone. Uh, it'll be on eBay, Amazon, 
uh, Facebook Marketplace, so everything you guys see, it'll all be for sale. Uh, probably each picture piece will probably go for a thousand. Uh, Except for this one, I asked. I called that one. Okay, that one will go for I want that five thousand. Um, and so yeah, so this is it. And the reason I brought these two guys on, because you guys are probably wondering, well, why the fuck do they have to be there when you announce this? Mm-hmm. Because he's moving in with Jer to my house. I'm gonna move in t- with Jer and Keeks into their house, and I'm gonna put my studio in their kitchen. We're doing it. They've okayed it, and everything's good. <laughs> Proved. If I had a camera, I'd <laughs> I know you get her, her finger guns. Stamped, stamped approved. <laughs> approved. But no, serio pelo. Um, I will be joining the Odele Collective group. Let's go, baby. Cheers, beep, 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 beep. If you guys don't know, cheers, 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 cheers to that. Cheers, cheers. Welcome to the collective. Mm, mm. And that's the collector. Tasty. Goddamn, boy. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, which you guys should fucking know, but if you don't know, if you guys are like from L.A. or San Diego or Canada or Africa, if they get Wi-Fi. Or Hila Ben. Uh, Hila Ben, if they get Wi-Fi. Dateline. Dateline, if they get Wi-Fi, or Russia, Palm Springs. if they're done with the war. If you guys are listening, mm-hmm. then you guys should know that here in New Arizona, Odele Collective has a studio. A legit yes, area do. that is built from the ground up. Eric and Jer had built the place with their bare hands. That's true. And Look Keeks uh, did all the, she was the interior designing. So, I'm, so if you guys don't know, it's going to be a legit spot. It's like literally the middle of Yuma. Anytime I get a guest on, it's going to be perfect. You guys are going to find It's going to be a legit spot now. Center yeah. point, baby. Uh, Center yeah. Point. So uh, once I first, – first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys very much. The reason I wear these sunglasses is because I'm probably going to cry as I say this or my eyes are going to get red or I'm going to get watery. But I appreciate you guys welcoming me into your home, into your studio, giving me this opportunity. Like not only am I – moving my stuff but it's it's gonna be a legit space where people are gonna be like oh shit this is like legit legit you know it's not like i'm bringing just people to my home you know a room or something which was also weird because my girl kept telling me she's like you meet these people online and then the first time you meet them is at your personal home and they come in and they know your address and they know the uh, the lock code and and they know everything so like maybe we should switch that and in time i was thinking about i don't know why we didn't do this sooner but the time has come and I will be joining uh, these two as well as uh, Daniel. D- Daniel. Danny, Daniel. Daniel. D. Daniel. You guys Daniel. call him D? No, never. We just Whoa. never. Oh, okay. Is, what, what are the rules for the new place that I should know about before I Don't go? Don't call Daniel D. He hates that. He, he, actually, he, start, he actually starts uh, infuriating with no noise. Oh, yeah. Nicest like guy when he's nice. He goes like this. Craziest dude when he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Danny joke. All right, D- I mean Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel fuck Daniel, shit, Daniel. Sure, you want to see him rage? Can I call him Dan? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. You're stepping. So, so now that I'm now that I'm gonna about to move into your guys' space, like like what like what it, do we have nicknames? Oh, mm. yeah, you'll get a care package when you get in there. Oh, you'll, you'll yeah. see your you'll uh, get a little basket, your influencer package when you when you get into your corner there. Thank you. Yeah. And we're excited to have you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. Super excited to have you. Yeah, yeah. I have the basket ready. Don't we? The basket's not ready. No, okay. Never mind. Never yeah, mind. Skip, no, skip, no, no, skip no, no, the no. basket. The basket's but not ready. no basket. But a lot of a lot of uh, you'll get something exciting anticipation for to have you uh, at, at the studio because uh, I know it's gonna liven up the pace quite a bit uh, having you there. Yeah, it's like it's like watching a black and white movie and you guys just discovered color for the first time. So you're welcome. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Are you calling us a vintage TV? Why? <laughs> Yo, people love vintage. It's 2022. People do love vintage. People don't know what to do anymore, so they just go back to the olden styles. I think your rent just went up because uh, we just discovered that we were vintage. <laughs> wait, wait. I have to pay rent? <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's why we kind of don't really care about all this because you know you're paying us a lot of money to be in there, so it's like, yeah, you know. Whatever. How much? How much is rent, by the way? How much do you pay here? Because it's gonna be about the same, I would imagine, right? I pay five thousand dollars <laughs> a week. Five thousand dollars a week here. <laughs> they that's just the studio, this room though. That's not including the rest. Oh, of the, the house. rest of the house. Yeah, gets, it's it's uh it's separate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Very excited to have you in the studio. Thank in you. All, in all seriousness. Said, serious, serious, just bring it all crazy. <laughs> Gotta get serious. I was actually thinking, what if I just cut this whole corner and just put it over there? What? That way, it looks like I never moved. Nope. What do you do with the? What, what, are you gonna replace the corner for them? What do you mean? Well, if you cut this out, what are you gonna give them another corner? What who? are you talking about? Give who? He says he's going to cut the whole corner out. Okay. Like, you mean dr- saw? Like, yes. Okay. Actually, no, no. Okay, that's okay. now you're just talking crazy, Eric. No, I'm talking like 
in that corner, I'm going to paint one wall white, one wall black, and just, oh. yeah, everything. Put a, I'm going to cut a piece of carpet on the ground, make it look very similar. I'm going to let the dogs run around. The same exact thing. They're going to pee same on your thing, guys' huh? chairs. Oh, we gotta get we gotta get all that atmosphere. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it, it, otherwise, I can't record, guys. But oh, then, okay. how are they gonna know you're at Orale Collective? Yeah, here's the They're better thing. They're just gonna thing. feel like you're at the same place you were last night. What are you gonna? What do you need? What do I need? Yeah, what do you need to function properly? So don't worry about that. I'll put in my order the week of. Okay. Oh. Uh, probably a couple drinks. Okay. Um, probably some Drake in the background. Okay. Um, it has bottle, to be bottle service. Bottle service, yes. Um, I'm gonna Strippers. need. I'm gonna need one of you guys to produce it as well. Edit, uh, lighting, cameras, <laughs> oh. audio, all that stuff. You know, all the, the stuff. The basics. You can ask Dan. Yeah, you can <laughs> ask D. That. Maybe he can help you out. Dan, the oh, man. Dan <laughs> can help you. Danny's such a nice guy. He probably would be like, yeah, bro, sure. He would 100 percent do it. If you ask him to do it, he'll do it. Don't ask us, dude. Ask I, you know what? He him. is so nice. Yeah. And actually, the other day when we were talking to him, I was telling him that I wanted some of the mics that he had. He has the the good like the legit mics. Yeah. And uh, and I was telling him, I was like, yeah, dude, I was, I'm just going to buy another credit card. And I'll just put it on that. He's like, don't do that. He's like, I'll buy them and you can just pay me back. And I'd rather nice do that guy. because I'll never pay him back. Nice and he'll, and I won't feel bad because he's such a nice guy. Yeah, that's yeah. what we did. That's why uh, we're letting him stay in our space because really we just owe him a lot of money. <laughs> it's too much money at this point. I don't hey, know what for you, you can be there. For you, Ren will be <laughs> 600 instead. Instead? That's what you guys yeah. tell him. You guys think he's getting a discount and really he's paying way more than that. Any of you guys are paying? <laughs> Danny, Danny is our tech guy. Dude, he's our he, tech guy. He's our head. electrician. He's our gearhead. Anytime we need to buy something, we ask Danny first because Danny has either bought it, he's either tried it, rented it, or bought it. And most of the time, he's bought it already. Most of the time, yeah. Yeah. So if we're like, hey, Danny, I need to, oh, I already have it. Before you even finish your sentence, he already <laughs> whips it out. That's awesome. You That's should like, just be a rental place, huh? We really should just be a rental place. And it's really just Danny. Dan's rentals. Well, if we talked about this. I don't know if you guys want to bring it up, but the whole compound idea, wouldn't that be cool? Compound? Um, how does that how does that work? That was uh Is that a that's the third secret, right? That's the that's, that's the, the low that's, compound. That's the seventh wonder of the world. Sorry guys, okay, we can't talk about that. No, every time um, Jared and I are in the studio, we end up we end up coming up with like a thousand ideas that we forget about the next day. Yeah. They're like fuck. And then, then we refer to to Keeks about it. We're like, what did, <laughs> she's what did your, say? She's your recorder? Pretty but much. Play sure. that back from yesterday around 12. Like, weren't you guys PM. supposed to do X, Y, and Z? We're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but and then, like, most of the time I show up with ideas, and I'm like, oh, hey, Eric, what if we did this? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And then Keeks is in the back. He's like, motherfucker, I came up with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, I literally just happened right now she's with the, the rental place. She's the woman behind the mask? Literally. Pretty much. Yeah. The entire time. Everything. She, yeah, she's Batman. You guys are Bruce Wayne. Was it her idea to paint it white? What was your idea that wasn't our? You can say it. You can hand her the mic. Give her some input. No. Who, what Shelves. Was I'm sure there was plans. <laughs> Shelves were her idea. The bricks. <laughs> well, yeah. The bricks were there. The bricks were kind of already there. The uh, bricks were okay. there. My idea was to paint the wall yellow. That's There's true. a random yellow wall. Can we... Oh, outside though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, can we paint my corner yellow? Oh, <laughs> no, no, okay. definitely not. The inside stays white. I don't like this idea no more. I don't have. You want to leave now? <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> creative ideas. It's a very nice place. You have a bathroom yeah. that works now. We there's just got the AC. There's Wi-Fi. AC. There's Wi-Fi. There's Wi-Fi. Tiny bring, car. Nine Eleven. I'll bring a TV so we can play video games. Uh, already, already have a care. TV. Already taken care of. We can God. have sleepovers. We can paint each other's nails. Talk about boys. That's true. I'm so yeah, excited. I'm always down to talk about boys. I love boys. Hell yeah! Let's talk about boys. We can. Go ahead. Low key. Yep. Famous dude you would date. Oh, I love this question. Oh, man. That's so tough because there's so <laughs> many. I know, bro, but you got to pick one. I would uh, be a sl- Like a celebrity boy or a... Celebrity boy. Oh, okay. I have like... Boy or man? Boy, man. I know or a who man Eric with would boyish date. Eric would date for sure. Oh, I can't A wait. man with boyish features? No, no, no. <laughs> and it would be Spider-Man. <laughs> hey, man. Like, <laughs> like, hold on. Like, like hey, which one? Wait, Peter Parker or Spider Man? Like in the suit, like twenty four seven. No, like Tom Holland. Like Tom Holland, for sure. Really? No, I fucking love Sean Mendes. Sean Mendes plays Spider Man. No, he's just a handsome bastard. Oh, okay. You're throwing me over the place. No, he's kind of a bitch, dude. He acts yes? like a bitch. Yeah, he acts like a bitch. Sean Mendes. I don't want to ha- hang out with that dude. I don't even like girls that act like that. Sean Mendes or Harry Styles? Sean oh, Mendes. Sean Mendes. Oh, I don't Harry know. Harry Styles is dope. Like he's. Like, I don't know how he yeah. cool he is. You know who? I, you know. You know who has a dope personality? Fucking uh, Jack Harlow. Oh, yes, yeah. Funny dude. As hell, dude. Yeah. Love that guy. He's cool. He has good music. He's yeah. chill. Like he legit just seems like 
the one person, like the one famous person that I mean, there's a few, but he's like one of the main ones that I know I could hang out with and be like, this guy is exactly what I imagine he would he be. He seems so funny, dude. I would he love does. to hang out with that guy. I uh, I heard the first time I heard of Jack Harlow was because uh, one of my buddies was dating a girl from Kentucky, and I guess he's from Kentucky, and yeah. so like he was up and coming, and I was listening to him. I was like, this guy's dope. A few years later, he's. Really, he's dope. on the spot. And he's famous. Oh, so you're that guy. You're the one. No, like, no, no, I found no. him first. No, not even because <laughs> because all the people from Kentucky obviously had heard him way before I did. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah, like they showed me the song, the songs, and I was like, this is sick. You Man, know what's weird the though hook. is like, I always wonder, like for instance, like when Jack Harlow. Have you ever seen that video when Travis Scott performed at like a fair and there's like ten people in the crowd? Oh no. Oh, okay, so That's it's dope. it's like one he always goes back to to show like this is where he started. These were like my day one fans, whatever. But for instance, like, I've gone to, like, carnivals and, like, fairs and shit where, like, someone performs. Or, like, when we go to Red Moon, there's, like, performers and stuff. And you always assume, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to follow this guy. But you don't know for sure. Like, it's very hard. Like, you legit have to like their music and, like, really be a fan of theirs. And then two, a year, two, three, four, however long it takes to get into Illuminati. Oh, shit. Then, you be, then they become huge. And then you're like, I, I found them first. I was at their first concert when it was only, like, ten of us at the, the county fair. You know what I'm saying? And I always wondered that, like, because when the people perform, I'm like, should I stick around? Like, is this guy going to be big or should I just leave? Who do, <laughs> who do you who do you uh, who do you follow <laughs> really in the blowfish? <laughs> who do you follow that? Like you Those were kind of you were kind of on first. Oh, he's in his VR world now. I feel like uh, you look I great. feel like I'm in Fortnite right you now. You look good. I feel like a character in Fortnite. You are. Who did you follow? What, what was your question? Who Who's like an artist that you followed f- like? Not in a, oh, I followed them first, but like an artist that you kind of, you followed. You caught on early on. Yeah, you caught I on. I felt like I discovered or something. No, no. just like you were like, you knew that you were onto them first and you, and like you were onto their first stuff and they blew up. You know what? I'm not going to lie. It's going to sound crazy, but like Drake. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. That's because, cool. Because, so I don't know if you guys remember, but like back in the day, I want to say around high school time, there was this website called Dat Piff. Yep. Oh, Dat yeah, Piff is a shit. It had a bunch of underground music, but it also had like if, you know, uh, Big Sean was like having music that was coming out. It would do that, but it, like halfway through the song, you hear like DJ. Oh, uh, I feel like Wiz Khalifa made that. Piff that was really another one big. too. Yeah, yeah, like Cushion OJ was that the yeah, first time I heard it on Dat I Piff. That. You know they remixed a bunch of songs on that. Sorry, and Side it sounds up. shitty though. It sounds bullshit. I yeah. wish they would have left it when it first came out. There's so yeah. many songs that like they remastered once they got like a, a record deal. I think and it's stuff. the statement. They, like, yeah. remix, and it sounds like dog shit now. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, like, it's terrible. But, like, for me, Drake, I like, I remember listening to Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. So, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas was one of his mixtapes. And, uh, and, and, but, like, I didn't, I thought he was huge because he had, the one of the big songs that I thought he first came out with that was huge was uh, Best I Ever Had. Oh, yeah, that was. Right? That's yeah. And, and I remember I was like, oh, I've heard this song before. And then, but I never realized that until like later on when my younger brother was wow. like, every time we listen to Drake, he's like, you, wow. like, you put me on this. Like, you were the, you were the one of the only people I ever heard that ever listened to Drake and stuff. So then I was just like, oh, okay, maybe. Like, but I, but I knew Drake was pretty big because after that song, he kind of just blew up. Yeah. So I always assumed I discovered Drake. Holy shit, bro. You look like Elton John. Thanks. Damn, dude. You just go, are you Superman? Just go in a, a telephone booth and. Change into your okay. outfit? It's Maybe. Not a, it's not a big deal. No big deal. <laughs> every no, bro, you're Daredevil. Ke- oh, come on. Keeks, every so often, you're just blood. hand him different sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that works out. I feel that way with Logic, to answer oh. my own question. Because I was like, I remember listening to him on that piff, and then he got a deal. Like, I followed his whole journey. You put me That's onto You put me onto Logic. I Logic? What was the first, you know what, the first song I heard was him and Big Sean when you came to Colorado. I don't remember oh, the I name remember of that. it. You know, remember? You know, my favorite memory about Colorado is and Colorado. You, no, it's like you know how when you know how music. <laughs> <laughs> shut down. Shut the fuck up. No. You know how you know how when you go play like how music you Reminds can associate. You. Yeah, yes. I always remember. What's the Drake album where he's sitting on top of the the? Is it uh, he's sitting on top of some Views, shit? Uh, needle. Views. Is it the needle? Views from the six. That's Views the one. The so when I went to go visit Jordan, Views just dropped. Keeks, can you uh, look that up, please? And, uh, that? No, I'm just kidding. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're here. Hey, now that I go to the studio, we, I can have a Keeks. You I can, can have, have a Keeks? Like a uh, she's, uh, yeah, she's already busy with that she's stuff. Got got a lot of she's like, I'm taking. I was like, yeah, I know, Jared. She's like, no, like, I'm seriously taking. Like, I have so many. Problems. I have a lot she of She really is, too. dude. Uh, we can't get, even get her to work for us. No, she's Damn. too cool for us. That Anyways. expensive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But Views is that for, like... It reminds really? me of Colorado, 100. Really? percent Every time I listen to that, I think of us like rolling in your in your Honda. 
No, I was oh, in my. Wait, what, yeah, it was you were my in Honda. Honda. Do you have a picture yeah. of your Honda? He has stuff? the V. He had the V. Put it right here. He had a V Tech. I'll put it right here if I find it. Put the it Honda. Was sick. Oh. We were rolling through Colorado. He's all. Rum, rum, rum. It was yeah. It was a Honda Si. It was the four door. It dude. I love that car. And actually, when I was Honda in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of your password. Shut up, dude. The Honda F one fifty? No, my dad's pa- our password at home is Honda T R X four fifty capital R four zero three two one. There you go, guys. So if you guys ever go to Eric Castaño's pad, you can hack into the, the yeah. You can hack into the Wi Fi. Just don't come outside of my house. Just a bunch of people outside of my house. <laughs> yeah, right. And my Wi Fi sucks right now. It falls off all the so time. Probably because the, probably because the neighbors found out what your password is. And it, shit, whatever. <laughs> no, in they have better one. They have five G. In Summerton, I lived next to the library, and so like you'd see people parked outside, and it was always like college students. Like at midnight, like like typing up Trying papers to cram or something. It in. Yeah. No, dude. The internet I, to write a paper, and I'm nuts. Oh, who knows uh, what the fuck they were doing then, Eric? Piranha. Maybe. So let me. <laughs> maybe t- they were researching stuff still. So let me tell you this: D- because you see the person, like you see a younger kid in the parking lot of the library trying to get that Wi-Fi, masturbating. You just assume, yeah, you just assume, oh, he's doing college work or school work. So if you yeah. saw an older gentleman, let's just say age like fifty and above, mm-hmm. what would you assume he's looking up? I don't know, bro. Because when I went to college, there was like like older people still taking classes. Wasn't that weird though, dude? Like no. I. Re- Dude, no. oh, I remember I took a class, and this no. guy, this guy was no lie, like probably sixty five, gangster, maybe sixty six, pushing it. And uh, dude, he would come in and bring like his four course meal inside the, the uh, inside. I and, call like, that genius. And no, and no one would Smart. say anything. Like if if I brought like a bag of chips and like a, a Red Bull, they'd be like, you can't have that on your desk. But this guy would bring a whole spread oh, out, so light a candle, had and elder. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, elder yeah. privilege. Elder privilege. <laughs> elder privilege. Yeah, and I'd be like, "How the fuck?" And they'd just be like, "Look at him. He's got to eat." You really die. gonna tell him no? <laughs> He's got to eat. He's gonna like, die. Like the student was older than the He's teacher. He's got to eat, bro. Take it easy. <laughs> He's got to eat, bro. He's got to take his pills. He's, He's got to like, eat something with his pills. If I don't, if I have, he's like, I have to take my blood pressure pills. If I don't, if I don't eat with them, then I'm fucked. Hundred <laughs> percent. Otherwise, I gotta leave this class. I'm a goner. <laughs> That reminds oh, that's me. rough. Dude, yeah, that's weird. What I, reminds you? I used to have this neighbor when I lived in Phoenix. That I have I a neighbor. No, shut up, dude. Oh, sorry. Soon to not I lived neighbor. in this little apartment. It was weird because my front door was his back balcony. So if you can imagine that, oh, it was weird. fucking weird. Because I lived in a studio. It was like super odd. It was wait, odd. Wait, wait, say that again. Sorry. My front door, Uh huh. it was like on the street. It was like literally right there. I parked my car. It's like two steps in my door. Right or left to my door was this guy's balcony. It's like, you know, the little outside uh, area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he would go outside every single day. I didn't know anything about uh. him, but he would go outside every single day. He wore a white V-neck. He wore sunglasses. He was old. I'm pretty sure he was a pilot, but he would always go outside and smoke cigarettes. Yeah. And he would, every time I'd go outside, I'd look at him, and I didn't even know his name. I would just be like, hey, he's like. Hey. <laughs> he hit you with one of those? He, I, so the neighbor over here is like, they're, one of those. they're like way older. So every time I walk out and I hear them open their door, I try to run to my car. Because the high is always awkward. Oh, oh, this is a good question. Are you, are, what kind of neighbor are you? I'm a chill neighbor. I'll say, like, if, if he uh, is, huh? He's a good if yeah, people, you're, you're, If people are around, like, I'll fucking chat it up. Huh? Yeah. Will you walk over there, too? Oh, don't eh, tell me that. You'll I'm walk not a, over I'm there, not a huh? big walk over there guy. Oh, bro. But, like, if, if a situation comes up, like, hey, I noticed your fucking trash can fell over, so I just picked it up. Did you talk? But you, you go, you go over there and you talk to him about how his trash can fell over, what fell out of his yeah. trash. Oh, I noticed this was in there. Yeah, yeah you just had. A good when guy. did you buy that? Whoa, that's crazy. Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, like, you Jesus need help putting up your TV. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Well, I'm always free. Like on Thursdays, like Jesus Christ. He, yeah, he's like he's that guy that like wants acknowledgement. He's like, oh, by the way, like your trash can fell over and I picked it up. Like if the guy shut the oh, fuck. <laughs> if the guy oh, take it yo, easy, dude, chill, dude. Yo, yeah, chill, I'm gonna chill. put him at a one. Chill, yeah, I'm yeah. Put Put him down, put him down. Put him down. Actually, I'm going to just turn him off. You I'm are, huh? Down, <laughs> oh, I love that of people. Oh, I, I put your I put your trash can up. Yeah. So you know. And then, like, I could, like if I go if I come home, my <laughs> trash can's standing up, I just assume, like, cool, like, the wind to knock it over. But if my neighbor comes out and he's like, oh, by the way, like, your trash can was all over the place, and I picked it up, and I'm like, fuck you. What the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> fuck you. Oh yeah. My God. You know? Hey, yeah, don't fucking hey, tell me about thank it. Thank you for your service. <laughs> I guess, I <don't> know. <laughs> just pick it up and just be a good person. I don't know. Me, like, <laughs> if if someone were to tell me they did some shit for me, I would have just been like, "Thanks, man." I would I say appreciate thanks. That but shit. there's a way that you say it where you're like, "Hey, I picked your trash up for you." Yeah. How would you say? How would you say it? So Jordan's trash can falls over, right? Windy day. One of those. One of those Yuma. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Random Yuma windy days. I'm not days. done setting up, dude. It's hey. the morning. Oops. Yeah, yeah. You're going outside for your water and your son, and Jordan's getting home from work because he works at a bar. 
and yeah. he's getting home from work. He's like, "Fuck, I'm tired," and he notices his trash is up. But you're getting up for your morning stretch and your and your jug of water. Right. So you're stretching. He's coming home. Mm-hmm. His trash. You picked up his. You just picked up his trash and you put it away. Go. Pick up your fucking trash, bro. Hey, man. Oh, I didn't. Oh, my bad. Dude. I know. I know. It was windy today. I was. I've been at work all day. No, fuck I, I, that, bro. This is the second time this week. Hey, well, you and know what, dude? And it's barely Tuesday. Dude, your fucking dog took a shit on my lawn. I didn't say anything. I just picked it up and didn't even tell you. You know what? Next time, I'm going to shit on your front door. How about fucking that? Fucking do it then. Yeah, how about, I'm gonna, you know what? Next time, I'm going to dump my trash on, on your in your lawn. I want to see you try. This is not how I thought it was going to go. I thought it was supposed to go, like, the nice way. No, definitely. Wait, what was the question no, again? No, it, would actually, it actually would go the nice way. It'd be like, hey, what's up, Jordan? How you doing, brother? What's hey, up, man? Hey. I, uh, I, your trash can was knocked over, so I picked it up. Just in case you see on your ring camera some weirdo walking around. That's there, exactly how he would say. One hundred percent. That's one hundred percent how you would 100%. say. And you know what I would do? I would get out the car and you're telling me this stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, thanks, bro. And I would just walk in. I try to get in as fast as I can before you say anything else. That I'd have to be like, oh fuck, now I owe this guy something, dude. No, so I used to have the sweetest uh, front neighbor. I won't say his name, but the nicest say his name. No, no, no. Guy. The nicest guy in the say fucking I'll world. It out. No, 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 no. First name. Nicest guy in the world. He doesn't live there anymore. It kind of sucks. I miss him now, but. Every single day, like they're retired, him and his wife, nothing, right? Another. But every time, every time I'd get home, I'd be like, "Hey, what's going on?" And he'd be like, and "Another." He'd be bent over doing something, and he would look up at me, and then he would do the body language, like if he's gonna start walking. I'm like, "Oh fuck!" So I, before he could even do that, I would just be, "Hey," put my head down and like. Try to walk <laughs> That's what I do with this guy, bro. Because they come and talk. <laughs> Dude, they'll yeah. come and talk, and I'm in here twiddling with my fucking toes. I'm just like, dude, I gotta go inside. I got, I make some. I no, I can't even make anything up because I hate lying. Yeah. I feel icky when I lie. Yeah. So I'm just, I, li- I sit there for an hour listening, because I can't find an exit, and I'm like, okay, well. But let me ask you this: Would you rather have a neighbor that you show up and he never acknowledges you? Nope. I want a chatty Kathy. See, then yeah. So but you prefer that, but you still don't want to interact with that. This is the frustrating part about being me. That's I fair. feel you though. I want the medium though. I oh, want to. Yeah. Hey, what's up? How you doing, neighbor? And then good. How about you? Honestly, I'm good. I feel like life would just be a lot easier if it was just walk my way. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Right? Everything revolved around. If me. Everything revolved around me. It'd be Yo, a lot real easier. quick, I heard this thing. I don't know if it's true. I hear a lot of things. But yeah, I know. I'm hearing you guys' stupid voices in my head. Um, I'm probably gonna go to sleep and still hear you guys' voices in my head. That's a good thing. And so, <laughs> thank you for keeping up with that. By the way, Keeks. Shout out to Keeks. By the way, if I had a camera, I'd point it at you. But. Let's leave her as a mystery woman. Mystery, yeah. You know, like in a video game with the black face. Yes, that Pokemon. With the question mark, yeah. Keeks. <laughs> You'd be a great Pokemon. <laughs> what would her name be? Keeks. Keeks, yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is with, P- with uh, Pikachu, with like uh, Pokemon, that's all it was, was they were just repeating their name. So like, he's like, Keeks, Keeks. And like, Keeks, oh, you yeah. hungry? And she's like, Keeks. What, uh, what, what would your two moves be on your card? I feel like it'd be an angry stare. <laughs> oh, like yeah, for like, one, yeah, like one, like an evil bow, bow, stare, bow, bow. yeah, and uh, some sort of defense tactic, probably like putting up like a a fancy ass like yellow with blue, ch- uh, but the table the, like okay, so we would have to be like designer. Piece. We would have to figure out what element Pokemon she would be, what kind of element she would be. Right? Oh, she's so fire, like, fire, fire yeah. or rock. I don't know. I feel like she would be rock. No, no, bro, like earth. Really, no, no. you're water water oh we what, all get what about wrong. the ve- what about the veggie ones or like the the plant ones is that's because she's wearing green but that's because she's wearing green yeah yeah, yeah. well no but, but i know you guys are really big into like plants and shit yeah but not that much that's really just oh, me. okay that's me yeah you do the other day i went to your house and for some reason your whole kitchen sink was full of plants why is that do they get better lighting in there or? in the kitchen sink yeah oh uh, the out the any plant that's outside of my room is my dad's responsibility <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't, no, I don't have anything to. Eric do. puts all his plants in his closet in the dark. He's like, "These are mine. Don't touch them." He's like, "Well, you know they're better outside. Don't touch them." All right, Joe. <laughs> don't and then look they at all it. die. <laughs> I have to text him when I'm gone. I'm so, like, "Hey, did you water my plants?" And I'm. I'm pretty sure he doesn't remember. But you know, if he hears this, he's probably gonna get mad at me. But do you talk to your plants? He's. Do I talk to my plants him. as you water yeah, them or something? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not a creepo like that. I. I feel them though. You know what? I I feel Not like, like you rub their leaves. No, I do. Like if you're rubbing. That's way hair. bigger of a creep than the guy who talks to the plants. No, fuck nard. Because you what if you do both? No, you're supposed to. You're supposed to touch them because if you touch the leaves and they're soft, that means they need more water. Oh. oh. And if they're yellow, that means they don't have enough nutrients. Okay, plant daddy. Yeah, Amber. Good plant Amber, daddy. Amber, Amber <laughs> got me under that. I'm a. I'm a yeah. Plant God, if you plant will. this dick in your butt, dog. Oh my oh. God! Oh. It went there quick. Oh. Why did you get Ron, dude? Welcome already. back to another episode of Slop on the Pod episodes. <laughs> that's a say perfect. Something stupid, dude. No, you're good. You're good. That's, that's a perfect segue for our sponsor. 
Manscaped. Manscaped. <laughs> the slob job. 20? 20%, 20%, 20%, 20% off. 20% 20% off when 25. you use slob on the pot. 25% off. 20%. Come on, guys. Chill. They're 30%. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna knock me off. 20% it's off. Free. 50% off. <laughs> you know what? I actually have a read, but do you guys just want to do this? And what? I'll just insert this. That way I don't have to like no, let's do, do the read. I don't have it. Oh, you I th- You just said you had the read. It's Literally. on my phone, on my okay, laptop. no big deal. In the thing. Yeah. So <laughs> this episode has been sponsored by Manscaped. When you order Manscaped, make sure you use Slob20 for 20% off at checkout. Plus Thank for, you. Plus free shipping. Plus free shipping. When you order at Manscaped.com. When you order at Manscaped.com. Yeah, because do you ever like just sit at the DMV and you're sitting there and your legs are crossed and then you just feel a weird little like scratchy dude, I, scratch? Yeah, I get that all the time. Not done, dude. No. And you feel a little scratchy scratch and you're like, shit, Oops. I don't know what the scratchy scratch is. And then you have... About T minus fifteen minutes before you have to go take your picture, but you're like shit. I can, I, I don't know what to do. You well, like you need body wash because your balls. You probably didn't shower. Show them the product, guys. This is Manscaped's body wash. A what do you use that for? Form, a new formula for daily shower gel that increases your chances of getting laid. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No. Hey. Uh, Really good. <laughs> That's that was in the notes. Don't say this product oh, gets you laid. <laughs> okay, to we be fair, we can't back that up. Hey, this product gets me laid. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What do you got, Eric? Lip balm. Lip balm. Do you ever sit in the sun for way too long and your lips get burnt, crusty, crusty? You ever, you ever try giving a blowjob with dry lips? It's the worst. It's the, it's the worst. worst. Sandpaper on your ween. Wor- Use lip balm so you from? have unscratchy ween from. Manscaped. And go to manscaped.com and use slob20 for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. I'm sorry if you lose your sponsorship. Yeah, no, it's dude, all good. I, I already really lost it. I lost up. it for last month. That's why I didn't why? use it. Why? Why? Huh? Why? Because I. I, I don't you got to make numbers? I don't know. You didn't sell enough? You got to make numbers? I honestly don't know. They emailed me. I probably shouldn't be saying this. All right, we'll cut it out. If, if the, you can't say it, you will, we can cut it out. All right, so. Real, they, quick, wait, real quick, real quick, go, go, go. Oh, oh! So they were saying that a lot of people weren't using my promo code, mm-hmm. and okay. so because of that, they were like, "You know what? Let's give, let's give your fans, let's give your listeners a break, and uh, we'll come back to it." So then I was like, "That's a cool tactic, you know." <laughs> one missing, one minute you're listening to an episode, and there's Manscaped.com, you know, ads and stuff. Next, you know, three episodes, there's nothing, and they're like, yeah, "What?" Then you, yeah. yeah, and then they're gonna be like, "Oh, Manscaped came back," and then maybe they'll use it. So. By the way, if you guys use uh, – go to manscaped.com, use promo code SLOP20 for 20% off plus free shipping, and uh, it helps me. It also helps Manscaped, but it mainly helps me because it keeps the lights on in this house. Yeah. It was – last month, I didn't have them, so that's why we have to get rid of this house. Because to be honest, that's why he's leaving because you guys stopped you buying guys stopped Manscaped paying. stuff, and now he has to move in with us. So in order for to, – for, to help us to get him out of our place, just buy, just buy a fucking Manscaped. Yeah, dude. and what are we going to do with a guy walking around with, with smooth balls everywhere? <laughs> Suck him. <laughs> God damn it, Jordan. <laughs> dude! Right. Do you know what I love, low key? Like this isn't I, what I really like. Why do we say low key? Because it's like you don't want to bring a lot of attention to it, but you also like subtle. It's subtle. a subtle thing. Yeah. Like, can I say low key? I'm gay. By the way, have you guys? Yeah, because you kind of like <laughs> orange font. <laughs> Subtly, I'm gay. Subtly, you're gay. Um, I really key. like the crop preserver thing. Have you guys ever used that? Would you have this one? I don't. I oh, dude, you got to get it. Wait, so this one right here? Uh, the the bottle one that says Crop Preserver Artard. No. No, 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 no. They're actually all very nice. Um, the fucking, the, the the main one, obviously the Lawnmower 4.0. Yeah. Um, Do you that have one, an extra charger for that by any chance? Huh? Do you have an extra charger for that? You know what I do. Oh, my God, I but forgot don't tell mine, and I was, in a, I was in a frenzy. <laughs> what? I forgot my Manscaped when I went, to, last time I went to Vermont. I mean, uh-huh. it felt appropriate, but it uh it, it what you need? What you need a? Sh- what you need a shave for? What do you mean? What I need a shave for, dude? Yeah, dude. There's like an extra room th- when you have like long pubes. It's like an extra surface area you have to account for because then like usually you're this, you but then when you have a long pubes, pub- yeah, hundred percent. And it does get scratchy, scratchy. Let me ask you this question. Okay. I like that you brought that up, Jer. Right. I know your girlfriend is in the room. Yeah. Or I'll bleep that out. I don't want people to know that. Shut up. That person's Come on. in the room. Shut She's up. in the room. What are you talking about? We're in the room. What All four of us about? are in the room. <laughs> We're all here, dude. So let me ask you, you this. You should act like she doesn't exist. Yeah, let me, bro. Let me ask you this. So say it's you go a good month without shaving, right? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you've been with your girl for a long time. So I'm going like, to leave this. Oh, bro. Doesn't no, no, matter. You, no, We're no, this, fucking. This, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that was not even the question. I was just I was just going to ask you guys. Use lip balm. That's all he's going to have. Yeah, I would. Put it on the tip of your dick. 
Whoa. Yeah, dr- instead of putting lotion, burns one way to put lipstick on. Anyways, I was asking. So like, you, say you go a whole month, right? You grow a bush. You've been with you. You're living with Sorry. your girl. Yeah. She she sees you get out of the shower and she sees the bush. She don't care. She's already with you. She's yes. like, I don't fucking care. We're still gonna get it on, right? Fuck yeah. But say out of nowhere you shave. Uh-huh. Down, bro. All right. Say out of nowhere you shave. You don't let her know. You don't give her a heads up. You know, like, hey, by the way, you don't schedule it. You don't put it in Google. It's just a naked mole rat. Yeah. <laughs> and then one morning, one morning you walk out the shower and you're fully shaved, clean and smooth. And did your girl ever look at you and be like, why'd you shave? Like, who'd you shave for? Don't do you do that? No, don't look at it. This is a confidence. Question. I don't You're think so. Like no, I'm serious. Like, imagine if she wasn't in the room. Yeah, but she is. No, no, no. I'll bleep I, that out. I would. I would <laughs> ask myself, does she do that? Like, I, I don't think she ever does. I think the only you keep thing it pretty she, keep it close, right? Yeah, like I'm pretty standard as far as like like what a five I o'clock do. shadow. And then every no, because I don't really like shave my beard either. I just go to the barber shop. We're talking down there. Oh, down here. Oh, yeah. yeah That's yeah, the yeah, that's main right. spot I'm talking about. So, that's no, the forbidden area. No, she's never brought it up. No? No. Like, you never walk out and she's just like, oh, you shaved. I'm like, that's nice. No. no. Dude, so crazy that you asked that. I, like, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever had those words said to me. It's like, why'd you shave your balls? <laughs> well, now you've had it asked to you. <laughs> what do you guys And then I'm not hairy, like, in general. Like, You're I'm not, not a hairy I'm guy. not hairy, like, all that much. Yeah. But, like, yeah, like, I don't know. I, I've sh- I've, I went from, from having hair and then, like, shaving it off and then mm. we're still fucking. Do you guys have like a so like the main focus? Are too much. The main focus is usually the ball sack area, right? Because it's like looser skin. Oh, so like yeah, the the, the you guys like have five more minutes when you're detailed balls. when when you want to be extra careful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because like, cut this. Like the pubic area, you could just fucking mow down that shit real quick. Yeah, but the balls. Ball yeah, that's just like. Yeah. Do you ever try to get all like? I think I could be a barber and try to fade your. Fuck no. No. Absolutely. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're I want to cut my own hair. I would love I to try, too, but I try down there. But first. I, c- I'm committed to my barber. Yeah. Yeah. And I was gonna be pissed. And I would be pissed. He do gets mad when the Russians cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. No, the that Russia. is had nothing to do with 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 pop culture. That's just because in Phoenix I used to get my hair. You oh, said Russia. pop culture. Russia is like, pop culture. <laughs> yeah. You said the war was pop culture. It's, it is pop culture. You fucks. There's Bad Bunny, and there's Dua Lipa, and then there's Russia. <laughs> I, love, I love Dua Lipa so dude, much. Dude, oh my god. I will do anything. Yo, I, I'll I, risk it all. I've heard her music before, but I didn't really pay attention to the, the girl behind the mic. Yeah. And oh my god, I've seen her, and she's amazing. She's wonderful. Yeah. Is she like six foot tall? She looks very I don't, know. I don't give a shit. She's I'll climb down like a tree. Right? I think I have a thing for tall girls. She's uh, from, from Greece, from Turkey. You retarded? Whoa. She's from Britain. <laughs> she's from England, dude. So she's retarded. You're <laughs> fucking retarded. <laughs> What? <laughs> Britain is England, isn't it? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Bro. What? Are you from Phoenix or Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are stupid. Stop making fun of me. Dude. I'm going to leave. Oh, fuck. You know what? I, it's funny that you bring that up because. Huh? Is it? The what? She's Albanian. But oh. she is from U- the UK. Yeah. But I always assumed. Al- She's five She's five oh, eight. She's just tall as me. Tall. So I have a chance. Me. So I have a chance. How she, tall are you? You have no chance. I'm six. <laughs> are you serious? Six foot. Do you think I have a chance? Be real. Absolutely not. You do, bro. Bro, how many guys want to be with Dua Lipa? Like I don't five, know, like thousand, including us. What do you bring to the table, pal? He's a photographer. What do you bring to the table, pal? Uh, average size, <laughs> manhood, well shaven, well shaven, well shaven, well shaven manhood by Manscaped. Oh, yeah, uh, Manscaped. Great personality. Use promo code twenty percent off. 20 20 20 20 20 20 that definitely puts you in the top fifty percent, bro. I can get like at least in some sort of percentile. It'll get me past the first stage for sure. Okay, let me ask you this. All right, legit, one hundred percent. Like, if you ran into someone, if you ran into this person, I would choke in the lobby of a hotel. Who do you think you would have a chance with? Like, serious, seriously, oh, I love seriously, this seriously, stuff. seriously. Amber Heard. Who the fuck <laughs> is Amber Heard? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? That's a good one. Who's Amber Heard? Dude. Wow. It's Johnny Depp. Girl, yeah. It's all over the fucking news. It's so annoying. It's I'm so tired culture. of it. It's pop culture. <laughs> That's, pop culture. <laughs> That's pop culture. <laughs> That's pop culture. That is not girl shitting on people. Didn't she shit on something? Yeah, she did. So oh, I don't give a fuck. There's Drake, Dua Lipa, Russia, and then there's Amber Heard. Come on, oh, Amber okay. Heard. That's a good question. Fuck, I don't know. Who do you think? Um, I've legit always thought Ariana Grande. You think you'd have a chance Seriously, with her? Yeah, Why? Because Pete Davidson had a chance with her. Why? Because no, he's a comedian. No, I thought this. I thought this way before. More? Like when I saw her, I was like, you know what? I, I think I could pull her, or at least a one night stand. Whoa! Like yeah. enough to get her attention to be like, hey, like, do you want to hang out? Fuck, I'm really thinking about this one right here. 
really think about this, guys. You know who I think you would. Uh, I like when you. I really like when you answer questions for me. I'm not being sarcastic. I, I like. When I you feel do it for like me. Eric yeah. would attract. Um, fuck, what's her name? I'm blanking on her name. Rose. Rose from the UFC. Oh, Thug Rose. Shave, Thug Rose. Shave yeah, head, she's fucking. Shave head or shave long hair? Head? She's fine, dude. Because I yeah. think I think it's she's like one. she. You guys would be in the same realm as far as like what you guys are into, but like. What is she into that Eric is into? Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed martial arts. Yeah. Meet her in the hotel lobby. You want to fight? Fuck yeah. <laughs> you wanna yeah scrap? She's so chill, bro. We're you want to fucking. fucking scrap? No, but she's then chill. I feel I feel like she's very like uh, I don't know, like very. How would I say it without saying making it seem like it's a bad thing? Like no, sensitive? make it seem like a bad thing. But sensitive is like you might it might sound like oh, it might come off wrong. I sensitive? get what you're but saying. But like like in tune with their like. Inner emotions, emotions. Exactly. I get the type of woman yeah, I need, yeah, huh, Jer? Yeah. 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 What type of girl do I need, Jer? You need, you need Thug Rose in your I life. I need Thug Rose. A bitch that can knock you out, but they like still be able to just sit but down also and cuddle care for and you. chill. Exactly. Yeah, I get what you're saying because it's like a girl that'll beat my ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you up. I need a girl that's gonna beat my ass, dude. <laughs> Bro, would you, would you let a girl that, sock dude. you and you not react? I always do. Side hits me all the time. I don't react. Shut oh, the fuck God. up, dude. Side, I get in here. Side, come here. Come answer the question. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses. Oh, why didn't we do this a long time? Dude, this it's feels very so much better. Yo, oh, bro. Wait till I get to the new studio. Bro. Yo, people are, with the couch, people are going to be laid couch. out. Like, if I'm giving them, like, advice, dude, like, I'm a therapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. what happens. <laughs> That's what slobbing the pod's going to turn into. Dude, I That's what wait. really happens. Oh, Hell yeah. But no, I, going back to what you're saying, I told you. Psych on the bike. <gasps> you could be psych on, on the, the bike, bike, bro. Oh, hey. I, f- I was talking. I was about to say something. Oh, but. So. Oops. But oops, right? I don't want to take that. I don't want to take it either. Yeah, yeah so, we should kill it. So sometimes when Sida cuts me Sorry. off, I'm Uh-oh. like, "Uh oh, oh." I was just saying something. Uh oh. Uh It's like a direct. It's thing like the Dollar Tree though. version of oops, huh? It is like a Dollar Tree. All right, version let's just let's let's cancel this. Let's just cancel it. Yeah, yeah, anyway, go back to Jerry was saying. I totally get what you're saying about Thug Rose. Is yeah. like, is that or Jaid? I really want to say your name properly. No, I'm sorry. I I apologize. Go back to Jerry. That's fine. Jerry, fine. Jerry works. Jerry. All right, so Jerry. Um, so, <laughs> Close enough. so back to what you were saying with Amber Rose, Amber, what's her name? Uh, Amber Heard. Amber Heard. No, the other girl, Thug Am- Rose. Thug uh, Rose. Rose. Thug Rose. I mixed Amber Heard and Thug Rose together. Thug Sorry, Rose. but what you were saying was she seems like someone that because she fights, like she wants an aggressive relationship, but really she's like because I look like this and because I do what I do, you just assume like I just want to be like aggressive all the time. I get what you're saying. She probably has like feelings. No, she, bro. When she won, is that what you're saying? No, you're she getting won, it all wrong. When okay. she you're won, getting it all wrong. When she won that? her title, like she was like super cool and was like just like giving. Bro, like, she a knows what she wants, bro. Here's the thing: she gets up there, she's focused, she's centered, she knows exactly what her goals are. Nothing gets into that. Do you dude. have a crush on her? A little bit. I just like girls like that. Do you have a thing for shaved heads, or is it just her? Nah, not really. No. So it's just her. In general, just yeah, not just, a shaved head guy. Just not a real, just not a big shaved head guy, you know. Would do you think like if you were in bed with a shaved head girl, you would? I won't say no to it, but it's not my first choice. I just <laughs> like hair. Would you be nervous? Would you be nervous about this situation happening though? <laughs> You're in bed with her, okay. half, halfway through having intercourse. Oh, okay, okay. You start imagining this woman as a man, and you're still enjoying intercourse. Uh, okay, perfect segue. Yes. Okay, so I have a gift for you. Oh. You gotta know what it is already. But Let's can you hold this? Well, I know it's a frame. Oh, okay, you hold it. I can't. Did you narrate this for me? Definitely not. I can't hear myself. Oh, you don't have we headphones you on. You sound so good, though. You sound Sorry. good. <laughs> you sound All right, yeah. make sure the camera can hear it. You really Should I close my narrate? eyes? Yeah. Whose mouth? <gasps> oh, you dicked it. It's cool. We're leaving good. this They're place. Leaving. So we're, we're going to trash this place. You're not going to get oh. your deposit back. <gasps> no fucking way. That's badass. Oh. And a big old. Currently, oh. Eric. Thank gave you. Thank you. Jordan. A frame of some guy on a skateboard. Hey, well, okay. Well, first kind of dark, but there God. there's some streaky lights, you know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> first off. You can see the reflection on the bottom half of the guy on the top half, I think. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, That's see? a good. There's a skateboard down there. Good observation. Good observation. Okay, okay. I don't know who it is. Lines. I don't know skate like that, but here we are. So first off, thank you, Eric. Um, this actually means a lot to me because Thanks, Eric, kids. we Eric had been talking about wanting to go back to his roots of skating and stuff, and why he got into what he got into, of whatever he wants to call it. And um, <laughs> I, he wanted to go back to the whole photography of skating and stuff. And oh, he's doing a thing. I he brought know. this. He brought this idea up, and he was showing me magazines. Of like ideas he had, and I was like, "Dude, you should do it." And the person in the picture is actually our our cousin, 
So this is family, and yeah, he's actually uh, like a dope ass skater. Just won like a, a skate competition locally, but um, I saw this picture on in, on Instagram, and uh, I really wish I wasn't leaving this house because it looked perfect in here. I don't know how it's gonna. Yeah, look I really just gave it to you so you can take it to us. I'll us. put it in our bedroom. <laughs> So okay. that's our cousin Dom. Yeah. Yeah. Young so Dom. that's that's the whole thing. That's our little cousin Dom. He rips. Nowadays, I was talking to uh, one of the – It was. I think I told you this. Thank you, Eric. I haven't told you. You're welcome. So that's our little cousin Dom. Shout out to Dom. I don't know what his Instagram name is. Uh, but I'll, put, he, I'll put it right here. Okay. No, you're not. Yeah. But um, he, um, we it. never do. How many fucking podcasts have we all done and we've never done that? You do it. You do it. I lied. I, you do it. Yeah, I have to watch him. It's fucking miserable. But go on. <laughs> it Anyways, fucking sucks. So we were at the skate park. And Dom, uh, well, I've known Dom, like, when I was still skating in high school, Dom was, like, a little whippersnapper. Yeah. He was learning how to skate, and then now that I went back, like, the kid rips. And yes. now, yeah, the kid rips. Dude, yeah, he's he fucking does. wild. And he's, like, got his own style at 100%. That's dope. He wears, like, baggy white pants. Like, that, he wears that. That's what he wears. No, this, yeah. He's cool. He's like wearing this. white pants? Dude, he's fucking cool. I think he's so cool. He, almost like, you know, like, where you try to, where, I, like, I almost, I had to, like, Check myself, cause like, well, am I trying to be too cool right now? Cause like, he was like, he's cool, cause he's like mad chill. He's just like, yeah, yeah. He's it he's very he like, Dude, so mellow. he doesn't talk much. If you try to congratulate him, he's like, oh, thanks. Like if you make him laugh, it's a it's a pat on the back. Yeah, uh, he's funny. Like he's one of those kids. He's just very like introvert. Tunes. But he's like, yeah, it's chill. So I never know how to read him. But anyways, he rips. We went to the park. We skated. But nowadays. A lot of kids at the park don't like skate as much. It's just like a cool thing to do. Yeah, you said that, which yeah. kind of makes me sad. Well, I was talking to a, 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 a buddy there that like is there all the time, and he was telling me that like kids go there just to hang out. Like they don't skate. Like they just take their skateboards and they just like chill. But like back in the day, it wasn't like that. It was like everybody was ripping. Like everybody was like trying to get better and progress. But like he's the only, one of the only ones that like still like. Rips Lives like he, like you said Lives like he actually goes there with an idea of like okay today I'm gonna try this and this compared to other people that are just like I'm just gonna go hang out skate park and see what happens like he has a plan almost. no like they don't even skate bro like he oh, goes damn. and he <laughs> flows no I'm that's what I'm saying they sit their ass down is it cool if I cross my legs or is that cool no I think it's sick Steven's dad he's still like that okay what if I shake it you can do that <laughs> I feel like you almost need to have like a cigar in the do other whatever way, you like want partner I have a CBD this? joint yeah dude that's perfect. You are just your own thing, aren't you, you are bud? You. Aren't you, bud? Can I you just say f- fuck colors, huh? Can I say s- you're not a big color guy, are you? Not really. My girl gets mad at me, but honestly, whatever feels I comfortable. Love when he says my girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your we girl, know Sida, your bro. girl that lives with me. Why um, don't you just she, say Sida? <laughs> that's her name. Because that's a not a the coolest name. When um. uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, every time I say Sida, they're like Sarah. I'm like, no, yes, it's that's fine. That's, yeah, that's, that's fair. fine. Close Whatever enough. you want to name my girlfriend. For the longest time, when we first started talking, all I knew her as was her Instagram name, and I thought it was Sarah. Oh, I still call. What's her Instagram name? Sida, but. Oh. <laughs> but the way it's spelled, I was Just like. To say your name. But no, no, the way it's spelled, I was like, you how mean, do you say that? You I'm like, mean oh, it's S A I R A. Yeah, S A I R A. I can't do that because I have iMovie. It doesn't Sarah. read the letter at the time. But yeah, the editing side. But no, yeah. So then I just assumed it was Sarah. Oh, way to go! She's on point. Look at her. Thank you. Killing, uh, it. Killing it, bro. Unstoppable. Yes, I like those. Whoa, dude! I wish like, you could see everything so clearly right now. Right? Those are cool, huh? They Life like just got vibrant, bud. Yeah, dude. It, fun I fact: like I know you guys. Show. I know you guys are big with like dazed and confused. Going right to the there. shooting range and stuff. Mm-hmm. Wear yellow lenses. It. Makes They're everything. Dope. I'm gonna be honest with you, bud. We haven't gone to shooting. Dude, ranges. it's been a while. We haven't gone to shooting range. I know you guys have like stat, like fads. What happened to like the bow and arrow thing? You guys are doing. I never, still never my, did the I bow. I still have my bow, dude. Never did the. Bow. You still have it. I still got my bow, dude. Well, can you take it to the studio? I want to practice. In you're, case you're not. The world ever ends. No. I'll be I'll out there as soon as a, a podcast. I'll tell you what. Ends, I'll tell you what. I'll, you, you tell got, me what. You got dartboard. Oh. You can get good at that dartboard. Dude, so that'd be fun. You know what we should do? We yes, should we ask do. people for recommendations so we're about. We're gonna get one. <laughs> yes, we do. We should ask Geeks. people about what we, we have could one. do at the studio on we're our just making broken on our time here. off. Wait, what was that? What we should ask people what we should do on our time off at the studio. Because like today, Eric and I were playing catch. We were playing. Catch. I saw that, which I'm excited about because I have my do. I have a glove in here. I have one in my car. Oh, Jordan's our lefty. Uh, this is a great time. Did actually, you we. You're probably wondering why Jer and I. You're probably wondering why Jer and I brought you here today 
we to your it. studio. You guys so brought you, me to my house? Yep. yep. Well, you're probably uh, wondering why. We, thanks for the invite, yeah, by the way. Yeah, 100%. You guys never brought me anything, but okay. Yeah. It's fine. Anyways. Uh, you're probably curious why we've arranged such a soiree for Elaborate you. Elaborate plan. Mm. Yeah. Elaborate plan. We actually wanted to present a question for you. Uh, we Another gift? No, shut up. Um, it's sorry. bigger than that. We Whoa. noticed you're a lefty. And we need... We need some left-handed arms, We need bro. some left-handed arms. We're arm, starting a Sunday league team. I'm ambidextrous, by you're the way. ambidextrous? Fun fact. Yeah, I throw with my left, I write with my right, and I kick with my right. But Shut I up, dude. You're left-handed. We need a fucking left-handed batter, dude. Are you in or yeah? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Sick. We're starting a baseball team. Can you really? Put, yep. Can you... Seriously. Yep. What do I'm you in. play? What did you play in high school? Uh, I played center field and first base. Sometimes pitcher, but I wasn't the greatest just because they wanted to we throw don't in the have a first baseman. Here's our here's our <gasps> team. You tell me if you're out. You know what? We'll let you figure it out. Yeah. If you want to be in, Jer's. <laughs> what? She said she's QB. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jer probably knows the lineup a little bit. Such more. a girl answer. <laughs> uh, All right. So uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Jer's gonna give you. The I'll line. probably have to catch, which is fine with me. Why? Wait, hold on. Is this men's softball no, 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 or no, no. a this baseball? Is, no, this is baseball. No, Thank you. Baseball. You're playing first because Joe's playing catcher. Thank oh, you. dude, if Joe can play catcher, can I play center field? I'm fucking, I'm fucking uh, DH. But, oh, sick, oh, dude. But yeah, you can play center field. Yeah, but we need some wheels out there, bro. Dude, I'm Here's all in. If you play center field, yeah, no fucking around. No fucking around. I need, bro. You, I need you to, I need you to be the captain of the outfield, bro. You I need in. to be in charge. I'm the guy that every time there's an out, I put the fingers up. I Dude, love everybody needs to I do love that. that. I love that. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Two down. Let people know. Two down. <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy. And what about what, what a ball gets? What about what about a ball about gets hit into the gap? You in the right fielder. What do you do? We both run as fast as we can. You idiot. Who's a cutoff, man? It's fucking second base. Good answer. <laughs> Damn, dude, that was a good one. Good one. one, bro. Yeah. A good one. All right, next good question. One. Ask me again. Do it again. I got this. Do it again. Do it again. Do All right, got it. Got it. All right. Who do you warm up with? You're, it's a it's a home game, sorry. The person on the other side of the fence. Good. The kid <laughs> on the other side of the fence. In the crowd. The people. Oh, in the no, stands. wrong question. I thought you were going to warm If you're a home, I thought you were going to warm up the left fielder. No, yeah, you have to home. You have to warm up yeah, the left fielder. You got to warm up the left fielder. The left fielder always plays with himself. So, so he just tosses the ball up and catches You'll warm up with. <laughs> you're responsible the, for the outfield. With right? the opposite uh, yeah. fielder. So, if, you, if your team's on the first baseline, you're going to warm up with the left fielder. If your team's on the third baseline, you're going to warm, warm up with the right fielder. All right. Next All right. question. We're running, I'm sorry. No, we're I got running this. to the bases. So first base. One for one. And this is – we're still, like, figuring it out, right? Because this, out. We, we may have not been able to pay for some players. We still so need, like, we five still, more people. To no, 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 no. <laughs> Because you want to play first base. I, I mean, center, center fielder. Field, center I'm field. actually the best center fielder in the land. But you can have it because I'm, uh, I'm a little bit more of a hybrid player. If you I'll play left. I'll play left. <laughs> I'll play left. You're, hey, guess what? You're moved over. Okay. <laughs> you know, no, I'll play yeah. second. But the only way I'll play second is Matty Bones isn't playing second. Dude, no, Matty Bones has to play short. There we go. I have a question. Slugs. Fuck. We have to see if we can flip a double. Who the fuck is Matty Bones? Uh, You don't know who Matty, Matty Bones Bats. is? He loves Dua Lipa. That's all you got to know. He does love Dua Lipa. He, he looks like you, Darvish, but Mexican. Oh, okay. Like you, Darv. yeah. So Matty Darvish. Mm, Matty Bones. Matty Bones is uh, short. I got a few other boys that played, uh, played some college ball in town that I'm sure can make it out. Christian um, Leal is second, actually. Dude, Christian like, Leal would be beautiful Christian Leal second, second baseman. Yeah. I might not even play, actually. You guys know Christian Ronaldo? Like, we're really just speaking out handsome men that we know. We're yeah, we're actually, this is actually the best looking team, not the best playing team. Actually, they're all very good looking. I'm Joe's catcher, that. you're first. I've always yeah. been that kind of baseball player where I always looked the part, but I never played Why don't you part. play third? I mean, I can if need be, but you know, I would be afraid to wear some balls to the face. Yeah, that's why I don't like playing infield. Who do we know that's tough? Can we just put Joe in third? Rugged and raw. Uh, Let's put Joe third. No, Joe. Joe's a catcher. Joe's okay. a fucking catcher. Oh, Jojo. Joe. Yeah. yeah that guy should play fucking Joe's. all the So positions. we need third, left, and right. We got James Kuzniak. Oh, James Kuzniak. He's our pitcher. Pitcher. Yeah, he's our pitcher. Yeah. All close. We're going to need, a, we're gonna need a few pitchers, but yeah. All close. Shout sure. out to James. No, I'm the middle level. reliever and slash uh, one of the outfielders. You can eat up some innings, I think. Right? I'll eat up some of the I'll eat You in the could middle. keep score. No, you motherfucker. You you're, you're like he's a definitely nice. a doable job. You're I mean. like a numbers guy. <laughs> Bro, there's no way I'm not playing. I'm this fucking playing. Maybe the most beautiful fucking uh, You guys are pieces of shit. 
I'm playing. <laughs> He's gonna like doodle like some beautiful. Fucking playing. This is my team, dude. I'm playing. <laughs> as soon as we walk into the fucking inside, he's like, uh, "What's the score?" He's like, "Oh fuck!" Uh, he flips his the pages. Dude, uh, that's it's... seriously why I can't do that job because I don't. I don't want to. I'll fucking forget, it, bro. Start drawing. <laughs> forget. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll forget. I can't do it. I'm gonna play left or right, whether however you feel. If you fucking show up, we we also need some like tough guys that like even if they don't play <laughs> as much, but they can fuck some people up. Wait, like because tough, if tough? it goes down, tough, no. tough or tough? No, tough. like tough. Like they can throw some. Strong. Oh, tough. Can you uh, a beer? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Would you be a doll? Who needs a Who needs a refill? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Here, just pa- pass it down. Pass it down. Pass it down. Pine down. house. I don't want to throw it. Oh, you want to go to Pine okay. house again? Fucking <laughs> every time I, oh, how come every time I come here I want to go to the pine house after? I don't know. I don't know. It's like a vibe. Huh? Am I gonna have the same vibe when we go to the? Oh, the okay. Sorry. Let's do this. We We're all over the place in this podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go no, back. no, no. I don't give a shit. So Thug Rose, you would fuck. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> That's a big. Re- we'll talk about the studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe we'll talk about. T- who gives a fuck? So we're, okay, so if you guys are if you guys are barely tuning into the podcast right now, we're done with talking baseball. So go. No, but wait. No, up. I like the baseball. Barely tune into the podcast. Yeah, I was literally like, thinking the same like, thing. Bro. Click on it and then just skip. I like think we're barely ahead. getting on a stride right now. You never know. Like I don't know. Well, question real quick, and then All we'll right. go back to what you're saying. Whatever you want. What color is our the, is our team? Whether I'm our team I'm colors? so glad you asked. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Because we've been talking about this for about two weeks. Yeah, it's pretty. And important. we're in the mo- uh. So Jer, dude, this has actually been a, like real quick. I'm gonna dork out. So this has actually been a really fun process, like designing our jerseys, because. Like, we'll talk about ideas, and Jer comes with all the logic behind. You know what I didn't know? You tell me if you knew this. You probably did. You're smarter than me. Did you know that, like, baseball team away jerseys is never the team name? It's always the city? Look at that. Look at that Padres jersey right there. San Diego. So that's an away one. Yeah. I didn't know that. So we were talking about jerseys, and we were trying to figure out what we want to do. So we're like, all right, we want to make a jersey that, like, is a homage to Yuma, like, Orale Collective, obviously. So visualize this. And you stop me at any time. We're gonna have stop <laughs> cream, cream jerseys, cream, cream jerseys. Yeah, with, stop with pennies, pennies, pin, pin oh, stripes. Okay, stripes. Okay. Oh, so like an off pinstripes. off-white jersey, pinstripes. Huge fan of pinstripes. Orale off this chest, a black heart, and what else? Help me, save me, save me. He's, I'm losing him. Save me, Jer, stop him. Stop and then we're gonna have the the number. Oh, number. Under the logo, and then number on the back, and that's a wrap. Are we putting last names on the back or no? Are we doing New York um, no. Yankees? So the number fashion? Oh, tell them the number. Right, but then if we have the team, the full-blown team, everybody has to pick a number because okay, we got to yeah. be separate numbers. So the ones that we're going to release to the public are going to be number... Seven. Seven. So everyone's going to get seven? No, no, no. This is not for the team. This is for, like, people that won't. We're releasing jerseys yeah. as apparel. So can I be number seven? That way it looks like everyone's just wearing my jersey. Sure. <laughs> sure whatever you want. Uh, whatever. No, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I did jump around. No. So we're making jerseys to sell. We're, we're talking about it. We're going to sell order like collective jerseys. Okay. So it's going to be pretty rad. But we're also making jerseys for the team. But that's going to be the public one. And there's a black heart because we – you you do it. Because we actually can I do uh, it? got can the I do keys it? to our what, – what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? No, go ahead. What are you saying? Yeah, Sorry. that's what we, we got the keys to our studio on February 14th, which is Valentine's Day here in uh, the continental United States of America. So that's our anniversary for the studio? Yep. Anniversary is so Valentine's 14th. Day. Do yeah. I have to get an order that tattoo? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I mean not, I said, yeah. not like right off the bat, but Six eventually. Months. Six months. Mm, okay. Can and, I put it? And okay, we have up. pinstripes because of our, our history with the prison. You Yuma. guys been in prison a lot? No, just oh. Yuma in general. You know, Yuma Territorial Prison, stuff like that. Okay. Our cousins went to prison. I like, uncle, I like our that. uncles in prison right now. Hell yeah! Shout out to our uncles in prison. Shout out to our family in prison. Fair enough. Yeah, we got a couple. Of them. A lot of them. That's why there's only three. But of yeah, us we're, left. we need to figure out. So if anybody, uh, if you guys want to come to the tryouts, they'll be at Joe Henry Park on Saturdays at That's 9 p.m. Do I got to try out? Night, night oh, time, yeah. Do I got to try out or am I like locked in? No, no you have to try out. Well, so. yeah, you definitely have to try out. And you got to earn your spot, you know? I got to earn my stripes. There's no freebies yeah. here. I got to right? earn my stripes. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. We, li- we, we invited you to try out for the team. Can you the keep tryouts. it out? Tree outs. Tree outs. Come to the tree <laughs> out, you big dumb bitch. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Longest yard. 100%. <laughs> Good one. Good name drop. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say it, the name. To the no crust. All right, different movie, but okay. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I'm very excited. That's cool. I like that. Right, but it'll be fun. Like being serious though, like you guys are gonna start a team, or you guys are just making apparel. No, we really want to start a team. We actually want to start a team. We're really trying to do anything to keep us from working. 
but still make it seem like we're hard at work. Yeah, absolutely. We actually, uh, and we play Fortnite a lot. D will be out there taking pictures, so it'll be like work. Don't call him. Who's D. that? I thought. Oh, Don't I'm not call him. I thought D. we could call him that. No, you can't call him. Oh, okay. His name's Daniel, bro. Can't call him. Daniel. We're going to have him on the podcast next time. He's going to be like, you could totally call me that. And you're like, no, he can't. He <laughs> can't like, call you he's that. Like, okay. That's not your fucking name. <laughs> Don't be surprised if he jumps on you. Ooh. He's a real jumper. Don't tempt me for a good time. That Daniel. Oh, my goodness. It's real snappy with you. All right, so what were we going to say? Oh, shit. Um, I don't like when you do this. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't it's know. only in your head, so I don't, I don't know. Um, Help me out here, bud. Was it, was it more about the, the, the studio? Yeah, it was something about the Oh, studio. I was. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Hey, thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, so uh, it's funny because with the studio, people always think we're downtown. Okay. And I was fucking around earlier about going to Pine House, kind of not really low-key, <sighs> high-key. But um, it would be cool if the studio was downtown, though. It, so that's the thing, <laughs> is we understand the the thing about being downtown. We already get distracted very easily. And if we were downtown... Even more distracted. We wouldn't do shit. That makes sense. Yeah, the vibes are there. It's good vibes, though. It's sick. Well, it's you, good vibes, but if you if you get distracted easily, it's it's a it's a bad recipe. The thing with us is like is because we're so close knit. Is that anytime we have something cool to share, we just share it. But it's like sometimes it's hard to like get back into the. That we're makes pretty sense. good at it now, and then more in the beginning it was harder, All because right. it's like the excitement of having a studio. It's like look at this thing, and then this thing, and it's like we need to do this, and blah 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 blah. blah. But it would be a nice little break, right, to walk like cross street to the bar. We did grab what? a few drinks and then come back and brainstorm. Yeah, but that's why we have a mini fridge. Yeah, bro, we got a <gasps> full blown mini. You guys fridge. do have a mini fridge. Yeah, and a microwave. And a microwave. And a toilet that works. That's and it's clean now. Super clean. Shout out to the girl cleaning that went to lady. Clean. Yep. The maid. She's not a She's maid. Not a Don't maid. Call she her. has her own business. Can we call know? her a maid? It sounds so much no. cooler, dude. If you call her maid, she might come and beat your she ass. She might beat your ass, bro. <laughs> It's like calling the person that they are. Why would I? She's not a maid, dude. Then what is she? A cleaning lady. So I can't call, I have to call a bartender a mixologist? Yep. Dude. Maybe you should. Show him some respect, yeah. Respect. Anyways, welcome back to episode 60 of Slop on the Pot. <laughs> no, it's... uh. 61. Thank you. 61. Yes, that's why I need someone like that here that to, can remind me because last time I had an episode and I said, welcome back to 69, and I keep having to block it out because it it's wasn't. 59? It was 59. Oh, my God, bro. You missed by 10 episodes? That's a that's a hefty miss. That's a big one. I'm just putting it out. I'm manifesting into the world. That you'll get to that 69. That we get to that point, yeah. That's fair. You're only eight away, baby. Dude, si thanks, How Daddy. many episodes? <laughs> 60? Thanks, this is Daddy. Six, this is 61. This is 61, so... Yeah, eight episodes in your dude. How tonight. sick! That's dope, dude. You know what? I commend you so much, like, for real. Thank you. On on just sticking with it, because that's the hardest part. And I, I think Eric can agree. It's like just well, starting something and continuously failure. week after week after week. Why is that, Jer? It's fucking hard. It's Why just, can I commend to that? Because because you're busy, and you just don't make time for it. And I just fail. What are you you're talking just a about? Failure. <laughs> I just see this as it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Eric sucks. Damn. Oh, uh, he's like, there it is. There it is. All, I, all you've been wanting to say this whole time, huh, bud? No, but no, but for reals, man, great job on, on just fucking sticking with it because that's that's huge. Go you, dude. Jordan. 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 Me. Me. Jordan. Chug. Jordan. Chug. 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 I didn't want to do that. Ah, it's so cold. <laughs> do that. It's so cold. Mine's a perfect temp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. You now great. I feel like this should be a thing. You got. I. I wish I what, was. Less people goofy. chanting Jordan. We just pass around different I sunglasses through goofy, people bro. as the episodes go. Yeah. Less goofy. Oh, that would yeah. be a good one. Because my legs move. Like we I can do it ourselves. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> There we go. You do have anything to add to that? Do it into the mic next time, please. The burp? Yeah, please. No, I don't want to do that. There's children listening. Do you have I anything to add? I hope so. To what? To to the commandments I gave to Jordan. Uh, no, don't please. What were the commandments? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna um, come all over myself. I tell do I tell you all the time. People know this. Yeah, I actually on camera. I actually rave about you all the time. You guys need to stop, please. Seriously. No, seriously. I already said yes. I'll suck your dick. You don't have to do it. <laughs> okay. No, I tell people all the time. I, I'm, I, I'm, 
proud of the fact that you taught yourself how to do everything and you're still doing it because consistency is, is, is key. key. Oh, yeah. there, That's yeah. all together. One, two, three. Consistency is key. There we yep. go. That's, That's number one. one. And Jordan is key, and Jordan is consistency. <laughs> Consistent key. Whoa, that was dumb. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, you really are. That's cool. Because that's like one of the hardest things. And like, you know, because now it's, I'm going to do my thing. No, yeah, it's no, weird no. because like, you, we always, we get distracted and, and have these high expectations of like, we need to do a fucking podcast every goddamn week or like twice a week or once every two weeks. But it's like, and it's a lot of pressure, right? It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable either. Yeah. So it's like, but you've gotten really good at doing them consistently consistent and i don't know if you if you do it do you do it every week i try, try to i try to i'm not gonna lie like there's times where like uh, there's a month where i'll probably post one at the beginning of the month and i won't but you know till later crazy. towards the end but it, it bugs me it like yeah. it's like something that's like like at the end of the day when everything's done like i go to work and i come back and the house is clean and the dogs are fed and the bills are paid and and obviously the bills aren't paid because we're moving out of this house but um people need to buy more money Manscaped, Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com. Slop 20. Slop 20. Manscaped. 20% off poster shipping. Um, but so sometimes it kind of like eats at me and it kind of bugs me because I'm like, fuck, I need to do an episode today. That's how you know you're hyped on it. Yeah, for sure. But, but see, I don't know. Like, okay, do I take it one of two ways? Do I take it one way where it's like, yeah, like I'm so invested in this that I, I, I force myself where I'm like stressing out because I'm like, I didn't put an episode this week. I need to get one. I need to get one. Or, okay. okay. It, hold on, hold on. Let me finish the second uh, part. I'm, I'm, I'm next. Don't do that. Or, should it be that if you love it so much, then you shouldn't feel this way? No. Okay. Here's he was he was a better setup because I hate when like I hate when I'm listening to something and they jump into a thing and they didn't really explain it. So it's more of like I guess the question is is it is it an issue that we think that we need to have something out like every week the pre putting the pressure on ourselves like, like it turns into where work. did that even come from it turns into you work know? instead of enjoying the it. the the urgency of having to put something like who made that rule right it's like in, obviously it's instagram the algorithm the algorithm social, shit like social media is the main thing that brought up consistency yeah but then it's like it's kind of stupid because like I love certain podcasts, and if they didn't put something out every week, I wouldn't give a rat's ass. Like, yeah, I would, like, love it. Oh, but see, like, I'm, the, I'm the opposite. You want it every week? Yeah, every Monday. Maybe when, I'm out of line. Every, no, 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 I totally understand. That's what's cool. I like to get outsider's perspective. Is that, like, I have the thing where every Monday I know, you know, uh, fucking – my mind's fried right now. Uh, I'm making Fight of the Kid. King and the Sting, Fight and the Kid. Like, They're I great. know, come Monday – you know, uh, two bears, one cave. Tom Segura and Bert Kreischer. Like, I know, come Monday, I'm gonna get an episode. If I don't, it kind of fucks with me. It's like, fuck. Like, oh, your routine's off. Yeah, no, I agree with that. But you it, know what? You changed my mind. It's not so much routine. It's just when I go to work, all I like, I just, you know, typical Mexican. I just cut grass and do that shit. And so I have my headphones in all the time. And I, I, I'm at the point where I really don't listen to music much. You just listen to podcasts. I listen to podcasts. You know what though? You know what? Um, sorry, this is like a two parter. You did change my mind. You're right. Stop I saying sorry. Sorry, dude. That's my big, <laughs> big sorry, sorry guy. <laughs> no, you changed my mind. I agree. Cause, because my podcast that I like, I, I enjoy them on a weekly basis. So you're right. So you, that you is a good way to, to that day when the new one comes. Yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. So you're right. So, so you know what? I'm, Go ahead. I'm dude. kind of on Eric's side like the first time. Oh, okay. I think, first, I think we're I think always on I, Eric's side. I think because no, no, no. I was thinking more production side. No, yeah, but well, Eric Eric ended up jumping ship and going. To I the did jump side. ship. I'm a big so, ship jumper. Is so, it jump ship or jump shit? Jump you shit. No, it's not shit. With the P. You know it's not shit. Is it Alzheimer's or old timers? Old timers. Thank Duh. you. Okay, continue. Anywho. But yeah, no, like if, if a podcast that I enjoy listening to didn't come out in one week, I'll just fucking listen to another episode. That just because speaks to who you are, though. Like, like you mean that those same people, but like an older episode? Yeah. Or what do you mean? Or a different oh, podcast? Yeah. yeah, I'll just listen to an older episode. That's a good one. That's not that a big is. deal. Okay. But, but. No big. No, nah, but I think like the, well, going back to your situation where you feel like uh, you need to put something out uh, at least once a week, I think that just comes from our own like thought process of like, well, if I don't get it out, the fucking fans are going to be asking. The comments are going to be listeners, viewers. I don't out. like to say the fans were. We've whatever you want to call them. viewers, fans. You, I mean, you know where I'm going from, Eric. Yeah, I, I get you, viewers. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say viewers, listeners. Thank you. Uh, like the listeners are going to be waiting for it, but I don't know. I, I just think like if if uh, if you rush into something or if you rush to put something together every week, and you're doing it for the sake of just putting it out, it's eventually going to be shit. Eventually, it's going to be shitty. 
Oh, like you're forcing it. Yeah. It doesn't come you know naturally. What? You 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 were picking up what I was putting down because we come from the same world. Because what happens in our world, and no, you can understand this too. It's yeah. not I don't want to single you out. Is what happens yeah, in our world. Too. Yeah, you're here. Too. I'm here. Too. You exist, bro. You're for right sure. Here, bro. You're a, you're here. Is val is, you're a is, person. You is Keeks here though? Yeah, she's been giving me the glasses. I'll bleep that out. <laughs> Do you want me uh, to bleep it out or can we say your name? Okay, cool. Keeks <laughs> so, is here. So, be, be Ariana Keeks Garcia. Is it Garcia? Yes. Oh, bro. You so, said Jer, Jer and I have been like creating, I'll bleep that out. <laughs> creating content, which I also hate, for people. Uh, you said it. I know, but you I said it. But for a lack of a better okay, term, yeah. which is a perfect use of that phrase. It is. Yeah. For a lack of a better term, is that we've been creating content for people for years. Yeah. And what happens is that companies want to be want, want to be like every week, twice a week, X, Y, and Z. Consist and then they and then they stamp the consistency is key thing yeah, over yeah. that, which is like, okay, you got a point. Like I think Jared and I just think gray. We're not black and white people. I, I I'm speaking for Jared, but um, 100%. I don't see color, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but and it's it, but <laughs> that by meaning is like okay, sure, but you got to realize it has to be sustainable. Like your life has to revolve around that. So if you're going to do a podcast every week, you better set up your life to be that. So it doesn't turn into shit. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Because that's what happened. That's what I think that's what happens is people don't consider is like people want to do it every week or what happened. I hate when I say people do, but creators won't want to oh, okay. consider that. Okay. That's going to be a big lifestyle change to be, cause you know how much work it takes to produce a podcast. So your lifestyle has to revolve around it. And eventually you may get to a point where you get paid for it and it's sick. Cause then like, that time gets allotted for, but like right now, it's like you don't get paid for your podcast, so it's like it's your own time. Manscaped you know, Slab 20. Mans until Manscaped figures it out. Manscaped.com, use promo code Slab 20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Go ahead. Slab 20. Real quick, I think that one thing with the uh, consistency <laughs> fucking term, uh, people, people just think of it as like I have to do it X amount of times through X amount of uh, a week or whatever, month. Uh, but then they also forget like the consistency <laughs> should be with like the quality of shit that they're putting out. Yeah, you know? it, it, because if you could do that consistently, yeah, yeah. then you're on the right path. See, I'm on that boat. Yeah, yeah. there's there's a difference between consistency where it's like you're forced to put something out that whether it's shitty or good. You Would just, you rather? You're like, oh, I put it out every Monday though. But sometimes say you have five bad. weeks. So say you have five weeks, right? Would you rather put out five solid pieces every week, or would you rather put out what seven times? I five? think you mean the other way. Thirty-five. Yeah. Thirty-five. Would you whether would you rather put out seventy-five pieces over the five weeks? Oh, uh, quality over quantity. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like at some point, and it's like I said, it's uh, it's every case is different. You have to like consider what you know, what you're willing what to you're give. Uh, to the table. Yeah, yeah. Because what, what if what if someone is capable of of putting together thirty-five quality fucking and say that person's lifestyle could be that they don't give a who. And they don't sleep, but then there's like, and then there's that where it's like, then you don't sleep, but then it's like, that's not cool, yeah. Because then you're putting on a shit product. We were yeah. talking about this at class today, like crossway, but then we we're talking about that, like the the point of like, you're gay. Uh, I what? know, but it was just it just happened to be at crossway, but it was a good conversation. Cole, what we were talking about, no, it, yeah, a little, well, bit. We, a little bit, but we were talking about how <laughs> my mom used to tell me this all the time too. It's like you belly, need to ranch, sleep. Cole. And you need to be rested so that way you can give you the best version of you to whatever you're doing. <laughs> He's just laughing my sentence. No, I just I love that she's on point with the sunglasses. She's getting ready for the next set. She but has them on. Continue, ready to sir. Give them to you. Those are cool. Yeah, those are. No, cool. you're you're absolutely right. And I think I learned this from Eric a little bit too. Like, oh. like it's it's easy to believe that you're fucking working really hard and you're you're striving to like meet your full potential when you're just busting your ass and busting your ass and busting your ass but somewhere along the road you're gonna start running out of gas and you gotta fuel up and and rest a little bit 100 percent. are you taking a fucking story are while you fucking some doing something while you, are you interrupting jer while i like people to feel like they're in the episode then, right, go, live. Then, I'm go, li I'm so then go live then go live I, 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 should i i mean i don't see why not fuck it Continue what you're saying. We'll take a break and we'll go live for the last episode. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. So you should. That's a good thing. And then you can announce to the people. Well, hey, no, don't. But it's gonna ruin the surprise. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, surprise. yeah, that might be. But next time, and it will integrate to the next episode at the new studio. At the new spot. At Odalay Collective on what's the address? Uh, 
15, wait up, 1575 you can say South 7th Avenue, Unit C. Center point, through Dude, the alley. I have no clue why we're Unit C. We're th- we're, it's just two buildings. There's two buildings. <laughs> it's actually, if you're in the military, it's Unit Charlie, so... Just for the, you know, different languages, oh, different Charlie. We're we said things for your service, bud. Shit. Yeah, we already said it. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, Jerry. No, no, no. Uh, for your really I, I guess I guess we're just uh, we're get just wrapping up on, on this, this segment of the episode of just saying that you've been consistent. You're awesome. And even, even if you're not doing it once a week, I don't think you should pressure yourself to feel like you're, you you're know, consistently putting out good shit. Thank you. I I so. That's what yeah. you're doing. You're Thank consistently you putting out a good product. Thank Every you. time you put out a podcast, it's good. It's been quality. It's been quality, and it's been the, and it's been consistent in the way that you deliver it. You always know it, it. It always looks the same. It always sounds the same. Like, and it's always getting better. Thank you. And I'm gonna reciprocate that statement by saying, "Don't do this." That you're doing you it. guys, you're doing it. Put out, God damn it. quantity and quality at the same time. That's what we're we about. all know it. Yeah. Everyone knows. Everyone sees your pictures. Everyone sees your videos. Your drone footage. Your skating. I love how skating. people always fucking put you in the drone. I'm, thing. I'm a big drone guy, but <laughs> well, I mean, if you ever guy. got a drone, I'd say it to you too. But you don't have a drone. <laughs> no, I don't fucking get a want. fucking drone. Get bitch. a fucking drone, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> never flown one. Bitch ass drone. I never flown a drone. Never Dude, flown I have a drone. drone. I have a drone right there ready for you to fly, baby. No, I get scared because it's like don't, don't fly. It. it has sensors. It'll stop you. Before you don't have a flown drone crash. bone. I don't have a flown drone bone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Can you no, guys, that's should we, the, hold on. <sighs> okay, wait up, real quick. Oh my God. Go ahead. Real quick. Mm-hmm. Eric first. Eric first. I have nothing. All right. All right I'm Jared. a real vibe guy, so it's like, if you guys want anything you to can say, always use. You could always use my drum. That's we, all I was going to say. Okay. Oh, okay. Can you switch the word vibe to vibrations? I'm You're sh- giving off bad vibrations, dude. I like that. Your vibrations Let's go off. back. Let's, let, remember how I was saying that a lot of people start cutting down words? Let's bring it back. Let's add a couple. You know what? You know what, dude? I think it's time. You guys for down? us, yeah, to do that, to we should letters. we should start adding more letters because because there you go. abbreviating things is is cool and it's, it's starting to now. It, it's starting to confuse us now. We're starting to become idiots. There yeah. we go. So we should start adding more letters to words. Yeah, just so what about don't. to our names? Jeraiah, Jarathan, or Jordi, Jared. Jordi is actually making it shorter. Yeah, it is. Jordan or Jordan Aria. That's that's Jordan racist. Aria. Eric Arias. Elijah Jordan. Eric. Uh, Eric. Wow. You just Erickson. Erickson. <gasps> Erickson. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> Erickson like Castanos. Happy Leaf Erickson. Jeradiah. Jeradiah. Jeradiah Delgadillo. I love it. And Jordan Aria. <laughs> can we? Not nah, quite. We'll, go, we'll, we'll come go, back. We'll, we'll come back. back to no, that. but instead of like saying. What about Saida's name? How would you do that? Uh, here we go. Side of fries. Side of fries. I actually do like abbreviating though. Side it's pretty fries. fun. Like to say you diff. Huh? What'd you say? You, you abbreviate, abbreviate everything. You abbreviate. 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 I, w- I what? Abbreviate everything. You abbreviate everything. What'd yeah. you say? You abbreviate everything. Oh, okay. Okay. It was we a little slurred too. We should do the next too. segment where uh, we we hand each other each other's mics and we have to talk about other people. All right. Oh, no, I'll do yours. Can I just do mine? No, I'll I should do yours. All right, it's fine. I'll, I'll do, do my yours. own. Hey, fine. yours sounds way better than mine. <laughs> 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 Wait, I was going to say, so should we take a break? Take a break. Because I got to take a piss, or should can you guys c- continue a conversation by yourself? Shoo- dude, shoo- 100% shoo- I need a piss. Shoo- you would Absolutely. not do a shoe. Not to my dunk, dude. I bought. I What's this? won these. I won oh, these. put put keeks in, put keeks. Oh, in, is, oh this, is this a put keeks in? Called wrestling? Keeks in. Let's do this. What's it called in wrestling? Tag team, tag team, tag team. All right, here you go. I'm tagging her. And in. for the last episode here, are in the you guys studio, good though? I'm gonna sing oh, a song. All right, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what we'll do? Well, Jordan, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you come in, yeah. you tag me in because I need a piss, and you sit here. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. And I have to pee after that too. And Perfect. Then, and keeks will sit in my seat. Okay, so Keeks, welcome to the show. I would actually like to sing a song. For all the old listeners on Slob in the Pod, if you listen to, I think it's episode one or two that I was on, I sang a song. And if you guys remember the song, I want you guys to sing along. And Jer, if you can count me in, this would be yeah. wonderful. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Oh, Slob on the Pod. Oh, Slob on the Pod. How wonderful. I forgot it, all right? You're trash. So to the lady that was in this, to the lady that has been on the side of the frame, now she's in the light. And now she's in the light. I really have to pee. So for everybody that wants to know, this is Ariana Keeks, everybody's favorite bar mixologist. 
Welcome to my podcast. What did I call it earlier? Crack house. No, it's the crack home. The crack home. Welcome to the crack I home where we I talk all I things crackheads. Because crackheads are people. Can too. I make a statement? No. I think Keeks is becoming a little human celebrity. I think uh, you know what she has that that kind of like uh you're that kinda, aura around her, huh? You're kind of getting a little. You're kind of getting a little. So lebby lebby. So lebby lebby lebs. People yeah. come in a cafecito and they nail your face. They ask. They ask for Keeks specifically. There's two people they you ask for. Ari the barista. Ari the barista. Hundred percent. I never wanted that to be my name. Why? It was supposed to be at home barista. Oh, you're the talking about your, ins- the, your Instagram? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, can you tell people of all your many Instagrams? Yeah, but I delete them, and then I get over it. Why? And then I start a new one, and then I get you over it. You're a woman of, of her you were a woman of, oh, a, woonie, a woman of many talents. A jack of all trades. And w- the main one being uh, the wrangler of us two. Yeah. That's a good one, though. The wrangler of us two. I think if she, I, l- low key, like if, if, we took the, if we took the order the page... Yeah. And it really was just like, uh, like manager keeks, orale manager keeks. I can hear myself. And and you, I think she would like be able to manage like something as far as like, it's like this is what fucking Eric did today, and this is what I'm dealing with right now. Remember this is what she Jared did, did today, for a little bit. She did a little bit of that. Yeah, but pandemic and stuff. But you know what? I would take it a past like whatever it is that we actually shot, like not the final product, but like the bullshit. Ariana, Monday. keeks. If you, if you, okay, over. here's a, here's a good scenario. If you, if we gave you the studio, right? If you're like, we want you to be chief executive officer mm-hmm. of, C-E-O. Oh, shut up. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to, okay. No, no, no. He didn't say anything mean. He said CEO. CEO. If, if we gave you chief executive officer of order the collective, what do you see us doing immediately? Raising your prices. <laughs> First and she's foremost, tired. <laughs> she's tired. damn. Raise your goddamn <laughs> prices. Oh, it shit. wasn't us, Yuma. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. We're expensive now, not anymore. Inflation, inflation, inflation. 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 Pandemic. Inflation. We need money. Gas, gas prices, man. Yeah, yeah, gas yeah. prices. Rent. Light bill. You're right. How are we supposed to throw a block party with? We can't even pay for the food for the block party. <laughs> Now I mean, we, we can pay it, but it ain't going to be a lot of food, it though. It ain't going to be a lot. <laughs> First 20 people, dude. Jerry's going to eat half of it. <laughs> That's 100% true. 100% yeah. true. So, well, okay, raise prices. What else? What, what else can we, we need, we need th- We are three. We're the big three people. Um, big on the three. Obviously. Reorganize the damn studio because it looks like a clusterfuck. You think so? Fair no, enough, it's enough, it really enough, gives me But I thought it was like a crack no, home I thing. It. I hate it. It sucks? I hate it. The storage, when the storage you unit comes in. You guys need to, like, reevaluate where everybody's desk are. Okay. But can I, can I, could I, not bump it down, if you will, but could I just add to give that? Give my two cents. Give my two cents on that. There's too many of you. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I, we got a cleaning lady. I know. I clean. And she cleans. But, but what but about the, now? Like there's just so much stuff. It's the same problem okay, that's at our house. Okay, it's not the dust in the it's in the, the dirt. Shit. It's the it's shit so in shit. it. Okay. Get so, okay. so we, we do, okay. yeah, the storage unit. Okay, the storage unit. One more. No, we yeah, yeah. We need, we need, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Jordan, come back in. Jordan's going to tag me out. Okay, okay, okay cool, Well, cool, I want to be tagged out at some point, and I'm sitting on a leather chair. Okay. Got thick thighs. It's a little hot, huh? Okay, so you said one, one and two. We need one more. Another, um, fucking make it an LLC. What the fuck are you guys okay, doing? Okay, now we're getting the legality. Now we're getting into fucking. Now we're getting the legality. <laughs> the real do that if you do all the research. We need that idea. We need idea. a big we idea. We need a benefit. If you want your gases, your gas paid for, fucking make it an LLC. Your uniform, make it an LLC. The whole baseball team could be sponsored. We're fucked by yeah. Brewers. Yeah. I know. I was just going <laughs> to pay for it, too. Exactly. All right. Well, you're the best person that we know. They're, They're just trying to put it out. And you're the right. reason why they we're idiot. still floating. Mm, definitely not. She oh, is. And number four. Four? We only asked for let's three. Put, let's put my espresso machine. That the LLC could pay for. Let's go. We can do that. Oh, it's a two. business finance. A business finance. Yeah. Papas are getting fucking LLCs, dude. I heard. I heard to do that though, you have to put uh, what is it like stickers on your car, right? I have, and one. then you can you, you can, can get your card paid off. I has but one. Like the studio yeah, doesn't exactly. have one. Your Correction, we has one. The studio doesn't. Yeah, have. you could get your card, your car paid off for. Yeah, exactly. Don't sue us. But like the orderly 
logo is pretty cool. Why wouldn't you want it on your car, you know? That's true. I would put it on my car. How big does it have to be, though? It doesn't have to be big. Whatever Keek says, to be honest. So it doesn't. It does. I don't think it has to be too big, but I think it does have to require like all your information, yeah, right? Absolutely, dude. So many. Yes, I'll be your accountant. Do you know how to do all that shit? What's oh. the hold really? on? What's the lady that? Can you teach me your ways? Because I don't know shit. What's I the know lady what hard. I've heard. <laughs> what's the lady that? Who the old lady that killed Selena and stole all her money? That's hey man. Hey. That. She would yeah. kill me and take all her money. Was she her? Was she her money lady? Yeah, she was her like Wait. best friend accountant. She, she, was, was, money. she was in charge of like, her family. Like, you want to know something? Yeah. I, would I don't love to think know it was her. Whoa! I think I think her dad. Hot take. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hot I take. I, I heard this. I heard. This. Go ahead. I ahead. think her dad framed her. <gasps> Can you pass me a beer? Yes. Really? I heard. I've that. never heard this. I think this. Selena's dad framed her. Hot take. What? Whatever her name is, the ugly bitch. What was I her think, name? I don't remember. Hold on. For the record. For the record. No, so, so Seriously? Yeah. Was this, no, no, no. Is this a, is this a pop? I think he framed her because he Yolanda. knew that Yolanda, Yolanda. He framed Yolanda and it promised her that she would get out or wouldn't even go in. It's a whole thing. Get on TikTok. Come on. Oh no, shit. No. I don't I don't have so I, don't I know where you're going with this. So what I heard was wow. that whole thigh is out. So remember when uh whole balls, whole balls in the movie, but I'm pretty sure it's real life as well. Was remember there was a, a scene when she wanted to have kids and stuff and she wanted to get and married. And you didn't want that. Well, oh yeah, but because shit. it was going to slow down her music career. Okay. And so she was going to the top. So, so instead, he just made her live forever. It's just like they say, like, people make more money when they're dead. Dude. And he's still banking on Yeah. Her. So, and okay, she, let me yeah. get this right. That's why nobody can make, like, TV shows, movies. The guy, her ex yep. man, tried to put out a book, I think, and, and it's nobody. like banned. Yeah, he's actually a good guy. Yeah. He was, like, perfect for her. So the conspiracy is the that parents. her dad her dad murdered, so, yes. murdered her. So then and that did you way know she could have lived, but she's a Jehovah, so they wouldn't do the blood transfusion. She's a Jehovah? Mm -hmm. Selena was? Yes. So they didn't do the, tr the what? blood What? She could have lived. They didn't do the blood transfusion. <laughs> People are going to think I'm crazy. They're like, no, get this bitch no, off. No, this get is, oh, get her dude. off our podcast. This is a clip Flop. I could put on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Dude, this really? Flob on the pod turns conspiracy is theory. This all I love this. Dun, dun, dun. Is this all on Wikipedia? Uh, no, Wikipedia. It's, on, <laughs> it's on everything. TikTok, I've never YouTube's. heard this. It's on the top? The Google. It's on the tickies? The Google. The Google? The Google. You, you, guys the can, Google. you guys can look it up. No, you can actually look it up. No, but keep going, keep going. This Yes, good. I didn't hear that part. He loves Selena. She's... Jehovah, so they didn't agree to do the blood transfusion, so that's why she died in the hospital because Whoa. they wouldn't give her that surgery. You know? How but racist it, is it of me to assume that because she's Mexican, she was like Christian? Or yeah, I, I thought she no, was we Catholic. All, we all yeah, assumed. Right? 100 thought Imagine she was Imagine if she was Jewish, but that's like a whole different. You race, know what? Huh? Though a lot of I don't know a lot of Hispanics Jews. are Jehovahs, right? <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, I know a couple. Jeho Half of our friends are Jehovahs. Yeah, you yes. guys should probably get rid of those friends. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> They're meant no. for bad things. You have so That's many sunglasses. True. If you're going to tap anyone in, tap me in so I can switch over. Or tap her tap in, then I'll switch. Tap me out, because that's a Oh. Ready? Uh, put the mic and everything down there, and I'll, I'll switch. And now or we're switching. For everybody you know what, just let Jared take the seat. Go ahead. For everybody that's listening, we're switching. Uh, and that was, that was Keeks, uh, the LLC. The CEO of what are the collective? The, the person that takes care Chief of Chief executive officer. Chief executive Yo, did you pee all over the seat so she would sit on it? And <laughs> dude, no, dude. One thing I am not is a fucking slob on the toilet. Oh, nice, dude. Thank you. Dude. Yeah, thank you. No, that's a big one for me. It's actually slob on the. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like no. a kind of sloppy pisser. Yeah, dude. Eric is a hundred percent. And Eric's uh, like, I, I am. Huh? Our, our cleaning lady has to deal with it because I like. And even I will walk into the. Even I will walk into the restroom and I'll see like the. The area of the toilet, and I'm like, I got pissed. Well, I'll fit it right in because I pee in the sink, so uh, at least you won't fuck around in the toilet. Hey, is right? that was that like a real thing? Do I am actually a sloppy peer, dude? So look, you know how I notice? Uh, you know how like eventually like <laughs> like the dirt picks up at the studio, especially because it's white floors. Yeah, <laughs> so you know like, what we should do this. So oh, there's like oh, droplets, yeah. and it's like it's 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 dirt. It's dirt. It's dirt that's attached to these to these uh, <laughs> drops. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm uh, like, yeah, Eric was here. Color, yeah. Really? How come you never told me? Because literally I'll just wipe it. Like I'll wipe it down with the Clorox wipes. It's not a big deal. No. See, you know what? No, I respect that. And I love me. that he's that kind of person because I am too. Like I'm not one to make a big deal. Like if someone makes a mess or something like some. You know what's funny idea. and fucked up is I will. No, see, I won't because it's I know. It's so funny I know because I, I feel like I've left the studio Fucked. But I won't tell yeah. him. Plenty of times. And some people clean it up and I'm <laughs> like, oh shit, Eric. I just cleaned it so up. Pissed. People clean up. I just cleaned it up yeah. because he's such a nice guy that 
any time I have a gauge on my life is if I ever get mad at Jer, something's wrong with me. <laughs> if I ever get mad at she him, can bring a chair in, babe. You should uh, tell Diana, babe. You here? You here, Eric? I have a good gauge oh, no. on. Did I ever tell you my gauge on life? Is if Ariana, is if I ever get mad at Jer that something's wrong with me. That's how we should all live our lives. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So that's how your brain thinks, or that's what he thinks? No, that's how my brain is. I'm like, if I'm pissed off at Jer, something's wrong with me because it's Jer's nothing but nice to me. I get, th- I get that if it's a nice person. Yeah, if it's Jer's someone that's oh, you normally nice and easy Jer's going. the greatest person ever. And if they're mad at me, it's like okay, then. Or if I'm mad at them, it's because okay, it's something I'm doing. When I'm gone, I just can't wait to come back home and see Jer. That's Aww. fair. I miss him. I sometimes I miss myself when I'm out home. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Dude, okay, real product. quick, real quick. All right. Or and, we can do it like, real slow. It doesn't matter. Or, or yeah, real slow. I'm a shit, slow guy. Whatever. I'm a slow guy. Low so, key, high key. I mean, and you experienced it because you were like, uh, you you got deployed, right? I don't like this one. At least, or you or you went to like boot camp. Yeah, yeah. And you went you went through all that, so you were out of town. You were out of home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How shitty is it to travel? Oh, we can do this. Oh, that's so bad. hold on, so. I love traveling, but I get where you guys are going because you guys do the, the work kind of traveling. Yeah. I mean, I, I did too, but I also came from like a small town like we all did. But I, I love traveling, dude. And it, it's going to sound so weird or like like gay or whatever. But like whenever I'm at an airport, it's just cool to think that like if I, like, I could just buy a ticket and go anywhere in the world that from is this cool. one place. That is cool. Like yeah. the idea that I could just go to this one uh, uh, terminal and fly to fucking Africa or go to this terminal. Zimbabwe. Yeah, dude. Shout out to yeah, Zimbabwe. Buckaroo. Yeah, Buckaroo. Yeah, and if the war wasn't Shout so bad, I could legs. go to Russia. But or sometimes I could go to Chicago, or I could go to San Diego, or I could go to Phoenix. Like I can go anywhere from this one. Port. Don't go to Chicago. Don't but yeah, anywhere Chicago. else for sure. Don't go to Miami either, dude. Well, I would. I want to go to Miami. All right, you can go to Miami. Are you go at, to Winwood if you go to Miami? But just go to Winwood and then leave. Yeah. What's Winwood? Is it like the it's the, the art, have the him art tell district? You. Have him tell you. Good. Ah. So Wynwood, Wynwood has many things. I want to go to spring break. But the two things that Wynwood really has is tacos and art. And you got to go to the taco shop. It's ran by a guy from San Diego, actually. Shout out to the taco shop, Miami Wynwood. Yep. Um, but yeah, yeah. Cause uh, outside of that, the- outside of that, you get a lot of South Beachers, which can be cool if you were still fucking 22 in college. But after that, you either got to be that 22 year old in college or you got to be the fucking rich 56 year old picking up or homeless models. or a drug dealer or a drug dealer you know yeah you gotta fit in the vibe but, but you it's can't not venice beachy tour. is it it's not venice beachy at all but I like you're that. talking about winwood yeah oh no 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 no, not at all not at all I've, i went to winwood and i only went to a coffee shop there and i walked down uh maybe you're aware of it fuck i don't remember what it's called i had a few coffee shops down there but it's um Damn no! I wish I could remember. See, no. you got you guys have this talk of like like well, you were talking about airline food. That's the type of shit what, that we're talking about. What's it called though? It's it's uh not where other people can understand where we're coming from. Non- what's the word? Relatable. Yeah, it's non relatable. No, oh. most people can't. I feel like we're barely scratching the surface of what most people experience. Most people commute for their jobs now. Like uh, maybe for our hometown, it's not like as common. Like especially for our age group, right? Yeah. I think more of that. I don't uh, think it's okay. common. I think, like, I don't think I'm being crass when I say that. Like, you like that word I heard on a podcast? Crass. It's I don't think one. I'm being That's crass word, yeah. when I'm saying, I don't know if I'm using it right. Uh, I I'll use context clues. Right I think you are. Okay. I'm not being that way when, I don't think I'm being that way or egotistical when I'm saying, I think that Jer and I, or it's like, we're, we're, for our age, it's like, it's pretty wild that we're doing that. Like, we're not super young nor are we super old but it's like a good age to be doing that right like it's at your age this is what you should be yeah like we fly yeah yeah absolutely so it's like it's pretty cool that we get to do that at our age now Mm -hmm. especially because there's no kids involved but so with you two traveling so much what's your biggest pet peeve you guys have oh my god you know you know i love this (laughs) course i got plenty i have lots of pet peeves dude what's a pet peeve and what's like the worst airline you've flown on well unfortunately okay so you've flown different but to fly from Yuma, Dick, out of Yuma, it's only American Worst. Airlines. Only American Airlines. Jared's like, I hate when my private plane only has 
10 seats instead of oh. 24. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> and doesn't have a, a maid on the plane. No, dude. So American Airlines has been has been on my bad list for the past few months. And they're like a huge sponsor of I mean, baseball no, teams. American yeah. Airlines yeah. sucks ass. Dude, American they, Airlines the number fuck one me. most unreliable airline ever. Yeah. You guys obviously have never flown Delta. Delta's the shit. Oh, dude. I mean, Or is it Delta? No, what's the nah, shitty one? Spirit. Spirit. You're thinking about dude, Spirit. Twice back to back I've flown Spirit and Spirit both times ass? both times I either either my my luggage didn't make it on that flight or oh secondly no. my my luggage Rough-ish. didn't make it and it got there and I had a zipper that was like open and for some reason it was like the very front pocket of my luggage and my watches were in there and it was like half open and I was no. like no fucking wait two were missing dude oh, I carry stop. I don't know how you yeah. I don't know how you go but I have my I carry two I check two bags all the time I check two bags and I carry one on. I carry my fanny pack that has my camera and all my real, like all like my ID important shit like that. Shit. Important shit with you on. But on then the I have my actual camera bag that I always carry with me. There's yeah. no fucking way I'm checking that thing. No, shot. my absolute life is in that bag. Like, granted, like you could figure it out. It's not everything. I'm not attached to it. But if I have the the luxury of bringing it on, I'm fucking bringing it on. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Because because <coughs> even if you lost, like, say you carried just clothes in your check-in bags and you that was it's gone. Just it's just clothes. But the fucking camera equipment that you carry, bro, that's like literally the tools of the trade. See, I don't have a lot of money, so like if certain clothes is missing, then I that's like less clothes than I no, have. No, but then you can actually <laughs> you can pick I'm up I'm really worried about that. No, it's like because fuck, I only packed six pair of underwear and I only have you can, four. You can pick up the 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 light can I have a beer, please? You can pick up the minimus lifestyle that you've always wanted to pick up. And we're oh, out we're of beer. Out of beer. We have mango white claws if it's you all right. would like. No, that's ew, the worst one. <laughs> that's the one of the greatest ones, that and black cherry. Bro, anytime a any person's ever like, give me the mango one. I'm like, that's weird. Hey, give I, me the mango one as soon as I'm done with this beer, please. I just unfriended yeah, I you on, <laughs> on MySpace. <laughs> on Instagram, on Facebook. No. Don't you wish we could bring back MySpace side note? <laughs> yeah. Yo, but, so um, you see that it's like a it's like a music platform. Anyways, going back to what Eric's saying. Uh, Eric? Okay, yeah. So then the bag, the fanny pack, if you ever want to have like a little fly hack, bring a fanny pack, like a big one too. Like it's just a chess one. It doesn't matter how big it is. They don't fucking, like mine's pretty big. You bring one of those, and then you stuff the shit out of your... You get a backpack-sized carry-on, mm-hmm. so you can carry a bunch of shit in it. And then... Oh, that's what you and then, um, And then you just check one bag with all... Like a big... The biggest suitcase you can with all your shit in it. Yeah, that's what I do. I get I get a massive suitcase. Yep. Check in all the clothes. I'll put like a tripod in there if I need to carry You never a know what you're going to carry. You never know. Yeah, but, see, and you guys... But you guys... Oh, I lied. I, I checked three bags. Shut the fuck up. Uh, and I check two, and I carry one. Okay, yeah. I, so you check for extra you get, shit. Is it one check, one check in for free, and two for? It depends. Pay on it or how does I it just work? pay. Yeah. I just fucking pay. Yeah, I pay it too. What? Whoa, what, money wait. bags over here. So, how big are your bags that you check in? So you work hard. A uh, Ruka size duffel bag. Yes, it matters. And like uh, one that's like a chunky boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A tall guy. That's yeah. what I check. A tall in. guy and a duffel bag. You still checking a duffel? Yeah, because I carry like, cause dude, we have a lot of shit. Bro. Yo, I That's saw fair. this thing on TikTok. And you go for longer trips. And than I'm gonna what be I honest do. with both of you, I'm taking extra pair of shoes. Oh yeah. Wait. That's fair. Because I wear one, I usually take. Oh, yeah. You're not used to like, it. okay, we're gonna go in the games, right? We're gonna we're, we're gonna go to uh, an event. I take my brand new shoes that I'm gonna wear for the event, cause every event I wear brand new shoes. I like that. And That's I cool. always take a cool pair of shoes, like a chill pair of shoes. So like I'll wear my I brought some Nigas for the event that I'm gonna wear brand new on the floor. Yep. And then I'm taking like a pair of Jordans. I uh, asked Ariana so if I should get Nigas and she's like, mm. You don't like the Jazz? You don't like no? Why not? Not on him. Maybe not on me. Or have just she, not. Ha, I'll go chunk your shoe. Has she only seen one style though? She saw all the styles. They're at Zoomies. They're all the you, colors. You uh, because there's you. A, there's some that are eh, but like the older versions look really nice. Oh, my new white ones are the best shoes I've ever had in my life. I like those. See, so like we were at Zoomies just now, and I was like, these are tight. And I was like, I know I would copy Eric, but I'd probably get a different color. No, way. you wouldn't. Bro, why, yeah, why hold on. Why do we why is it such a bad thing to copy someone? It's not copying oh, someone. Oh, don't give me stuff. <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. But that's that's a different context. All as right. far as like clothes wise, shoe wise, like you know dude, let's they talk make, about this. Yeah, yeah. At what point is it biting? I feel Can you we know what you go first. Chair real quick? What's that? Can why? We switch yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Come, this is your chair, huh? Yeah, that, that is your spot. Yeah. This is your chair. Yeah, and respectfully, but keep talking, Eric. 
we so, do this week. No, let, let's let's switch. Then he can pick it up, and then we'll pick up from there. But I don't like that pause in between. Cause, cause okay, I'll go. Oh, you'll just cut. Just go. By the, I can keep talking. And that's more editing for me. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. So we're going to talk about – just be careful with your mics because it's a bitch. I'm sorry, guys, for the switching. I know this, oh I know, I know this podcast is a lot. I, I get it. I understand that we're all over the place. I know that it's hard. I know I get it. I Look, don't leave. I get it. I know. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at them. Leave them nasty comments. But don't get mad at me, all right? Well, I'm trying my best, and it's okay. I just want to – I'm here just to calm you down. I like this chair better. It's okay, and it's, it's fine. It's going to be all right. We're back. It's going to be all right. So, but, okay, the con- – the is it a concept? Is it a – what are we going to call it? Hold on real quick. Is it, it's the headphones, I think, huh? The audio, you hear this? I think you know what I heard. Or I heard it, it super clear. Yeah, right there. it might be the Those connection. I maybe do some shit. No, no, it might be the connection I have. I'm be fucked up, so I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> no, you're good. But sorry. it's gonna be good when it comes out live. Anyways, um, but going back to what you're saying, I don't but know. No, whatever wh- you're doing what feels I, pretty good, though. What I what I was saying was, yeah, there's a difference. That's I was a different. About to take a drink out of the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's faded, dog. Hey, he's you're faded. Lit. Just Give me that bottle of rose. whatever we had. No, no. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I had my bottle of tequila. There it is, yeah. No, I'm a I'm man. A cox. Wait, like, do you want a shot again? No, I'm going to sip it like a gentleman. Oh, I like that. Oh, so, wow. uh, Garnica style, baby. Straight yeah. out the bottle? No. You don't want, like, a little glass? We got, like, some nice... Yeah, we'll oh. Sip it out of oh, Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so, okay. um... But go ahead, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this, because when I was a kid... I, I struggled to find my own thing. And I had people in my family that I always look up to. One of them being Cousin Gabriel, the one that cuts hair at... Where'd you go here? House, House of, of Fades. House of Fades. I Shout out to House of Fades. Shout, Shout out to House, House of Fades. Fades I looked go to 1-800 House no, of Fades. I don't know the numbers. I House, remember... House of Fades. Growing up with Gabriel, and this is, he's the second example, but I remember go, growing up with Gabriel, and I thought he was the fucking coolest guy ever. He still is. He is. He cuts hair for guns. He had cool style. He listened to all the cool music. Like, I just wanted to be associated with him. I thought he was so sick. and But it came off to the point where I was just doing everything that he was doing, which is, like, cool to some point. Like, for him, it was probably annoying because I'm, like, the same age as him. So it's, like, for sure get your own style, you know? But uh, Is there any more left in there? Uh, probably a little bit. And then, um, Can and so, one? yeah, absolutely. And so there was a, a family member that I had before him, and this changed my life forever, right? Mm-hmm. Is well, kind of, because then Gabriel was the second one. But before him, when I was younger, I had a cousin named Jose who did graffiti, the nicest guy ever, one of the most talented <laughs> dudes I know. He was like, "Hey, like I noticed that like you're you're kind of like you know that you're you're drawing similar to me, but it's that's yeah, cool to like practice, right? Yeah. But it's very important to develop your own way of doing it." Like, you can have your own style based on what you like from mine. You can take things from mine, but make them your own. That's, like, the most important thing. And I was like, ah, okay. And then when I was older and I realized, like, with Gabriel, like, I always enjoyed, like, how, who he was as a person. I tried to my best to try to, like, develop my own thing. like Based off what you like. Based beginning. off what I like. Yeah. And, that, like, dude, that, like, that was so drilled in my brain as a young kid. So then, like, I was always, like, trying to figure out what I liked, like, the way I dress, like. It wasn't even until like the last couple of years where I was like, okay, I think I found like my vibe. Yeah. And then, but it's hard because like, and you don't, you can't find, it's hard to find your own thing until like you try other things. But then like, even now there's shit that Jer wear, like what did, who started like, but then it's hard because then like, not hard, but there's a way to go about it where like, you know, I know there's things that I, I like took from Jer that like he wears a certain thing. And I'm like, oh, that's sick. Like Jer can probably go off of this one because like, there's so many things that we'll do and then he, he's better at explaining it. But like. I don't know when we all started wearing like those Wrangler pants. Oh yeah. The what? Like we all started wearing like fucking Wrangler uh, cargo. Oh, pants. Wrangler pants. I thought, it's you like, said, I thought you said rings on my it's pants. It's just it's just the way that you <laughs> dress it up, right? And yeah. it's like, and it's you can you can tell like based on vibes. Like if if someone's like, oh, they don't really give a shit, or if that's like a big staple piece in somebody the way they dress. It's like, I don't know. I guess it's like more intuitive for like some people, but for the other people, it's like, hey man. That's literally my thing. But yeah, this, you're just are ripping you, it. This is fashion you're talking about, or like no, this a is can be with any anything. Like fashion you know, is just saying, like an example. But of that's what yeah, I'm saying. Fashion's though, a good but example. But it, it could go in different contexts, though. Like it could be different things. So, like for instance, like fashion-wise, like I said, like 
if you know you have a player a pair of black and white Nikes, and you right? Bought some. Yeah, and I bought some. I don't I'm not biting shit. off your style because nope. there's so many fucking made. Like, yeah. I mean, just because I like them because you have them, like now I can't buy them. But so a big thing. It, oh, go ahead. It it goes back to the different side of it is the fact that um, creative wise. If you, if you don't mind me bringing it up, the Go thing ahead. we talked about there tonight. Yeah. I won't say nothing about that, but going back to like you guys, you guys have your own creative styles, photography wise, video wise, cr- uh, photography wise, mm-hmm. whatever it is, editing styles, you guys have your own set thing. And that's something that you guys have created from the bottom up. It's not, you know, it's not something that like you saw and you also, you know, made your own or, or you know, uh, bit off My, someone mm-hmm. and then now someone else is biting off you and you're like you're biting off me it's not that it's you have your own style you've seen something that you like and you, you've seen and you get like inspiration from it and you but see it's how nothing it yeah it works for you yeah and yeah. you see like okay how can i turn that into my thing as far as like but not taking that same exact copy Dude. and paste right but at the same time getting an idea like okay i like that so Bruh. i'm gonna do that on my own and then someone sim- you know someone starts working with you and then they're like oh, and then they start seeing like okay like a lot of people like what this guy's style is. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep bro. this. I'm trying to keep this job, yeah. or I'm trying to. I'm trying to be at this guy's level, so I'm going to do exactly what he's doing. That's what pisses me off. Yes, and so that's what I'm saying. That's the difference between fashion. Thank you. That's the difference between fashion. Is that for me? This is the greatest podcast ever. Is that for me? Yeah. This is a great oh, podcast. thank you. Uh, so that's the difference between you fashion. Cut half of it out, but no, no, <laughs> this thing's going full on, like full just that one part. Yeah, I think we have like an hour left on that. Really just that part. really that one part. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have like an hour left on that on that thing. If I have to, I'll upload it and then we'll keep going. Like I don't fucking Lit. care. And as long as you guys have time, like I'm all about Whatever, it. Whatever, dude. I just need water at some point. No, yeah, we have water. Um, but um, yeah. So what I was saying was like when it comes to fashion, like I said, that's something that like they're, they make a million shirts, they make a million pairs of these shoes. Right. But when it comes to like your your creative thing that you've personally made your own, and someone else bites off that, that's when it's like okay, well, there's no like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's like you're technically using my shit and trying to make it better. I have three things. Go for it. Sorry. No, okay, great it. example. But hold on, Jared, you know where we're going with this, right? No, solid. Yeah, no. Okay. Oh, you're on board, right, bud? Thank yeah, you. Yes. I just want to make sure everyone in the room is on the same. Great example. Jared and I, I told him to buy the exact same shirt as me when we were shooting a wedding. I saw yeah. that. Because I thought Far it was no, fucking was cool. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why I thought it was cool, but it was cool. Like... There's, I don't know why. Like, there's just for some reason. That's what we did. I don't give a shit why he wears the same thing as I would, because Jer's not like trying to build a living off of what I what I do, right? Mm-hmm. So, because that's a big thing. Is like your livelihood depends on it. So it's like, what did you, you wear compared to what I, what I wore? I wore the black shirt. Uh, I think I wore looser jeans, and then I wore like, what shoes did I wear? You wore some J's. I wore some J's, and he wore skinnies with uh, boots. But so all black though is all same black. shirt. All black. He just dressed it up differently. Okay, okay. So it was cool. He put, his, great. he put totally his flair fine. on it. Yeah. I look better, but whatever. No one. Oh, babe, I look good in those boots. He looks really good. In those Imagine boots. if she was like, "Well, Eric kind of looks a little better." <laughs> I really like the jeans. Uh, Why don't you get yourself some jeans? You should get some. It looks <laughs> really cool in the jeans. You see what Eric was wearing the other day? You should get some like that. <laughs> no, I do today. He, I walked in the studio. I was like, "Where are you going?" Does he look good? <laughs> going to but uh, but there's that. Like we wear the same shit all the time. But it's like we're not trying to like. I didn't. Like, I didn't, uh, I wasn't trying to, like. He wasn't get, trying to look like me. I wasn't trying to look like Yeah, him. we were, we're just, just like, us. both, this is sick. Let's, let's both. Oh, thank you. Damn, look at that. Look at that. that there we cool. go. And so, thank you. And so, uh, so there's that, right? I forgot what my other thing was. But then it's, like, the my second part was he's not trying to, like, it's our livelihood. So we put a lot of time and effort to, like, developing your thing because, you know, that's where, that's where people recognize you for is, like, they go to your thing, you're like, oh, I really want to Jer Delgadillo thing. Or even what you've done here, it's like, oh, it's a slob on the pod style podcast. You know, it's like you have your influences, and like I have mine that I talk about openly too. But then, like, when you look in your space and you see, like, things that are similar to yours, it's like, come the fuck on. Because the most beautiful art and things that people created come from how people collide worlds. The way that, like... Kendrick brings in jazz or like you know um, how like some of right what's another that was really a good one though. yeah that like how good Ken- good like how Kendrick brings in jazz how like how people bring in these these things that they love and they bring it into a new world it's com- it's all about combining worlds right yeah how like like I can only speak on my it's it's hard to think about other examples but like or a oh, perfect example how like um how like in Star Wars how <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. Fuck. 
Dude, Fuck. I did it. Damn it, I did, did it. Do it. I fucking You got to go it. all the way now because we were, you tell people it was a perfect example. I know. We were trying to go to the whole podcast without him bringing up Star and Wars. And I fucking did. I fucking did. But he's I'll like a, it up. But he's a great example because okay, I'll fucking do it. So George Lucas was George Lucas was an awesome example because he has like these solid references and made his own thing. And those solid references being mythology and mythology and also like and and he clearly had influences from like these like old like uh, I Greek forgot what they were called. And stuff yeah, like that. no, yeah, right. that. But also like these old like uh, fuck these like these adventurous TV shows, like these classic adventure like uh, adventure like TV shows. No, they're like oh, they're they're more like wild. They're almost like Wild West. There, there's right? a genre of, of a of a show. Like I'll have to figure it out. Like the exact word is for you, but he has like all these different influences of things that made Star Wars, right? And it's like, but but the Kendrick and Jazz thing is like the best example I can think of off the top of my head. But like. Even how, but I'll use like myself as an example because it's like for the like I come from like a skateboarding world and I tried to bring a little bit of that everywhere I go I bring a little bit of piece of of, of myself into it so it's like yeah that's why I try to tap back in the skate thing it's like okay how can I bring a little bit of the skate stuff into the CrossFit world and how can I bring some of the CrossFit stuff into the skate world and it's like how can you mix all these worlds together and like that being with like you know because that's how you develop your own thing is like how can you mix all these things and that's what makes you you and it's. If you can look back, that's why I think like everybody can develop their own style. Cause it's like, dude, just like do what you like. You don't have to like do what this certain person does. It's like just look back at history. Like, I don't know. I was joking about Jerry. I was joking to Jerry about this the other day. It's like, dude, just copy people when like they're dead. It's like easier. <laughs> it really Not is, easier, yeah. but it's like Jesus Christ. Like at least wait till they're gone. Like, I don't know. I feel like people can dig in a little bit longer to like what their influences are and just like really. People can take more time to understanding, to finding out, like, they like, the makeup of who they really are and then putting that into their art. And it's, like, there's this thing, last thing, there's this thing that Sammy showed me. It's, like, it's this video about good taste mm -hmm. and about how, like, like creatives have, like, good taste. And there's this period between where your taste, your taste and your skills hit, and that's when, like, you become... I don't know if it's like good. I have to, good, yeah, like where you we get to this 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 solid point of like creation where, you know, because when you have good taste, you don't have the skills. It's like ah, uh, you're trying, but it's like it's a miss, right? Yeah. But when your skills lead up to your taste level, that's when yeah, you that's start when becoming you're, dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Well, I think one thing because you're you're the oldest, right? Not all serious. I mean. And like my and your siblings, family? yeah, 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 yeah. And you're the oldest with your si with yeah. You my brother's brother. bigger than me, but it's no big deal. Yeah. But I was I was the youngest. Age wise, I, yes. Physically wise, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was the youngest, and I had a brother who was nine and a half years older than me. So all the shit that he liked, I eventually liked as well. Yeah, but that, but I was yeah. but, but I was so far apart that by the time that I liked those things, it was almost cool to like it because it was it almost seemed like it it had already passed. Uh, uh, it already passed its time to like that. Yeah. Right? So I loved East Coast rap growing up. Okay. When all my friends were... Example of East Coast rap? Uh, Nas. Okay. Nas. Like, I was fuck, I was listening to Nas all the time. Wu-Tang? At, at, at Wu-Tang. Um, I was I listening, to, Wu -Tang, I was listening yeah. to them, like, at a, in elementary school when, my, when my friends were listening to, you know, I don't know, anything else. Where like, the fuck is you know, Yeah. Yeah. So Eastside Boys, yeah, I don't know something, but but I was listening to that and and I was able to kind of like embody that that style, and it kind of came to me very easily because it was just like a like an easy transition for me because as I grew up, it was kind of like the left behinds that that my brother had kind of uh, you know things that he enjoyed, um, so so it was always easy for me as the youngest. But I can't I can't imagine what it would have been like to be the oldest and almost having kind of no no real track. Right. Yeah. On like where to go. <laughs> but so I get like I get why you would like look up to your cousin and be like, yeah, well, I like that shit, too. Now that now that I see it, like I kind of want to embody that as yeah, well. Yeah, And it's like really on what you appreciate at the time, because it's like a lot of it defines what you what you consider valuable at the time. Right. Because like when I was younger. A lot of my identity was based on the things that I that I enjoyed. So that was like the music that I listened to, like the way I dress, like that was like valuable to me. But now, like I'm older, it's like it's different things, right? It's like like now, like a lot of what I enjoy is like things that have like more history. 
So it's like, oh, no, I like this because of X, Y, and Z. Like, I enjoy things more because, like, oh, no, I like this because my dad really likes this. And it means something to him, so, like, it means something to me. But that's my dad, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, so stuff like that. No, yeah, it, you're you're pretty much talking about, like, different inspirations you get. It's not yeah. so much you're biting off, you know, because your dad likes this, you like that as well. You're not, in, or your older brother or your younger brother or whoever the fuck. You don't, you're not biting off them. It's just inspiration you get. Yeah, here's a good homage. I want a, I want a red Bronco. Is it homage or homage? Homage. Is, is it homage? Is, a, is it homage? Is it homage? 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 Hi. Hi. That's Jewish. I want a red Ford because my dad drives a red truck. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get a red Ford, but like a whether if it's a new F-150 or a Bronco. Like I want a red Bronco. Because it's a homage to my dad. You want a red vehicle? No, general? a red Ford. Oh, okay, okay. A red oh, so it has Ford. to be Ford, but yeah. Yeah, and there's a Bronco, so it's like, oh, it's a homage because it's like my version of what he has. So you wouldn't get like a red Ford Escape? No, a red Bronco. <laughs> like a car? You're a son of a Just totally bitch, switch it up dude. from like Taurus? SUV or You want a Taurus? Fucker, dude. <laughs> but it's something like that as an example. It's like, you but, know. So let me ask you guys this. It's actually, it's, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to no, cut you off. You're good, you're good. There's like an art to it. A hundred percent. Because yeah. him and I talk about it, and we make jokes about it, like, oh, that was a miss, bud. That was a hard miss. Like, we look at yeah. stuff online, and then we'll talk about it, we're like, oh, that was a fucking miss. Like, we see what, like, we'll talk about it, too. It's like, okay, we see what X, Y try to do. And then we don't always hit, either, right? It's like, but that's, like, that's the nice thing about it is, like, you know when you hit or not. Yeah. It's like, you feel it. But it's like, yeah. No. There so There's so the doggy. There yeah. she is. I had to bring the cute thing. And we're selling dogs. Hey. She's beautiful. She's keep her? yeah. She's full bred. She's got a clean butthole. Oh, that's um, it's, it's a girl. Cute. So yeah, if you guys want her, go to one eight hundred slob on the pod and pug. You want Stop. her? Here you go. Catch. Hey, no, see if she breathes. See if she breathes. Put her in the mic. Huh? Put her in the mic. That's fucking nah, cute. She's not fat that's enough. So cute. Not fat enough. <laughs> but the so let me. One sounds like a pig. You gotta put her on camera though, so they see who's breathing. Otherwise, it just looks like Keeks is breathing hard. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I can't believe how different they are in size. This one, I think, is Come just here, mama. this one's a fighter, so it fights to get food. The other ones are like, eh, if you guys. Oh, it's so cute. But let me guys, let me ask you guys this. So I've always heard that um, imitation is the biggest form of flattery. Form of flattery. Yeah. Flat flattery. No, flattery. it's just, just annoying me. Drake verse. Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn. That 100%. Hey, I resonate Dra with that. Another Drake verse, 0 to 100 real quick. Um, yeah. But let me ask you, so what? So how is it that if someone was to... That shit isn't flattery. It's just Let's annoying. say you, you guys both yeah. do photography, videography. If someone was to use your type of style, yeah. why don't you guys feel like... What context? Yeah, why don't you guys feel like someone is like, oh, like they like what I'm doing, so they're going to try to do what I'm doing because it's so good that they're like, well, I want to do what they're doing. Because yeah. it's okay. obviously Two successful. Things. We'll that they've made. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. They've made the blueprint. I want to follow that because they're successful at this right. point. So I'm gonna just follow these steps, step by step, to be as, as successful as they am. And they probably will, based off your guys' style. You go first, right? So I I recently got a, a text message from a client that it was like, uh, like hey everything's going great. We love how everything's turning out. Uh, P.S. We've been seeing a few other people in our industry, and it looks a lot like what we've been doing. And in my head, I was wait. So they're calling you out as if you're biting. Or no, no, no. no. They're, they're telling me it's like we know we did it first. Your style's universal, or their style's universal. More, more than anything, it's like they noticed what we were doing. Okay. And now they're doing it very similar to what we were doing, right? Uh, so we're dealing with similar shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and and then like I mean, all all I thought to that like who cares? Like let them copy. You know, let them copy, and we're still gonna just keep putting out what we put out, and and you know do our thing. Right. I, I, I can see where certain instances it would be super annoying because I'm not the one looking at their likes and their comments and stuff like that. And not that you should ever base your success on any of that shit. But, yeah, I, I, I feel like I would feel some type of way if, like, I'm looking at a, at a video or some photos and I'm like, wow, that looks very similar to my shit. And they're getting a lot of credit and they're getting, you know. Uh, a lot of applause for it, then I'd be, I, I, I might feel some type of way at that point. But since I wasn't, and all I heard was, "Yeah, it looks a lot like what you've been doing," and then I'm just like, "Fuck it, who cares? We're gonna keep doing our thing, and and you know, we're." But we're especially at some us. point, like, does it make a does it up the level? Especially whenever people are. 
doing what you guys are doing and still and then also making money off of it. Like it's one thing to just do what you're doing to like get established or to like start your thing. Okay, cool, I get it. But you, once you they're at that on once they're at that level where then they are uh I hope I'm not No. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. No, no, you're good. You're good. I uh, I'll I'll edit I'm just that. fucking pissed. I'll edit that out. <laughs> Boiling. I have but, to be better about letting shit go. I'm not the best at it, but I pra- I try to practice. I meditate, I write. Yeah, I did try that too. Um, yoga and shit. But no, but what was I saying? Y- you were asking about when people start making money on your yeah, style. Yeah, yeah. So, so is there a difference when, like, if, if someone's doing what you're doing and they're just, like, starting out and you're just like, oh, that's cute. But then once they start making money, then at that point, does that bug you? Because then they're making money off pretty much what you're doing. Here's 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 the or does real, it bug you from the, the beginning? Here's the real answer that my heart is telling me, and when I calm down is what I really should be doing, <laughs> is that it's not a famine thing, because if if somebody was acting the way I like I react to things like the a, word by the way famine not a famine mentality because I don't I like have to that. look at that yeah. but it's like that's why it's not black and white, it's very much not black and white it's like case by case scenario depends yeah it all depends. So My it's girl like, wears depends on her period. There you go. <laughs> so it's not it's not a uh, it's not black and white. So in that case, right, is like, it's the thing is is like you were asking earlier about I forgot how he was saying it, but like, e- like an ego is a big one. It's like because I go back to the whole you you know, you make her living off of this, right? And if if people in the same circle are like blatantly. Like taking what you, you, yeah, ripping, taking what, like Contino, my favorite designer, deals with this all the time. He like, he opens, he talk about his Instagram. He'll like take his design. Photography or like art? Design. Yeah, yeah. He'll take his design and get the ripped off version and put them side by side. He's like, wow, that's fucking crazy. It looks exactly like my shit. Verbatim. Yeah, dude. Like, is it like a, is it like a fake Jordan and like a real one? Yeah. Like, it looks very similar. So say it's like this design. Great value. Yeah. Say it's like this design. Mm-hmm. And this is a great example, actually. So say I wanted to do – oh, a fucking great example is uh, – and maybe people would tell me, no, you just ripped it off. But, like, our all of our Hidden Valley stuff is inspired by OG Mike Giant because that's who Steven likes. Okay. Steven loves him. He's still alive. Yeah. But How I, old is Mike Giant? Now? Probably in his 50s. But Mike Giant is sick because he has a style. But, like – but the style is – really isn't his style – it's also like it's east. It's like it's East LA. It's like classic Chicano style of illustrating, but the same way that like it's a melting pot of a bunch of different styles. And yeah, he made his but own he made. Them. But he's very like you can tell it's it's him because it's like black and white sharpie stuff like that. So like the way we made it our own is like instead of using the same typography that he does, I use my own. And like there's there's like pen techniques that we use that are similar. But we made it our own because I didn't take designs or like layouts. I didn't take this layout that he did and just put Hidden Valley over it and use a different dog. It's like the way you take this is like, oh, I like that he like used or I like how he stippled this and used like this. It's like, okay. He used like a dog and he used Old English and you did Old English but different wording and a different instead of a pit bull, you used a fucking German Shepherd. And maybe I didn't do this Old English, but I did a different style of Old English and I didn't do this version of a. I didn't do a dog, but maybe like I did like an eagle, and if I like the way it was stippled, maybe I don't do a stipple because it's too close. It's like I do a different yeah. style. It's stuff like that. There's it's subtleties. It's right? subtleties, dude. It's, it's subtleties. Like, and at that point, if you're the one that inspired and you see that and you notice that, because you're gonna recognize it off the bat, you're gonna see your work and how it inspired, you know, whatever whatever uh, piece you're looking at, and you're almost gonna be proud about it at that point because you're like. Oh shit! Like I saw where you where you you got the ideas that I had, and then you created something new of your own. You, yeah, that's and cool. that's fucking cool. That's cool. Super fucking cool. That's a proud moment to me because like, 100. Especially like at this point, like we're still like very much developing our careers, but like I haven't had like have I had that happen? No, like you just get like cool comments, like not to be grass again. But it's, like, you get cool or, like, egotistical. But, like, you get cool. Like, I'm sure you do, too. It's, like, you get, like, some DMs that are, like, people say cool shit. And, like, they notice things that, like, about it. And then they'll be, like, hey, I tried, like, you know, they'll show you some stuff that, like, they tried. And it's, like, oh, that's fucking cool. Like, similar approach. Because I'm not the only person that, like, shoots a film style. Like, tons of people do. 
but the way that I go about it is different. Like, well, at least like I think angle so. Angle wise, or what yeah, you, like, just the way. Like, like, like I talk about it all the time. Like, who my? I mean, I'm a broken record with it. Like, I talk about who like I enjoy and like why. Like, not even why, but like who I like. And but I always try to switch it up because it's like, yeah, I don't want to be pinholing the one thing. But you know, it's cool. Like, you know, if people like appreciate your stuff. But so so then like I've always thought about like whenever I hear new music, for instance, like example, music is I, a great example. I know, I know. This, by the way, but I, I feel like it kind of ties into what you guys do. It's the best example. Is what I meant. So to when say. it comes when it comes, thank you. When it comes to music, like you hear like a, a great album or you hear like a great song, you're like, this is like the best song I've ever heard. But I've also heard like millions or thousands of best songs, you know, years after years. At what point, like, how can someone like mix a beat? say different Dude. lyrics when it comes to photography and video right how can you guys like it's been so many years so many photographers so many yeah f- uh you know uh uh famous uh videographers and stuff and photographers like at some point like how does shit not get recycled how do you find different angles how do you find different colors how do you find different editing two, styles two things so like sorry to make no you're out. good so yeah. like Saul Leiter I'll, t- I'll say it one more time like Saul was like my favorite guy but he's a street photographer he's a street photographer like he took a lot of he took a, like, and, he, like and a fashion photographer you're right you're saying like he doesn't do like studio lighting no like, he does he did so he did like fashion stuff too like he did a lot of really cool shit but his main shit is on the streets and his most popular stuff like he did a lot stuff. he did a lot of really cool shit so I was like oh I love the way he shoots stuff like mad foreground like if you ever look at a lot of my photos I use a fuck load of foreground and the reason for that is because, like, he did it because it it it, it represents – and, like, he uses a lot of textures and shit because he was a painter. So he's like, oh, how can I do that with photos? So there's the world mixing, right? Yeah. Th- that's his style. Yeah. And so with my stuff, like, I like that, that appreciation that he did. So then I resonated with that, and I was like, oh, how can I do that in my stuff? And then how can I do that in skateboarding and in CrossFit? So I, I like, got inspired by that, and I'm like, okay – how can I do this my way in my world, you know, because but I like the way that like he does that. And it's like, OK, and I like his colors. So it's like, OK, how can I associate my world with his world as a homage? So it's like, OK, Kodachrome, sick. How can I find like colors that are similar to that? Like and then did that. And then it's like, OK, how can I use this this com- like composite? It's not always like that. You know, it's like then you do your own things that look cool. But it's like a lot of times it's like, OK, how can I compose my image with like like you'll see it now like I explained it to you like even that like that photo is actually a fucking really good example of that is like the it's way the way that like I composed that photo is like and it's almost like second nature now because I've been doing it for like yeah. years it's like just the way you compose images it's like it's also like not that one is like one that's why I printed that one because that's actually one of my favorite photos that I've taken in a while it's just like well the, thank you for giving me one yeah, of your favorite of photos. Course. I appreciate it's that. our family, so it's like of course. Of course. But like even that image is like, you know, is a perfect example for myself. It, it, it's ironic that it's here. Is that how I I tried to blend those two worlds. It's like a an example of mine of like how I blended that world in in my world. You know? And then there's people that's why it's cool to hear people's influences is like especially in fucking music. Because you're like, oh shit. I get it. That's so <laughs> fucking cool. It's like it's like a little oh the bat. Sorry, I screamed. I get so excited about this shit. <laughs> and when no, we were I watching, when we were watching Batman, oh, Jer yeah. and I were watching Batman. The newest one. The new the one. Keeks was there too. Keeks was there too. Keeks was there too. I was actually the third wheel. Um, <laughs> Always. Yeah. We were watching. Batman. By the way, guys, Eric's single. So hit him up, dude. Yeah, yeah. I- I'll probably say no because you know life's wild. It is but because um, he has so many options, of getting out. Of no, no, no. Him. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's just not fair. <laughs> I'm fucking too wild. But anyways, um, we were watching Batman and. When there's a scene, if you haven't seen it, uh, not spoiler alert, but just be aware. It's been out. Fuck it. Yeah, they can watch it. It's on HBO Max. So there's a scene where. The Batman, right? So there's the scene when he first comes out, and it's like, dun, dun, dun. You know his song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude. Jared and I looked at each other, and I think he said it, but he's like, Darth Vader. Is that the Darth Vader theme? Star Wars. Sounds like it. So we go through the whole movie, and then when we get done, this guy sends me a fucking video about how. The Batman song was, was inspired, inspired by Darth by Vader. Darth Vader yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was pumped, bro. Dude, it's the so coolest pumped. thing. <laughs> but it's, like you said, it's paying homo- homage. It's paying homage. Low key, low key. 100%. It's paying homage. Like only because you guys if would you don't it. know, you wouldn't catch it. Dude, yeah, it, that's yeah. how. That's like a fucking great example because it was like, it struck a part of you. That's why it's not black and white because like it's this great. whole, that's the art of like, 
of it all. That's why it's hard to like be unique because it's like, fuck, I'm too close to this or like right. I'm not enough of this. And it's like not even enough of this, but it's like I'm too close to this. I, I think one thing like like because uh, just going fun. back to your, your original question of bored. like how, how do you You're not bored. replicate something that's already been done? And and I think the the like just what Eric said too is like over time you you kind of create this callus in your brain Great work. of like you know this is what I enjoy this is what I like seeing in my photos right and and if you're able to differentiate like what's trending to what you what you enjoy and I think if you stick on 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 the what you appreciate more. Than the the you know than the latter, I I think I think you're gonna be in a good a good route to create those things that do seem unique, even if you were to search you know, for for something that looks um, like it and and you were to find something you still make it your own and I think I think that's I mean we're we're very fortunate to be in that situation where we were able to differentiate like I know everybody else is doing that I know that. Every designer is drawing daisies and putting it on T-shirts and doing this and doing that. Yeah, I'm not the first person to design a flower or draw this. Right, but then Eric did it in his own style that he found, you know, something in, and and that he appreciated. So that's where the importance lies. If if you appreciate it, even if somebody else doesn't see it, there will be, there will be scenarios where 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 people can can see your art and can see uh, your uniqueness through through all of that. Um, but but definitely s- sticking close to your gut, like 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 the saying goes, like trust your gut. It's like it, it's true. It's like if you if you were to stick closer to what your beliefs are and where your ideas lay, um, you're gonna be in a better position than if you try to conform to what everybody else is doing and to what everybody else thinks is right. Why? Because it's better to be the fucking the the champion in your own lane than fucking you know the 155th person in Yuma, Arizona doing the same thing. I really liked his callous thing. Yeah. That was really cool. Well, side note, yeah. It was a no, good, it was, was a good because it was a good, ex- no, it was a really good explanation. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was a, it was a really good explanation of like what happens when like you just show up and do the thing that you're, you're hyped on real quick. Babe, can you bring three more white claws, please? Not me. Please. And, and, uh, and some water for Eric, please. One Thank for you. Keeks, one for Jared, one for but that callus is, But that cal- – I love that you said that. It was such a cool thing. I've never heard it said that way. It's such a cool thing because, like, what happens over time when you show up, when you, like – it's in the art, the book, The Art of War. I think I told both of you guys about it a couple of times. When I really sh- need to read that book. It's such a beautiful book. Yeah. You show up and you summon this muse that they talk about. It's a thing that, that inspires you. It's not always there. Thank you, Sarah. It's like not me. It's not always there. Thank you. Um <laughs> But it's like you show up. The CEO of Auto Lake Collective. Yep. No, go ahead. You show up. Um, you, they they say summon, but it's like you show up and you and you attempt to do the thing. And some days it's there. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Some days your creativity's there. Some days it's not. And it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, but through time you develop what is this callus that is like the thing that you enjoy. It's like you always like, and th- that's how styles develop. Is like the callus. It's like uh-huh. oh shit. Like the guy that that I got inspired by to like that like that photo, it, the guy that I bought magazines off of inspired me to shoot that way because it was a that's like classic skateboarding, mm-hmm. It's like you know the whole f- flash and it's like that guy just did it his way, and you know it's like okay how can I do that my way, and you know it's bringing and you know it's like that comes with colors the way you frame compose like that guy does a lot of like front style stuff where like motherfuckers are kicking his board. It's like yeah. it's crazy, but he's dope. I forget his kicking name. his camera, kicking his camera. Sorry, uh, I just say bored. Thank go, you. So going off of what Eric, shit, wait, real quick. What do you mean by kicking the camera? Dude, so Jer's here, right? The guy has his light, and sometimes he doesn't always hold it. He has like stands. Yeah. But I saw this picture of him doing it with Louis Lopez over a bench, and he was holding a light and taking a picture like this. And I was like, holy shit! So then I was like, I want to fucking try that. So I tried it with all these photos and. Then I fucking took it into a wedding scenario, and I was like, "Dude, what a game changer!" Okay, okay. So, so what you're saying is you used uh, skateboarding photography in, in a different, if, in, yeah, in a different dude, element. Dude, now I can't wait to try to fucking figure out how I can do it in CrossFit because oh, now that motherfuckers are mm. now that like in the CrossFit space is so small. But 
But how how like I would assume it seems so easy because it's action style. That's camera. the beautiful part. It's yeah. like when it's hard, that's like, oh sick. Here's an opportunity to be different. It's, it's not that you're trying to be different. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. Here's a chance to do something that like I enjoy and in it, other areas. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool. That's when you know you're onto something. So it's yeah. like, I have no idea how the fuck I'm gonna do this. So like I know I have a flash. I know how I I know how to do the thing. Now it's like, does it make sense? Yeah. Right. That's, and that's a big one. So like sure. at an event, at a CrossFit event, I'm not gonna be able to do that because I'm not gonna be able to get that close to somebody. Mm-hmm. But I may be able to do it in the gym, mm-hmm. like when we're chilling. Yeah. You know, maybe or it, maybe I just don't do it. You know, maybe that's a style that I pocket for different things. Maybe I can do that for my apparel. Maybe you know, it's like stiff stuff like that. So that that comes with your style as well. Knowing where it fits and knowing where it doesn't and knowing where what best version of you tap shows in. up for that instance. Tap me in. Kick step. Tap, tap, tap. I gotta piss over here. <laughs> <laughs> so that, so I think that's a big one that, that Eric just mentioned. It's like maybe he doesn't use it there. But you know, that that's that's something that you learn over time and, and I think Eric and I have had this conversation before too of like He's not getting this mic back. Don't give it back, baby. <laughs> We've had this conversation back before, too. It's like, uh, you know, we've heard it before, especially early on. You hear it's like, just get your own style. And it's like, well, fuck, which SD, SD card's full. Oh, shit. Go ahead and continue your thing, and I'll upload it, and we'll keep going. Trust gotcha. me. I got this. Yeah, no. Essentially, just like, it, it's hard to understand what your own style is when you have no direction. And then, like, like going back to this, that that callous that practice makes perfect idea right or or practice makes uh what do they call it or perfect practice makes perfect oh um, i never heard that one it's a good one yeah it's a good <laughs> one. but but I no think you just like, made that up it, yeah. no 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 it's it's a real thing no but but when you're when you're really testing out and you're being intentional about what you're doing what you're shooting uh what you're creating uh, essentially um that's that's when you start figuring out i like this i don't like that i'm gonna do more of this and then you start weeding out scenarios and instances that you don't enjoy, uh, but it comes it comes with just the repetitions of doing it, it over and over and over again, and then you get closer and closer to that. What is your style, you know? Um, but again, a big part is understanding when your style it maybe needs a different version of itself in in, in certain areas, you know. Um, you know, uh, we I, I got a we would we would work graduations before and it's like we understand that maybe our style needs to be a little bit more appealing to the masses today so it has to be a little bit more accepting and it has to look a certain way and we can still achieve that within our style it just has to we just have to recognize it and still be comfortable with what we're putting out okay yeah, yeah. Sorry. well I didn't hear a damn thing you said <laughs> can you hear anything <laughs> can you you not you can't hear anything I blocked you out. Well, oh, so shit. obviously, as Jer just said, that yeah, the SD card is full. SD card is very full. We are gonna take a quick break. Once I have again. a four hundred gigabyte SD card in the car. I can bring it out. We will we'll fucking be here all night. Do you really? Yeah. Can you go get it? Because otherwise, you're gonna Wait. have to upload this shit to the. Thing Wait, or, no, sorry. No, I'm sorry, bro. I, we drove the Infinity. It's in the other car. Oh, it's all good. Let me just upload it to the thing, and then we'll continue car. this. Yeah, it's in the narco car. Sorry. Oh, I love that one, by the way. All right, we're going to take a break. Do your thing. Uh, thank you, guys. Do your thing. Hold on. Do your thing. <laughs> Can we order pizza? Definitely not. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got promoted. I don't have to press the record button anymore. Now, you're a woman of many talents. Hats? Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Are you a Jacqueline of you're all trades? You're a Jackie no. of all trades. No, no, it's 2022. You just want to be Jack. There's no, it's everything's gender neutral. They it. Enough. They, they it. Exactly why you. You should you yeah. should propose to me. Remember, we're recording now, guys. So careful what you say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think, and I'll re- and that was just for the joke. I think you should do it. I'm a, I'm gonna put out a hit single called Dry Ring. And, and I think on the launch party, you should propose. Before he goes on stage, like in the little where everything's concrete and there's like not a lot of cool things. Yeah, like in the backstage before he goes out, he's like, "I really gotta tell you something." Boom, perfect spot. Hold on, we're back. Perfect. All right, spot. continue. Okay, we're back. We're back, guys. No, you're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Wait, where did we leave off last time, Jordan? I don't remember, dude. Yeah, we'll Who just cares? leave it where it's at. 
We'll just leave it where it's at. Let's do what we cool. do. Hold you on. Let's now that we have the two couples in the house, we have Jerga Delgadillo, yep. Jair Delgadillo, and Ariana Keeks. She's here. Garcia. What up, girl? What's up, bro? From Keeks Corner. From Keeks at the store. So how do you feel about me joining the Otale Collective group? How does that feel? Because you got you got to fix think, up my I corner think, now. I think you fit in. Thank you. I think thank you. you. Fit right in. You mesh right in. Thank you. And so, it, for everyone listening, what is your position in the Odalay Collective Group? Um, what is your title? I don't have a title. Chief Executive Officer. Chief Keeks. Chief Keeks. <laughs> Chief Keeks. I don't know if we're allowed to say Chief that. Chief Keeks. No, there we'll say, we'll say Chief Keeks. Chief Keeks. Chief Keeks. Not Chief. Chief. Oh, S-H. Yeah. Oh. But but if you're a sheriff and you're the chief. Yeah. Oh no! What's the sheriff? You're you're the sheriff. If you're yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, the yeah, lead yeah. guy is the sheriff. Yeah. But if you're a police chief. Yeah. Then you're the chief. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Chief yeah. You could up. be chief, babe. You could be chief. Because there's a police chief and there's a fire chief. So what are you trying to say? You said chief we. Of us yeah. You could. You said you I couldn't say chief. I know. I know what you were saying. Oh, I thought maybe it was like a. So she has to. Con- she has to contain the the zoo. Right. She's the zoo tamer. I try when I get in there, but. So what? what's your position in the Odalite Collective? Mm-hmm. Designer? Not even Interior that. designer? No, but I think they like to run things by me before they do. Well, you have to do. Anything. Yeah, I'm of course. the final, like, yes or no. Okay. Do So now that I'm moving in, do I have to go through her? To it's not necessarily like that, I don't think. It's just like, hey, what do you think about this? No, yeah, for and sure. Goes so I give you my idea, and then you're like, that would be cool, but let's do it my way. But make Is it not here's, whack. Here's the thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Jared's great ideas are things that I talk to him about, and then he comes to you guys, and he's like, hey, I have this great-ass idea. I do. <laughs> he's like, look what I came up with. <laughs> and then y- and then you execute? And no, he just steals my ideas. Uh, and I just run with it. But you know what? Yeah, In all fairness, we come as a package deal. <laughs> two for one? It's no, two sir. For one. Oh. No. It's two an invisible one. ring. She sleeps in my bed. <laughs> two for one deal. <laughs> <laughs> would, would, would you guys mind going a whole relationship without being married? Hold on, hold on. I have a question for both Keeks and Jer. So, for sure, definitely, I would get to the point where I was like, okay, I got uh, I got it's a marriage. It's definitely important for me. Yeah, yeah. but, uh, and why, though? Like, if you guys know you're going to be together forever, why do you guys have to it's, legally it's bind your guys' relationship? It's one of those things, like, why do you graduate high school? To make my parents but proud. And low-key because the government asks you to. No, not necessarily. You can drop you out could. at 16. You don't have to. Oh. You don't have to. Yeah. Well, she's got, got a point. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's one of those, like, right of passage. <laughs> Jared's like, so we don't have to get married then. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so basically you say. I don't know. No, for sure want to get married. I want to get married my way, though. And she fucking always tries to undermine that. She wants I to do, like, a cheap-ass wedding no, at a chapel not, somewhere not in the middle of nowhere. And I want a big-ass wedding. Dope-ass wedding. Vegas, oh, so I want to meet people Vegas, at my wedding. Vegas, a Vegas wedding could be so cool if done right. I it get that. It doesn't have to be cheap. It could be fucking cool. Elvis could fucking marry us. It could be whack, Am too. Am I allowed to cuss? I yeah, he's yeah the we've pod, been baby. fucking cussing. I'm sorry. Been cussing. I just throw them out there. Son of a bitch, piece of ass. What the fucking shit is she <laughs> saying, dude? Of course that, you can that's, curse. That's the... Uh, hey, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, that's All the, the highlight. Yeah, that's the one you cut up and you put that. You I'll start bleep, off with that. I'll bleep that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's like, oh, I ahead. just think it's a cool idea, you know? Something that's a little out there. I can wear a leather jacket. He can wear his fucking jeans and we'll wear boots and like not so picture perfect. And and so what time what time is this wedding taking place? Is it like a seven o'clock or is it like a three in the morning? Because nah, it's Vegas. Bro. No, 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 three no, no, in no, the morning no, no, would be right? kind of cool. No. Like right? nobody would expect no, no, no. it. I ain't doing no fucking three a.m. wedding. He bro, we're waking up at seven a.m. and we're getting ready. Nobody if gets married at 7 a.m. That's right, baby. I said we're waking up at seven a.m. and we're getting ready. Church is at church is at noon. Receptions at five. We don't stop till fucking five. If he's paying, we could do whatever kind of wedding he wants. Of course, I'm you're lucky because it's Vegas. So <laughs> no, we're not going to Vegas, bro. We're going to Summerton. Do you so okay? That. Legit, seriously. Do you guys want to have a destination Vegas wedding? No, you know what? So like, there's been a few situations where Adriana has brought up, you know, 
ideas and I'm like, you know what? That's not the worst idea, even though I have the mm-hmm. best ideas. But she she hit me one time with this TikTok of like uh, this couple that got married and they're like, yeah, we, we had saved up for this big, huge wedding and then ended up deciding to go the small route, said, fuck everybody else. We eloped and then we went on vacation. And I'm like, all right, that's kind of tight. I like that. You spend all your money on your honeymoon. Yes, exactly. To other people. All the money that you would have spent on some stupid ass, big ass weddings to have these like people that come to your wedding that they're supposedly they're in your family, but you've never met them or anything. But it's like I have to invite them because yeah. so and so knows them, and because supposedly they were there when I was like a baby. But then you have the idea where it's like, or I could save all that money that was spent on this dumbass wedding and yeah. and and go on vacation, it's or put it towards a, a fucking brand new home or a brand new car or like like so many other things. You know what? Would but you're in, at the end of the day, you still are get married. You, you know still what? are get married. Yeah, you still that's get very R true. married. How do you say it? You you would still get married. Yeah, no R. Okay, cool. No, uh, I think what would convince me like automatic if it was like, yo, this wedding's gonna be like fifty G's, right? Which is fair if you want to have a big ass wedding. 50 G's is reasonable. But if she were to say, like, 25 G's will go to your business and 25 G's will go to my business, and I'd be automatic. Let's go. Are you going to have to – are you going to make her sign a prenup? Can girls no. make guys sign prenups? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You're not going to make more than me. <laughs> How do you know? Because you're not. Because you're a girl. Duh. <laughs> That's not fucking dope. I'll tell you all your great ideas late at night, huh? Ooh, you still are. To, I'm going to learn how to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> You can't I thought we were in a relationship. Like, you can't go to Eric and I can't be like, look what I thought of Look what night. I came up with. <laughs> who who cooks food in the house the most? Ariana does. The most? <laughs> I buy more food. I cook she cooks more food. food. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you want to ask more questions? That's where we're yeah, at. Yeah, I have one more. Yeah, what is it? Who's the bottom and who's the top? Oh, bro, I'm the bottom. I respect. Why that. would I be on top? Hell yeah! Of her? Thank you, thank you for what? What's the word? Uh, uh, making it like a custom to to being the bottom. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you don't always have to be the top. Let her do the work. You know how many? No, 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 no. You know how many exactly. times I lay on her well, and she I says, would "Get be off the one of me." Coming to him with the prenup. Whoa, coming. She's with coming. A, coming with a U or coming with a O? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> you Every g- way you want to take. There it is. I think there's a level of like confidence you get, or not confidence. It was just like ease you get from being the bottom or the top. No, 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 no. From just feel, just feel <laughs> like you're fulfilling your part of the deal <laughs> at any position that you're at. Okay. Okay. I respect that. Yeah. Do you feel the same way, Keeks? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah, you she think? Does. How about this? Would you, who? Okay, so because let's just say like one of you guys makes more money than the other. Do you guys? feel like then that's who runs the house no or is not it at all. or is it who just legit takes the charge? person the person who fucking cleans the house is in charge of the house <laughs> fuck yeah because fuck I mean, cleaning the house let her let her own that right I dude you do I'll, all the work you make the money let her own that let if if she wants to say hey i'm the i'm the i'm the one that wears the pants in this relationship let her you're you're it pal yeah but anyways at the end of the day realistically I, and I, and we've talked about this too. It's like, uh, I I've done it in my whole life. Like, but I'll make up I'll make up for being like messy around the house by yep. saying, "Oh, I work hard though." I do that too, but but, but it, you know what? Is it fucked up? I gotta stop that shit. It is terrible. One hundred percent. Same stop thing. Because then I started working, I'm like, "Well, I don't have to clean the house anymore." And then See, what happens? Our house is a shit. House mm, is a shit. Yeah. Show. It's terrible because and then one you of us feels obligated to clean it because we both work. But so, then you guys have enough money to get a maid. We do, but and then you why hire Eric. We spend our money like that. <laughs> yeah, because then we're like, well, why not spend it on something we actually want to do? Like shoes. Like shoes. But or Vegas. But like my parents, I remember my parents like Vegas come wedding. Sunday, bro. Sunday was cleaning day, like fucking six a.m. in your household. Growing chente, up? chente blasting, yeah, fabuloso, all up in the fucking air fumes. That's such like, a typical thing to say. Which part? What's fabuloso typical? or the, the chente, what? The, the reality music. of my life. Is it really like one of those like trendy things to start saying is like oh this is Anita 6 a.m. Do you want me to call my mom? You know what I mean though? But should I call my mom and ask her? Like it's such a thing. Should we ask Rolando or should we ask Ana? Ana. Or should we ask Denise or Diana or Caesar? Or myself? Me just to agree with me. Anyways, my mom doesn't like her that much but anyways. Yeah, that's the toughest thing. She asked him to get down on his knee 
on yesterday. Mother's and blow day. you. No, and to ask me to marry him. Same he thing. He wouldn't do it. She I was looking for Absolutely anything, not. any kind of like. <laughs> she was side. looking for her wedding ring. I'm like, stop. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself <laughs> so and me. And then she asked me, so what are you going to do first? Have a kid or get married? I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Ooh, We're coming in this hot. <laughs> yeah. And I said, fuck them kids. So if, if you out of nowhere got pregnant, would you guys hurry up and get married just to say fuck that you no. got married first? No, bro. Fuck no. Me. Hell no. We ain't having no kid. I get shoes. Yeah, fuck kids, right? Fuck every, kids, every bro. Month, every month that I don't have a kid, I get a new pair of shoes. Yeah, it's so funny because my parents did the same thing. They said, like, as long as we don't have kids, as long as we, you know, as long as I'm with her or whoever I'm with that gets lucky, then <laughs> that gets lucky. <laughs> then as long as long as we're together and we don't have kids, then we get all the presents. But the minute we start having a kid, yeah. fuck that. No more gifts. No more Easter baskets. It's no just more the kids. No more thir- Thanksgiving fucking baskets. Nothing. It all goes to the kid. Yeah. So that's what's kind of holding me back from having a kid. Because no. I don't want to lose that. That's like the best part I'm of just like. I'm really selfish. And like, I'd rather pay for my trip to Disneyland than Not the kids to Disneyland. To Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, but kids are free up until a certain age. So yeah, two, bro. What's what the, the point fuck? of taking them if you just have to like sit with yeah, them? Yeah, all you have to do is have them as a burden to you. <laughs> it's literally like a big ass backpack that you have to keep alive. <laughs> all right. One last question, and you could tap in with Eric. Okay. Um, if you guys were to adopt a kid, uh-huh. I would love to adopt. What race would you guys want? A black ha- and white. A half black baby. A light skin? Mm-hmm. Half black, 100%. half white. Half black, half Asian. They're half black, half Mexican. Beautiful. Okay, but you say half, but half black. A what? Half black. What's the other half? Uh, white. Asian. Oh, I would love. I like how she half. <laughs> I would love ablation. No, ablation would be. I don't care. You know what? It doesn't matter. I would adopt a fucking half the black. whitest kid on the block. I would not. Like, I just want some kid that's up. fucking down. You Asian know what I'm saying? Babies yeah. Are really so cool. I want a 13 year old kid no, that's been a- through some shit. Asian babies are fucking cute. Yeah, that's fair, but yeah, I want a 13 year old kid that's been through some shit. But you know what? Asian ba- this might sound racist, but Asian babies are cute when they're little, but they're like they're like pugs. They're cute when they're little, but then they get older, they, they get go. uglier. It's like, I eh. would definitely want a half. Black, half or a native kid. kid. I'd, I'd be down with a native black, kid, bro. Mexican. Like someone that's from here? Like or that, uh, someone yeah. that's a like Coco could look like he's still Kashan. actually my child. Oh, so, yeah, that's a good thing. So if you guys were, like saw like a whole room of kids y- you could adopt, would you try to find one that looks similar to you? So that not way. Not if it's going to be half black because you're going to know it's not the father. Jared's pretty dark, though, and you're pretty light skinned. So I can see that. No, nah, she's darker, bro. Mm, true. But anyway, mm. I think at the end of the day. We don't want I just kids. want a down ass kid. As long as they're <laughs> we don't not crybabies. Kids, how about that? <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> the patient kids. I have, the patience <laughs> I have is for that? like my nieces, <laughs> my <laughs> nephew, her nephew, her niece. Like that's where my patience is at. I feel that for my own kids, yeah. I don't know if I have the patience for it just yet. Maybe I will. Maybe next year I do. But ask me in five years. Okay. Well, uh, sounds uh, good to me. We'll check you. We'll check back on episode. Five thousand and two with Jared Delgadillo and Keeks. and Keeks. You better Delgadillo. hold. You better hold your or, shit too. That no, or Jair Jared Garcia, Jair Garcia, and yeah, Keeks. I'm down. Garcia. Garcia. All right. How hot is that seat, Eric? It's a little warm, it's a little warm huh? It's steamy. She has a lot of body heat, and she likes to cuddle at night. Fucking hate it, dude. Right. Who's the hot? Who's the who's the hot body person in the relationship? One hundred percent that one. But you know it's I weird because she's furnace. always cold. I'm the dude. I'm the werewolf in the fam. In the I thought you were the furnace. So you know what? I probably do get hot. But if I'm just if it's just me, I'm cool. Oh, I don't realize how hot my body is until I'm with another person. It gets fucking steamy. It gets warm and sweaty really fast. Okay, so can we go back to the kid thing? I want a gang. Of but but real quick. More important than the kids. Real quick or like really if, slow? If you're like in how a, long is if this going to take? If you're in a relationship, would you rather a girl who cuddles or a girl that's like, get the fuck off me? Get on me. Wait, wait, hold on. I So like if, say... Bro, you got, I'm a softie. Okay, bro. okay. Like Sexiest you. chick you could ever fucking think you would be able to land. And she's like a get off me kind of girl. Or, eh, subpar. You met her at fucking Jimmy D's. Are we talking? Are we talking? Hold really? on, hold, yeah. hold on, Dope. hold on. Are we talking? <laughs> are we talking pre-sex or post-sex? Because it's annoying. Because you're talking all all things. Yeah, because I. That's like, different though. That's different. Because if you're, if why you, are you raising your voice? Because I, because you guys over talk me, and I gotta, 
let know. I Jordan, gotta let Jordan's every- like, fuck that. Yeah. Like, you guys, this is what I yeah. fell into. I gotta let This is my know. show. <laughs> this is my show. I can't hear myself. Are you cut off? No, I think no, you're cut off. Fine. It's fine. No, no, check Brown the, check he, the he's connection. Good. He's good. No, I'm good. Check the connection right there. No, I'm good. Did it let loose? No, he's good. I'm good. Are you sure? Can you hear yourself or no? Yeah, I, I kind of. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Um, but no, what I'm saying is like, <laughs> you can't hear yourself at all, huh? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely but can't hear myself. We can hear you, so you're good. Okay. Um, but no, what I was saying was because like, if it's like post sex, it's like yeah, I'm totally down. Like if you're not gonna have sex at night, I'm down with cuddling. But if you if it's you just you know came and then like at that point just don't touch me get away from me i'm gonna go to my side of the bed you go to your side of the bed uh when okay. i had a girlfriend i i, I like i'm a clinger but uh, when i'm not a I'm stage like, five clinger you can go home so so real That's quick fun. just going back to what jordan That's says so like when you come I can't that when you come jordan do, yeah do you it's like, true though i'm like you can, like we could chill but just not together like, so you sit over there so when you come do you have this stage of like don't nobody r- look at me, nobody touch me? Don't get raunchy. Either. Is that like you're kind of like post come? No, I'll, I'll, I'll like this. No, this is a good. Conversation. I'll be real. This is good because it's real, bro. People like this do that. Good. People like don't want to conversate. They get rude. They get fucking like post nut syndrome. Oh no, I'm yeah. all about like afterwards we recap. Yeah. Like yeah, how was <laughs> it? Big talker. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, like I was like. Like, babe, that was the best I ever had. Or like, you kind of, you could have stepped it up a little. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, no, I kind of. What about with a uh, rando? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's, relationship. No, no. Of course, with the relationship. Jer's talking about like random girl. No, 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 no. no, no. I am. Yeah. I am. So, you, so asking. you can't, you can't. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking about randos. No, but 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 more than anything, it's like your your psyche. Like, where are you at? Right? Um, like so, like after you yeah. nut, like where are you at? Like you're like I don't want to fucking ch- talk to you. I just want to chill. I just want to chill. It honestly depends. Like if I like if I'm pushing it towards the end of the night and like I get it in and then it's all said and done. If I'm like exhausted, yeah, like leave me alone. Like let me go to my side or you go home. Right answer, huh? You go home, get an Uber, whatever. Not or right. no, it, there's no right answer. It's whatever the fuck I say yeah, is the it. right answer. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa there, man. I just took a shit during this long ass break, so I'm fucking ready. I'm ready to restart this. <laughs> I'm ready to rekindle this fire. Game. Because if you just had sex in the morning, of course, like maybe you gotta go to work. But if you had sex in the middle of the day, maybe you're away with like getting like chilling for a little bit. Okay, but now if you just had sex at night. Now you're just getting down to the nitty gritty. We're talking about just that's like my life, night Jordan. sex. Okay, no, oh, we're no, not no. talking about you. No, 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 no. Right, but I think I think we're general. missing the point. Okay, I think we're enough. missing the point here. Yeah, you guys are talking about scenarios. I'm talking about. How how your mental state is after you nut? You guys went off like okay, so what did you mean? So like a- after give you us an nut. example. So like exa- for example, right? There's people that almost have sex and they're ashamed of it, even if it's with their married partner. Oh, and then they fucking act like, mad. yeah, they're they're mad, they're standoffish, they they don't want to be associated with that person. Because they feel dirty or some shit like that. Whoa. And then there's other people that are like, this is my fucking, we just became one, essentially. Like, we were, we went through this experience together. Oh, one of those, like, Morgan no. Souls type couple? Yeah, exactly. Like, like very fucking, like, in tune. Not the second one. The second in tune one, no, with their no. chakras Perfect. and shit. No, no, no. Oh, like, we, like we just turned Fuck into yeah. one? Yeah. Sometimes I felt that. So, uh, so uh, I, I, I imagine there's an in-between. Uh, there uh, is. Uh, there uh, has to be. Uh, yeah. The girls are uh, girls well. Are the girls you know are what? requesting a camera. We're saying so, no. Yeah, the girls are requesting, all requesting guy cameras. Podcast. Yeah, all guy podcast. <laughs> mainly like eighty percent of the people. Eighty percent of the audience are guys. <laughs> she wants to be Chen and P, uh, fucking. What's his name? Chin. Chin. Chin and Nick. Nick. Yeah, from Fighter and the Kid. I, did you hear that book? Did you listen to the book? Yeah, yeah I did. Not yes. all of it, but I'm listening to it. Yeah. Hold on. But no, so. I want to be That'll chin. be, but you know what? See, that, I like Asian. that. And I'm totally down about that because once we, once we, I move, once I get established in the Ode Collective. Oh, here's the thing, bud. Sweet. She's never there. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> <She's> but, <working>. but maybe. <laughs> never mind. Whoa, she okay. be there. There we go. See, see, all you guys needed was Slob on the Pod. To go integrate with you guys, and now we and got like females on the side, and I'm totally all about that. We're gonna have enough mics. We're gonna have enough, and, and they don't have to be on camera, or where they can, whatever. You know, who cares? They're girls, so no one really cares. But anyways, what I'm saying is, once we move to the bigger studio, then we can give them mics, and they can be in the background voice, so they can pitch in every now and then. There, there you go. Maybe we can start paying them. 
That'd be kind of dope. That would be kind of cool. Uh, do we have to pay for you, okay. or yeah, like, how does this work? Hundred percent. She says, "Buy her coffee and Fair hardcore enough. drugs We're like heroin and black tar." We're buying her a truck. <laughs> black tar, heroin, and crack. The hardest drugs possible. Hardest drugs you could find on the streets. Huh? Oh my goodness! Here we go. <laughs> thank, you guys, thank you guys for bringing up my girlfriend's uh, drug habit. <laughs> but what were we saying again? We're, we were just talking about your mental state after you ejaculate. I actually have a lot of clarity. I can yeah. focus after. Right. So do you do you make yourself do, like after you have that post not clarity? Like for instance, like let's go back to. I try, to be, I try to be respectful no matter what, even if I feel like. And it's so hard, huh? Because right. after it's Sometimes. so hard, you know. You gotta be cool after, no bro. No pun intended. Because you just, you guys just, you just shared your bodies. You That's know? fair. You shared your bodies. You guys connected. You can't be a dick. But it, don't it's be just, a dick. It's don't just like when dick. you when you masturbate and you try to find like a a porno similar to the girl that you're looking forward to. That's you masturbate true. to her and you have post nut clarity and you're like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to hook I up did with that her tonight. And didn't, yeah. And didn't stay up till one yeah. in the morning. Fucking, yeah. 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 Fuck but that. but sex wise, like we're actually inside of a girl. Or she's inside of you. you need real sex. Then yeah, then then it's a little bit different. But like I said, it's it's all different based off different scenarios. So it could be like after a night of drinking, you know, maybe oh, you just want to get it in and then just turn to your side and pass out and start snoring. Or it could be just a night of like, hey, come over, watch a few movies, maybe have like two, three, four, if five. You're cool. Drinks. I'll let you stay. Yeah, and then you can hook up and then just like at and like or and then you hook up and then after you nut, then you're just like. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a deep conversation. We already got deep inside of each other. Let's mentally get deep. How deep, though? Yeah, like, what are you, are you talking about? Oh, like, I'm talking about, like, whatever, whatever, sky's the limit. That's cool. I just want to be. You like, have, like, a, a separate, you have, like, an in-bed podcast. That's cool and all, right? right? But I just don't want to, like, you know, just, I like, just make sure we're on the same page here. Like, we can have a cool conversation. Just don't think I just want to, like, marry you or nothing. But see, that's hard to have that conversation because then it's not Jared and I talk about stuff all the time. Yeah, because yeah, but, always. But you guys do anal literally only, literally every day. Yeah, but anal only. But I'm talking about like just everything, all holes accounting. Is that once it's all said and done, then it's like, how do you feel at that moment? You know what I'm saying? Like, see, and do you have to have that conversation in the beginning where it's like, yo, we're just gonna hook up and then you leave and then you're both like, yeah, cool, like that's all I'm, I'm down I'm for. I'm a big vibes guy, so I'm just like. So you on. have to you have to see how I'm it leads on to. Yeah, yeah. You definitely play on the vibes, bro, because like. Yeah, because but what you if your catch, vibe? What if, you may good. catch feelings a little. You're like, Damn, yeah. She's but what if your vibrations don't connect with her vibrations? And what if? Good. What if she work, wants to say goodbye, baby? Oh, okay. So it's all about how you and, feel. And it can fuck be vice versa. Oh, no, no. No, it can be vice versa, too. Like, you might be able to be like, baby, you can fucking stay here as long as oh, you bro, want. And she's like, bro, I'm out. Oh, yeah. Fuck I'm that. Sure. Be like, shit, all right. I got it fucking church them. in the morning, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's all it's all like, it just depends the situation. Yeah. Oh, there was one it's all situational leave, awareness. Bro, and I'm like, fuck, I should probably go. But didn't want to leave. At didn't her place go. or she came to your place? Her place. I didn't want to go. And I was like, fuck, I should probably go. Big house, huh? Yeah. But I mean, is it as simple as like you ask that like nah, she was cozy, <laughs> she was cozy <laughs> in every room. But no, like, do you ask like, say you go to the girl's house, you guys are all done, and do you lay there and like, hey, should I leave or do you want me to stay? No, you don't fucking ask, you weirdo. No, bro, you got so you, you just literally assume, gotta play it off no, the vibe. You don't so you just yeah, but there's no vibe though because it the yes, whole the is, whole no no bro, hold there's on always a vibe, bro. All right, but what if you misread the... <laughs> That's the most hippie <laughs> shit you ever said, bro. What if you misread right. the vibe? Then, then, then you that's your you fault. Learn, bro. You literally fall. You get fall. good at reading the vibe. You get better. I'm not good. Dude, it's okay, look. Oh, Jared, here we go. You already got her in bed. Yep. And if you weren't reading the vibe before then, you probably wouldn't have got her in Maybe bed you by talked then. about her favorite TV show, some other shit, told her some shit about your family. Then you hooked up, and then next thing you know, you're there. You'll know immediately after she wants you to go home. You right start now. understanding because it's not like you just fucking met this girl and introduced yourself and then went straight to sex, right? Yeah. So or before okay. then, before then, there was conversations, there was comments, there was fucking, you know. Something things. leading up to the Yeah, so idea. You, yeah, you started understanding her a little bit more, which led to the sex, which is what what got you there was the vibe. Like, you started realizing, like, Oh shit, we're gonna hang out, and she's feeling pretty comfortable as much as I am. This might turn out to be a night where I'm spending the night, and 
Yeah, bro. If you if you if you gotten yourself to that point, you're gonna know if there's a vibe with her or not, and you're gonna understand if maybe I should go, maybe I should stay, and you'll be able to answer that yourself. See, I'm different when it comes to like a, a hookup. I'm all about black and white. Like after it's all said and done, I'm like, hey, I'm about to head out or should I stay? Like I'm all about that. If she's like, oh, well, you can stay if you want or you can leave. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll stay. I'm all about that. But if she's like, if she's like, "Um, well, I got to work. I'm like, hey, cool. I'm out. Easy enough. I'll go. This is what happens. That's so cock of you. This is what happens, though. What you create now. No, but what you created now is a doubt in her of like, wow. Maybe what I felt wasn't the same thing that he felt. So now I'm in a position where I have Hitch to respond to him in the manner that I believe he wants me to respond. Okay. He's good at but you're also going back to it's a one-night stand type of no. thing. So it, 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 everything's, everything's on the table. But you don't treat it as a one-night like stand because that one— because that one-night stand could have been <laughs> for her UPS. the beginning of something big. And Who fucking cares? You went. We you gotta went roll with that shit, bro. Why? Because you got might get laid again and again and again, and again. One more time. before you wrap it up. What could ruin what? What's that, one baby? Night stand? What? <laughs> I didn't leave. Interesting. I kept, yeah. I mm. kept my ass there, and I kept fucking. So Welcome back to another episode of Slop of the Pod, episode no, sixty. Wait, you say is that he loves you. Sixty-one. <laughs> he kept coming back to that mostly muffins <laughs> every single day. <laughs> yeah. Came that me- he, he came to Mostly Muffins every single day. He turned like, Mostly really Muffins did. into Mostly Ear Muffins. Yeah. Mostly <laughs> Ma- I, Hey, mainly- I turned it into Moisty Muffins. <laughs> mainly <laughs> mainly Muffins. No. <laughs> Married Muffins Married is what you did, dude. Well, I like Moisty Muffins. No, you guys are raunchy, bro. <laughs> She likes Eric's, moisty muffins too. Eric's yeah. like, if the night's right, I'm gonna marry the girl. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say, you piece of shits. Bro, I'm so emotional. Baby, Eric, are you tired? Baby. Of, are you tired of sh- uh, if, switching shades? If I wouldn't have caught the vibes, if I wouldn't have caught the vibes, would I have stayed the night or would I have left? Well, low key, I couldn't have left Even because you had the car. <laughs> the what? The what? Would you say keeks? Say it again. He didn't stay the night with me. I stayed with him. Oh, true. Oh, so it was it was your yeah, it you were home team. You were home team. She was the away team. I don't have time. Now you're absolutely right. It's almost midnight. Should we wrap it up soon? You know what, bad. I'm I'm just feeling the vibes, and the vibes are good. <laughs> you know the fucking vibes, <laughs> dude. You gotta get better at vibe reading. You know the vibrations. You gotta get better at vibe reading. Yeah. The moment you start reading vibes is the moment that you're. I think the world opens up for you because you're like, oh shit, nope, not here. Was, but it also, big, but, huh? but I'll say this: it can also drive you nuts. You got yeah, yeah. because you that's enjoy a vibe so much that you're like, oh fuck. You I guys are also overthinking it. everything. No, bro, that's the beauty of what our that's our job, Jordan. That's literally our life depends on this. Quite literally. What do you mean our? Like as in guys, no. or as in us three? What do you mean our? As in like being? Who are you a, speaking as for? As in like being a creative. Yeah. This is our lives. It's reading vibes. Oh, okay. That's very true. So only creatives will understand of, this. Yeah, you're a creative though. Yo, how many how many times like just going back to like our work, how many times have you been able to take like a significant step forward just by like asking a question or like seeing something that somebody uh, else didn't and you just brought it up? Like an ish? Like it like an ish. Maybe an ish. Maybe an opportunity. Happy anniversary, bud. Uh, Thanks, buddy. Happy anniversary, Jer. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, man. I took Sorry, them on my tripod. I didn't want to uh, – your thing. Remind me so I can post those pictures up because I'm going to have to now because everyone's going to be like, what the fuck are they talking you about? You asked <laughs> how many times – How many times – how many situations were you have you been in where maybe nobody else saw the opportunity, maybe nobody else saw the issue, and, or or you just, you just had the fucking idea to <laughs> – to just yeah. fucking be like, you know what? I think this would be good in this situation, and that helped you kind of progress. It's called solving the problem. Oh, sorry. and like, be, do you, you know, that's a little harder for me yeah. because I always feel like I don't know better. Gotcha. And maybe that's like the and fuck, I hate saying this, but I'll say it for lack of a better term, the whole imposter syndrome thing. Yeah. Because you never feel like what you have to say is value, and like when you're doing something for yourself, it's like always justifiable. Mm-hmm. 
But when you're working with like other people, it's always like, ah, I don't want to step on, you know, toes. Or I don't know like who that. knows what, like blah, blah, blah. I wish I was better at that, to yeah. be honest, because I'm always like, I don't know if I should say X, Y and Z. But then like lately, I'm much better at just trusting my gut and be like, ah, I think I know better on this one. Yeah. Not in a not in a cock way, but, you know, it's just like, oh, no, this is what I do. Yeah. So it's either in that sense, not my way or the highway, but it's like, I think I have the upper hand on this right here. I got you. Jordan, for you. Jer. For me, the wheels are really falling off over there. Well, oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> but, but say for instance, like even even in the podcast, like is there a moment of of uh, of you thinking to yourself, like, okay, I should lead this conversation a different way, and and you decide to make that clear turn, um, or or does do things usually run pretty smoothly where you don't necessarily have to turn any direction or have to change the subject matter? Just because you you kind of just feel it out and you're just like let me just have my guest talk. You have to, short, you have to short that up, but this is podcast. <laughs> I know it's big for him. This is podcast talk, right? Yeah, it's podcast talk. Pod okay, talk. Um, it's all about. It's honestly it, as much as we've been saying it's all going back to vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> However, I'm feeling the conversation, then I know yeah. whether to keep it going or just cut it off. Yeah, you're, kill you're, it. You're you're better at vibes than you think. I think so too, bro. I think I think so long you've been you've been making your decisions on black and white, like kind of like this or that. But with your podcasting, I think probably has helped you a lot. Is just feeling that out. Yeah, because you are very considerate, and in, in, in being considerate, you have to you have to understand how somebody else is feeling, which is vibration reading, baby. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta down to go. You gotta go down to go up. You know. Yeah. So that's the end of this podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in because that's the vibration I got. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, no. Honestly, seriously, like, uh, like I said, it's all about like if I'm asking a question and I just get like a strictly answer back and it's like the end and I'm like, okay, moving on. Yeah. And then it's like yeah, great. And then vibe read. At some point, gotcha. if I keep going and it gets to that point, I'm like, all right, like either they gotta go or something or something like they're just like done with this. I just start overthinking, especially like. Me, like, in the back of my mind, I'm also thinking, like, is this going somewhere? Should I keep going? Like, or, or, or am I just asking so many questions? Am I just being too wordy? Then at that point that I'm like, all right, like, this is it. Like, we're cut off. Like, you know, let's just end this. Yeah. But I, I don't want to be dis disrespectful about it because at the same time, I also overthink things. And I'm like, well, th one, they probably haven't been on a podcast. Two, uh, you know, this is very, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, very. Um, it can be very intimate, right? Intimate. Yes, that's yeah. the word. It's very intimate, so it's like, okay, I get it. It's just me and you talking, so it's like, okay, cool. There's nothing else left to talk about, then I'll cut it off. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's my role in, in, in being a host of the podcast is like, okay, now I should know when to cut it off. Leading the conversation. You couldn't yeah. be a pod host without being able to read vibes. Yeah, exactly. And and I think that's also helped me like in the Are real life. Are you in vibe denial? Huh? Are you in vibe denial? You got to accept your vibe reading, bro. I'm all about accepting everything. That's what I was saying, going back to the whole like post-nut thing. It's like at the end of the after it's all said and done. I'm big on that, huh? <laughs> yeah, because I really want to go back to you guys cut me off and I had like way more to say. I'm sorry. I'm Eminem on the mic. Hey, I got more to say. Hit it, baby. Mm -hmm. Hit Spaghetti it. on my sweater. Um, not, was not the cold, but whatever. It's the fucking. It, it's, <laughs> it's, hard. it's in the fucking ball field. Um, <laughs> it's in the ball court. But what I'm saying is like at some point you just got to know when to cut it off. Fair. And going back to the sex thing, if at the end of the night. One night stand, if I just like, okay, like after we hook up and she just like turns over, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'm just going to head out. And if she's like, oh, you can stay if you want, then I'll be like, okay, cool. I'll stay. Mm -hmm. But if she, if I head out, if I'm like, I'm going to head out and she's like, all right, cool. I'll see you later. I'm going to head out. Totally cool. I'm all about that. I mean, I'll go either way. Question. Right. What was the question again? No question. Another question. Well, if you go to her house, does she ever say you, you got to go or do you just go? She doesn't ever say you gotta go. You go. Right. I've you never heard a, a girl. Okay, you gotta go now. That's never happened. Yeah, you you gotta feel it out. Cause and then, and then and then she's so, not gonna tell you. So, but but then also too going back to like everything that led up to that. It's like, dude, there's gonna be comments of like, oh, I gotta be up so early in the morning. Like, oh, yeah, that's my, yeah, you know, yeah. my roommate's gonna Vibrate. be doing this. Yeah, or, I get the fucking know. hit. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like those are those are like indirect comments that are made for the instance that comes yep. of like it's upon you now to to take all that information Balls and make in your that decision. Court, bud. Exactly. No pun. And intended. you better make the right decision because if not, 
then it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. And with that uncomfortable conversation is going to lead the no texting back, the fucking, yeah, the ghosting, and that's a wrap. But is it selfish of me to say, like, me, my mindset going into this whole thing, like, this night, I go to the crest, I find a girl, we hook up. I like this already. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, my mindset is just trying to get. (laughs) It's a dream come true for you. (laughs) I'm just trying to bust a nut, and I'm out. If that's your mindset, like, is it, uh, is it disrespectful or like selfish of me to think like once I bust my nut, okay, I'm out. Whether no matter what no, she, she says, might be cool. no, 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 no matter what she says, Let's that was honest. the intention at the end of the nah. night was to bust the nut and get an Uber at four, three, four, five Never in the morning meet, and bro. just go home. Look, let's be honest, meet, man. If you were at, I'm not if lesbian, you were at the okay. crest trying to bust the nut, you already disrespected yourself. So you're not going to be asking if you're disrespecting False. anybody else. False. Yeah. All right. I disagree. Because you played yourself, bro. You I disagree at the crest. with that. I disagree <laughs> with that statement. I disagree. I'll, I'll tell you what. I haven't. Heard I, digress. At a I digress. I digress. I digress. I'm pissed. <laughs> I have very different opinions on that. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hear them. <laughs> it's an opinion. It's an opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's backtrack quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he backtracked real yeah, quick. Get into that one. He's like, just kidding, just kidding. No, just kidding. I never hooked up. So with when a you ra- were with so and so, no, I never hooked up with a rando. It was always somebody that I already kind of knew. Well, that's kinda. where you went wrong. No, it was. What do you mean? It's a fucking layup. Oh, you're an easy guy then. I'm not an easy guy. I'm a planner. I'm a planner. Yeah. <laughs> planner. I'm a preparer. Prepper, if you will. I'm more about, like, I close my eyes and I throw a dart, and whoever it hits, I'm like, okay, that's the one. It's a waste of fucking time. What are you doing? Or it's a challenging, fun night. <laughs> At the end of the night, you're just like, I hope I get this person. That's why, that's why I love you. Thank you. We're very different people. Yeah. And that's why I invite you guys to my podcast, You're gonna just which is episode 61 of Solving the Pod. Thank you guys for tuning in. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. You're welcome. Read the vibes. I got to pee. Read the vibes. Right? You got to pee? He's yeah. big on the pee. Tap I've in keeks. Tap in keeks. Let's, tap, get, a, tap, let's tap, get a girl's tap, perspective. Right. Come on over here, baby. One night wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. The side I want to step in? Do you want to tap in? Do you have some? Side, side, you come in here and then keeks right here. Yeah, let's do that. Holy shit. You guys are putting those. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm the host. Fuck it. Bring two. Two girls, one guy. Come Two on. girls, one cup guy. Two girls, one guy. That's the next thing. <laughs> you get the glasses. I'm back. Yeah, so these two guys got to go masturbate after this talk we just had. But now we have two females on the show. We have, once again, Ariana Keeks Garcia, and we have Saida Jasmine Diaz. Uh, Keeks is in my middle name. I hope can you, you know. hurry up? <laughs> How do you feel about us hijacking the? I love it because now we bring a whole nother. So this is what perspective it feels like the when Orale takes over the podcast. I'm all about it. So let's get your guys' perspective. You guys are single. Okay. Sida, babe. Oh yeah. You, do We're single. We're single. Tell me, tell me about this. When you guys like, let's get your. I'm serious. I'm serious. 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 When you guys go out to a club, you guys are single. Is your intention to hook up with the guy or is it just to have fun? Because a lot of oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A lot of movies, a lot of things we see on TV are just like guys go in to just hook up with girls and they, oh, that's their main goal at the end of the night. Girls just want to have fun and be single and do this and stuff, but not hook up. They just want to have we're fun open. and dance with their girls. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, but my yeah, thing is if like it happens, it happens. But we're not looking for it. Like we're not looking for that. If, I don't feel like you guys are talking I, if, for all girls no, though. No, if I feel well, no, probably I'll, not. Yeah. But like I know most of my friends, we if like if we ever went out to the crest, it's just to go have fun, dance. Nobody's get drunk. touching us. Nobody's buying us drinks. Nobody's like coming near us. It's just like, hey. But if they come, we're here. We're here. No, not even that. If they come, I'm like, and get drinks. Hey, no sir, not today. I'm like, yeah, give me all the drinks <laughs> <laughs> and then go away. Fuck but no, because <laughs> getting the drinks is an invitation. To them talking to you. Not if you run away from them and just. Well, gotta be do you accept the drinks? No, never. Sida, do you accept the drinks? Because I feel shots. like your face. I'm, a, I'm like, I'm wait, like, I can't. Give me never. all the shots. I've done it, but. Yeah, see? <laughs> see give exactly. me all the shots for free? But then, listen, yes. one time I got roofied at the crest. Oh, way. I, I accepted. So that changes, drink from somebody. That hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This just took a whole turn. Go yeah, ahead. I love this story. No, I straight up remember having one drink at the crest. Oh, my uh-huh. goodness. Don't remember how I got home. Didn't make it to work. People have videos of me that <gasps> I was, like, crying in the parking lot. Yeah, it's great. See, Holy that changes shit. the thing of, like, yeah. you getting drinks 
from someone else because of that yeah. happened. Straight up got roofied. Okay, maybe maybe I won't take but drinks listen, anymore. My boss. Like, no, pass them to me. I want to get roofied. Exactly. That's what I do. My yeah, boss changed you. my perspective. He's like, you got roofied for free, and I was like, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. You got when the you drugs for it, free when you put it that way. So yeah. It's it's like it's like when you like maybe you want to try cocaine or shrooms for the first time and then you're like but I don't want to be the one to be like give, give me, me the shrooms give me the cocaine you just want somebody you just want someone me. to be like oh like hey you want some of this sugar and whew, and then you get like cocaine or or you yeah, know yeah. you want to eat some on. yeah you want to eat a, a, a you know a mushroom burger and you get shrooms whatever <laughs> like you low key do but you know but you don't want to ask yeah okay I see but see that's what I'm saying like I feel like. So many people assume that girls are this way because they're females. And and now that it's 2022, and, and not even being the fact that it's 2022, just in general, like, fucking centuries, like, all girls are have the same mindset as guys. You know, girls want to have sex as much as guys want to have sex. Maybe girls aren't just as open about it as guys are. Say with pizza True. chicken. Oh, Your okay. <laughs> I mean, you've been watching Sex and the City, haven't you? I don't want to go. I've watched a few episodes. See, they all want to have sex. Yes. But, but they're they, not. So they definitely. Well, some of them are open, but not all of them. But and, and are you guys not as open because well, you I guys think, get. The I think we think things through a little bit more. But do you guys get the stigma that, oh, because if my intention is tonight, I'm going to go out, have a good time. And my intention is at the end of the night, I want to find some random guy and fuck me. I Excuse my language. I, I think I'm the, sorry. I think, Bang me is, maybe? I think the rap is different. Like. Is it like, oh, a guy, like, he, oh, yeah, he's a fuck boy. He just likes to, like, you know, sleep around. But if a girl does tell. it, it's like, oh, he's a fucking whore. Like, don't exactly. that bitch. Yeah. And, and so because of that, because in the back of your mind, you're thinking, like, oh, if I do it, I'm known as a whore or a slut, whatever. Exactly. Does like, that stop you from doing that? Of course. Nobody so that, wants so to that, wipe you up. So that stops you from enjoying a normal night of life. Sure. Right? Yes. Exa yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's mm -hmm. like. If we didn't have that stigma, yes. 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 Because, like, like I was Girls telling you, we want to have sex as much as boys. Yes, we do. And that's why, like, but it's wrong for us to show it. It it looks bad. It looks bad. It looks bad because just the other day I was watching, like I told you, I was watching that episode with Jersey Shore, and uh, it was uh, um, Angelina was going around hooking up with like other guys and stuff. She had a boyfriend and she was hooking up with you know and Vinny. Giving her shit. Yeah, and then they and she comes home and Vin and Pauly D legit said this on an episode. And he said that uh, he was like, Angelina's over here trying to have sex with different guys, like, and trying to be whatever, whatever, like, be a hoe or slut, whatever. But girls don't do that. Only we do. Like, she's trying to be I like heard us. That. I yeah. Heard it and, like and, like, even me hearing that, I was like, that's so fucked up because it's so fucked up to that think I that only but you we. You want to know what's even worse is that, like, if a girl was to say, like, come out and be like, oh, well, why is it okay for guys and not okay for girls? And it turns into this whole ordeal about, like, being a feminist and, like, yeah. This is where the, yeah. It all goes back to double standards. That's honestly, that's the bottom line. It all, it all goes back to double standards. You we know? just want to party. A girl can go around and hook and up with drugs. all the guys, whoever she wants, every night, and she's known and as a slut. Sex. And guys. But if a guy does it, he's okay. the man. He's, he's a fucking pimp. He's yeah. dope. Say it again so Jerry can record it. <laughs> what? <laughs> but pretty much. Girls feel the same way as guys, and I just want you guys to validate explain, that you validate that. Yes. So yeah. now that you guys have, you guys can go. I go can back, go back to the kitchen. Go back to the kitchen. Where you belong. Hey, we got we got to go clean and cook. Oh. There you go. Oh, go on, get get out of here. <laughs> Welcome to re to re what? to Keeks Ratchet. I'm just like. But yeah, so pretty much what I was trying to get at, and they, and they pretty much validated it, like Keeks inside us said, was that girls have the same feelings as guys, but if a girl feels that way or physically or shows that, then they're known as a certain thing, a certain type of person. But if a guy does it, they're like, they're cool and all that stuff. But it, it all goes back to double standards. It's all the same thing with a girl. Yeah. You know, if, if uh, you know, it, for instance, not even trying to be funny, but it is funny. But if a girl is dancing with another girl and it's sexy and they start making out, it's fucking sexy, right? But if two guys start dancing and they start making out, it's fucking gross, right? Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's no, not but, fair. No, no, but that's the thing, though, is like 
a girl can see two girls making out and they'd be like, that's, that's kind of hot. hot. But if a girl sees two men making out, they're like, oh, like that's kind of that's not normal, you know. It's kind of right. like it's two manly men. That's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, so I'm just saying like it's bad. double standards either way, and it go it works both ways. We're just not. I think publicly people just aren't used to seeing it, and but we will as a society. Yeah, that's it. And and that's not to say that for certain people it might be, you know, it might be sexy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We have yeah. To, we got to do all that. And that's very true because I've known some girls that are strictly like. The, I'm only with I'm only gonna be with a guy or whatever, whatever. So even if they see two girls make out, they're like, yeah, like what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not homophobic. I have nothing against gays, but I'm not gonna lie. If I see two guys kiss, usually when you say you have nothing against gays, you got some shit against some gays. Shit against gays. <laughs> Dude, no, fuck you guys. Because if 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 a if a gay guy hit on me, He's if a gay guy hit on me, <laughs> He's fucking with you. Dude. I'm playing, bro. No cursing on the podcast. Bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. No, you. but if like He's two kidding. Yeah, but other people are gonna think how you're thinking, so I wanna explain that. So they're fair like enough, fair enough, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Come on, there's an audience Good here. You did. Yeah, you got me heated up. Okay, I'm about to take my fucking bit. clothes off. Good. And if you guys look at me, you're gay. Good, bad boy. But if I but like if two gay guys if two guys make out, mm-hmm. one girl might be like, ew, that's fucking weird. You know, they might feel the same way as well. Right. Fair so it, 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 it works. People sometimes. look at straight couples and think the same. Yeah, no, yeah. Some people are just like, bro, why you gotta fucking be making out with your fucking bro, girlfriend? Bro, I look at public? PDA. I look at still. straight yeah, couples yeah. at PDA. And it's like, chill out. Like, yeah. have you ever joke around with your little cousin, like with your little cousins that like don't let little go to their girlfriends? Like, bro, she's not going anywhere. What yeah, take it easy, bro. Yeah, why you gotta bro. be fucking? Why are you guys like, walking and hugging? Yeah, yeah. At the same time, fucking in in unison. Yeah, chill out, bro. Don't she's do not that going shit. Anywhere. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, tell them to stop. Yeah, tell them to. Stop. <laughs> She's gonna Dua? break up with him. What is that? Is that Dua? My girl Dua? Uh, excuse me. Anyway, I guess we're kinda at a point of this if this show right now <laughs> where we gotta really look deeper into I had a couple pieces of chicken. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, who fire. Who was talking? Oh okay, man. I think the kitchen's still dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids haven't been fed. <laughs> No, honestly, you guys are both. Kicking you guys, ass, all five, four of you, fucking. I love, I love the dynamic of like switching in and out. I like it. Too. I like it too. And what's cool is like you guys have brought up the idea that I've always kind of had that I think I've told you guys about. Are you taking credit for? Yeah, is that what's happening? Is that what's going on? Let me tell you my idea, and you guys tell me who came with Only this idea. I can do that with geeks. <laughs> <laughs> was that I, I want to have like a podcast where maybe us three start off and then but like in the background there's a party going on maybe we invite like a group of our friends and as it's so weird because you know we've really talked about this a few times and on which really, podcast it, well it involved mostly our studio and a couple mics and a couple cameras and some lights you guys didn't let me finish with my idea crazy sounds a lot like alright keep going as we as we had a party, just random people would tap in and just whoa! Wow, yeah, yeah. It's the, the, the deeper you, know you get into that idea, hold on, hold on. Full circle. With hey, copy. insert the video where I said this back on like episode five or ten. Let's just put it that way, because I can where, do some okay, research. But, but where's the video at? Where is it gonna be? It's gonna be right here, right here, right here. So where your can hand is in my it? hand. Kick it, Jared. Kick the fucking video. Bro. Fuck this video, bro. See, I did say that. Nope. So you guys are because the, the crazy thing is you never found it because we hacked your YouTube and deleted it. It's All right, here you it's go. over. It's a wrap. All right, we so really did have that idea though, yeah. but it's cool. Uh, we're on the same page. Hell Anyways, a little bit. All right, guys, we're about we're to get kidding. soon we're to kidding. a point where we have to wrap it up. But I have my last surprise. Oh Let's shit! Hear there's it, another bro. one. Let's hear the surprise. So I'm gonna go back to say one last thing, and then we're gonna get into it. Uh, once again, go to manscape.com. Use promo code SLOB20 and get 20% off and free shipping on your order on manscaped.com. Yes. On your order on. Are you going to shave your nuts right now? With all that being said, we have the lawnmower 4.0 right here. Please give it to him. And I'm going to hand it to whoever you guys want. And you guys are on camera. I'm doing it. Shave my facial hair. (laughs) You guys can shave it however you want. Babe, can you bring a can you bring a towel, please? I don't yes. want to get hair everywhere. <laughs> we both got it wrong. You guys, you guys can shave one side of my face, whatever you can, sh- whatever you can give me a Hitler stash. I don't give a fuck. No, that's too easy. No, whatever you want. 
We should Wolverine him, huh? Here you go. I think Wolverine would be beautiful. But so at this but point, like, if you guys if you guys are listening, I this think is one definitely thing we don't have to. I I think one thing we can't overlook is the eyebrows. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's 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 the mustache and below. No, so chill. You said we are not. My mom even asked. She asked what the surprise was, and I told her, and she was like, "You're not doing eyebrows, right?" I was like, "No, no, it's just below." <laughs> so Side okay, let, let, let's bring up. Oh shit, this shit's cowboys? vibrating now. It's dude, it, it cuts is. like butter. Yeah, no. But no. so yeah, so at this point, um, if you guys are listening, you guys definitely need to go to the YouTube. You should do one side of the face, and then you do the, the other. other. You guys can Creating. do whatever you want. I'm so gonna I'm gonna make him look like Jack Sparrow. I love that. Oh, okay, who, oh, do, I, I who do I have to look like? <gasps> Tony Stark. Tony Stark, baby, pull up Tony Stark. It's the same guy. No, bro, completely so, different. I'm, Don't disrespect Robert oh, Downey okay, Jr. So I, no, she with Robert has Downey. It. You're gonna go more line on it's top. Hard. I'm gonna go super line. To the lip. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna yeah. go line. If on you guys line. want, at the same time, <gasps> you're doubled up. Because shout out to Manscaped, they sent me multiple of these shavers, and I fucking love them. So hold on, hold on. At this do point, you use, do you use one for each nut? You should. That, that's. Do you have an extra battery or a charger? I do. I told you. I, I'll been, give you one. Chill. Thank you so much. At this point, I'm gonna take my headphones off. I'm gonna wrap them the tell. I need one for sure. We around. should probably start and then hold cut back in when we're done. No, no, it's gonna be all go. All, all there. So hold on, I'm gonna wrap t- this towel. Yeah, 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 baby. Hit. Let yeah. me let me chug this drink. What do you want from me? Ooh, I got two mics. I'm gonna have this mic. You can Keeks. Yes. You can talk as well. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want, you can. We should go live. No, because it's gonna ruin. No, yeah, exactly. This and this. Oh, yeah. This is the point when I said you could post things, oh, yeah, but just post. not but this point. You cannot post. So hold on, hold on. You're going to go Tony Stark? So, so are you going to fix ideas. this after they fuck up your face? or? I'm going to leave it. No, this is going to look great. No, I'm probably going to shave it all off. It's going to look great. All right, this is going to fuck. I haven't, I, and I know, and hold on. First and foremost, I know a lot of people are going to make fun of you because they're like, you don't have a lot of facial hair. I know, I know, you go ahead and shave. I know I'm a patchy Indian, and you guys can do whatever you want. Shit. Uh, <laughs> So once again, I just really like wearing no, the I have to headphones talk. and holding the mic. Once again, this go to manscaped.com. Use uh, promo code <laughs> SLOB20. Get 20% off plus free shipping. 20% off and free shipping. Thank you. SLOB20, manscaped.com. You guys need me to tell me if I need to look up or anything? Yeah, yeah, chin up a little do, bit. Do I have the voice? Do I have the voice to do the ads? Remember, you guys can do whatever you want. It's all going to come off. I really wish end. you'd put the headphones back on. Oh, okay. I'm going up until right there. Can you give me a little bit of this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Once again, that is slob20 at manscaped.com. Is that your middle one? For 20% off yeah. your order yeah. and free shipping. <laughs> Hire me. Wow, this is a hard job. And all the guys at House of Fades, this is a hard job. Fired. Fired. Like I said, guys, if you guys are listening to this on audio, you might want to go to the YouTube part. Birds? Do whatever you want. Just don't go. Like, get to that line. I can feel a hair in my mouth. I feel like they're really not going to fuck you up because they don't have it in them. Can they see him? And by the way, I just want to let you guys. frame? Yeah, yeah, everything is good. By the way, I just wanted to let you guys know, like, none of this is like nicking my skin. It feels like, it feels like someone's just using a vibrator on my face, and hair just so happens to disappear at that point. <laughs> and wh- what's even funnier is I have no mirror. I don't know how I look. You should go to the bar and talk to girls on each side of your face and see how. <laughs> <laughs> see which face is more see. successful. <laughs> And you know what? I was I I've been wanting to shave my facial hair, but I was just scared that my double chin would show. And we're gonna stop talking. okay, I'm gonna stop talking. So Jer has to talk, or someone has to talk. Well, you know. So right now we're going for various uh, looks, and uh, you know the look that uh, the right side is more more towards Ford is a mid 1920s uh, actor. Um, very vibey as far as you know the times of uh, uh, 
of the 1920s. Um, so I think he's going to be looking a little edgy uh, as far as the right side goes, but very gentleman-like. Uh, Eric has looked like he's working with a little bit more of a rugged, um, yet defined look uh, for the left side. So uh, we're excited to see how this all uh, pans out. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you guys as updated as we can. Oh, yeah. So I was trying to go for more of like, uh, yeah, just like a, I was just I was uh, selfishly I was trying to practice like my out. line work. One light went out. So uh, I'm trying to. Yeah, that's what I was and going for. Back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make sure the recorder. Okay, I thought you said like. So th that was that was my whole thing. So what I'm trying to do is is just get some nice clean lines. But Jordan has a lot of hair, so we might have to do one of those things where they do to like, where they spray paint people's hairlines and shit. So we <laughs> might have to spray <laughs> paint. That'd be so cool. Oh, we might just we that, might have to spray paint his hairline in here a little bit. God, more than anything, I just feel like popping Jordan's pimples in here. Yo, that's the thing is I haven't shaved in so long, so I don't even have pimples underneath. That's why. <laughs> that's why we have beards, bud. And yeah. if you don't have chins. What's up? <laughs> hey, as you guys are shaving, do you guys see like a double chin? No, bro. Here oh, you don't yeah. have no. You no got a good. Double chin yet. You got a good. Uh, Are you Great worried liner. about that? The Are you hard, worried about the your double chin? Line for you is very tough because it really doesn't exist. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's where the art comes in, baby. You look like Fu Manchu, dude. Oh, dude, calm down. Are you worried? Bro, I got this shit down. I think I'm on to something. Find you, bro. I was trying no, 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 stay. My <laughs> my barber told me to not do that. Yeah, Gabriel told me not to do that. He said, don't pucker your lips. We should honestly call Gabriel and see what we're doing. Hey, man, you're in my zone. Sorry, pal, you're in deep over here. Oh, you know what? I'm committing to this. Military. Hmm. So, there it goes. So you can't, you can't go past, oh. you can't go past the lip here? You got nicked. Did, Did you get nicked? Shut up. Right on the lip. That's not a herpes. <laughs> Save it might for later. Herpes. Might be a herpes. See, in the mills here, my brother told me this is right. You're in regs on my side, so you can't go, you can't go past the lip here, and you can't go. I'm gonna start calling you Gus. I have a bunch of hair in my mouth. Oh well, you know. Yeah, it's part of uh, it's part of the vibe here. Here we go. I got a bunch of hair in my mouth right now. You know, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting your soul patch. I really hope we're going to leave it. No, nope, we're cutting your soul patch. I think you should take it all off. Should we just cut it all off now? Yeah. Wait up. Take a picture. How is it? No, I'm not done. Is it good? Eric's not done. We were kind of on the same path. Uh, you're, mine's a little bit more American. You're you just slide more. Oh, I think I'm more European. Does the LED light help? Oh, the the LED, you know what? If I didn't have this LED light right here, I really wouldn't know where I'd be navigating. So if it wasn't for LED lights on this manscapes, <laughs> I I, I'd be lost. Yeah. Fair I like my side. This side's kind of flat. Let me see your sideburns. Turn this way. Okay. Let me see my way. Hey, man, you're not supposed to put it on. Look, at, look, my look my way. Look my way. Look look this way. Let me see Jordan. Let me see his side. You just... Clean. Style. Oh, dude. Oh, no. uh, so, wait, wait. Leave it like that. He didn't have... So, in all fairness, Jordan Jordan's left side was a little weaker compared to his right. That is true. Yes. So we had to make do with what we had, which is why we went with a more roaring twenties style shave. Roaring twenties is what you said. Very roaring twenties. Not roaring twenties, bro. I have so much hair on my mouth. No shit, it just came off your face. Fuck nuts. <laughs> Are you guys done? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh my God, it's all over. Yeah, man, it came off your face. Now imagine the ones that come off of your nuts. And if you order a manscape and you slap twenty, you also get the pack where you get the little, uh, the little paper that goes on the floor. So then you can shave your nuts, and your mom doesn't come in and get all mad because she's like, "Why you get hair all over the place?" Oh, and it doesn't happen anymore because you put the thing down and you put it in the tub after. Exactly. It's not like it ever happened to me. Uh, <laughs> all right. My my biggest thing that grosses me out is fucking hair. So. If I see a hair in food, that's the one thing I cut off. Oh, I like it. it's really thick. Did you guys shave it all off? No, I 
No, you don't have to. Yeah. However you guys left it. If you guys left it, patch you, it's cool. Ah. No, we got to finish this podcast. Sit back down. So as Eric as Eric continues the uh, the infamous cut of the masterpiece that is the uh, the two faced killer of Jordan Matondo. I even took the tell offs and all his hairs oh. going to my body. Oh my oh. god! Oh my goodness! In. You can hear the the razor. So once again, guys, thank you, Jair Delgadillo oh and Eric Castanos for being on this love on the pod. This is the last episode. In this studio, I love you guys. Thank you for uh, <laughs> bringing me into your studio. And uh, once again, go to manscaped.com. Go to manscaped.com. Use promo code SLOP20. Get 20% off plus free shipping. Um, and you also, too, can look like this or better. Beautiful. You probably are going to look better because this is terrible. No, you um, look great. I'm like chewing on hair right now. <laughs> mm, I want to throw up. <laughs> really? Dude, I hate hair. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Slap him, Eric. <laughs> I like your cut, G. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. Smack, smack. This well is going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Whoa, oh. someone's drunk. Take it easy. Um. Completely different, dude. I don't even know how I look right now. You look great. <laughs> Your tongue looks good, too. <laughs> I think Who it is. Fucking no, who cares? Um, once again, guys, thank you. Of course, man. Thanks for having us. It was awesome. Jair Delgadillo. Yes, sir. Ariana Garcia. <laughs> Eric Castaños. <laughs> Saida Diaz. Side of Fry's Diaz. Thank you guys. Um, I'm very excited to be introduced into your studio, your space. Thank you guys for open or welcoming with open arms. I feel like this is probably one of the best ways I could end this place. This this studio part and, and it's very sad. Like I like I said, it's very an emotional part of me because uh I, I mean, this is where I feel like I was really building this podcast and I've gotten to a point where I was like this is where I want to be. Like I'm, I'm in that point where I want to keep going with this and I, and I love the space and I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss this house. I'm going to miss all the memories and everything. Cool. <laughs> and I look fucking stupid probably with my face <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting emotional and sad. That's nah, cool. Big but, vibe reader. Yes. Big on the vibes. Big vibes. But, uh, thank you guys for doing this with me. I love you. Course, dude. Bro. Uh, this is the, is it the beginning to the end or the end of the beginning? This is definitely the, End of the beginning? Yeah, the end of the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So thank Next you guys. Chapter, baby. I love all of you. I love all my listeners, all my viewers. Thank you guys that have been supporting yeah. me from day one. Thank you guys for the people that are just following and listening and viewing. I love you all and I cannot wait to continue this journey with all of you guys. We'll see you at we'll see you at the collective. This is it. You guys stay here. I'm gonna do something just to hear and keep talking. Alrighty. Another thing? Another thing. I think this was like the uh, I thought this was it. The third surprise. I thought this is it. All right, all right. I, I don't know. It might be it. It might for the last time. He's turning oh, everything off. Oh, slob on the pod. Slob oh, on, on the pod. pod. <laughs> How lovely are your branches? Oh, slob How cool on the pod. Look? I don't know the song. You never taught it to me. How lovely are your branches? You're melting, you're melting. Oh, slob on the pot. <laughs> you so slob on the pot. How lovely are your branches? Get your hands off of me. Oh, slob melting, slob on the pot. There it is. Oh, slob on the pot. <laughs>